Hi guys, this is the full 100 day supercut of our Durkadum adventure. It's a pretty big map with a massive city in the center. We are playing as Slick Rhymes, a local deputy in the small town of Toshigo. Our goal for this one is to get established, then head into downtown, and then over to the other side of the map, exploring as we go. As always, all mods are linked in the description, so do check them out. And also do remember, if you aren't subscribed already, to go down and subscribe now, as it really does help the channel out, or drop a like if you're already subscribed. And now, a quick word from today's sponsor. Are you bored of mowing down? Down hundreds of undead Nox residents all alone? Well, with today's sponsor, Indifferent Broccoli, hosting a Project Zomboid server hasn't been easier. All you need to do is click the link in the description or pinned in the comments below, select how many players you want and you're ready to go. There's no confusing settings and all servers come with at least 128 gig of RAM. So if you're thinking about setting off Project Zomboid server, give Indifferent Broccoli a go. They even offer a completely free two day trial with no credit card details required. Don't believe me? See for yourselves by clicking the link below. Now let's get on with the video. Okay, so we are back with a brand new series playing as the one and only Slick Rhymes, a state trooper or policeman or whatever, and we are in Durkadam. Very good map. I haven't played it, so it's a big old map. We've got a lot of area to explore over the next 100 days. So, yeah, we're over the river here. But, yeah, there's a lot to do. I want to get over here. This is the goal for the last to get over here for day 100. I mean, I think we should do it. That's fine. It's fine. Don't know how busy this is or anything like that. Yeah, so we have uh, we have spawned. We have a baton because we are a police officer. We don't have any guns or anything, and we have the police duffel bag as well. So we spawned in a little town. This is where we are a policeman over in this little area here. I don't know what's over here. The map isn't fully correct, so there probably is commercial over here that we haven't been to. But yeah, let's uh, let's just crack on. We've got to... Oh, well, we found a hammer straight away, which is pretty nice. We don't have anything in our backpack or anything like that. We do just start with the baton. But I mean, we've got to clear the area. You know, the helicopter is on, so we've got to, you know, sheet our windows up and everything like that. We did start underway. These are our traits, the usual, the usual affair for my playthroughs, really. We've gone police officer is our profession. Took some negatives. They're all there. You know the ones we take. Let's get some food in us. Oh, actually, we don't have a can open so maybe not. We got some cereal in us though. Getting them calories pumping because we did start underweight. Now a little look at this. This is all going in the backpack. We will stay in this star house. Our ah, water bottle, nice. Now settings are apocalypse. There are always oh, a can open here. Perfect. There are some changes. We have the map and respawn is off and corpse removal time is lowered to 100. So it's all all the rest is just standard stuff. Look at this, in our bedroom we've got a magnum. That is that is a bit of slick rhymes already. <laughs> we do have vanilla firearms expanded with the stalker add-on and the gun runners add-on as well, just for a little bit of spice. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's just close all of our curtains quick. I don't know what the zombie spawn rate is like in this map. Uh, we got some books here. This is pretty good. We'll have a look at them when we get back. We just got to secure the area first. All right, well, we got the windows closed, so hopefully that'll do. I mean, we do have one on our door, but let's go out and have a little explore, shall we? Oh, we've got a zombie already. <laughs> That's fine. Get the bat on. I don't know how good the bat on is. Oh, jeez. Come on, you bastards. Now the bat on is with the... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, as I was saying, the baton is part of the tools of the trade mod, which adds a load of melee weapons, which is really good. It doesn't seem that overpowered either. And it looks like we spawned in a nice little area. I was considering spawning with a car, but I think the fun of it is also, you know, trying to find a car in Project Zomboid. Take the chips, thank you. Take the needle, thank you. Now we got ourselves some food here. Nice, we'll take that. All right, well, that's the first house done. The area seems fairly clear. As I say, I don't know what the population is like on this map. Now, it isn't finished. I know it's a, it's by Daddy Durkey. I think he's having a little break from it, but from what I can tell, it is a really good map. Oh, an M1911 on the floor. Not in very good condition, so we probably won't be taking that. I do want to use guns, but it depends what the population's like and everything like that so looks like these houses are fairly clear let's get let's get off to a good start and mark them off straight away shall we let's go and try and clear out some of these bastards around our uh, around our base here or we do potentially have a car that oh wait hey, hello what stats does the police officer actually start with? Is it just, yeah, aiming and reloading? Oh, a nimble. Short blunt would have been nice, but you can't win them all. Take another water bottle because we do have high first. Check out this pickup truck as well. We might get lucky with it. Oh, electronics one and tailoring one. Thank you. Tailoring two as well. Yes, please. And a nice old bit of pasta. 
but it's uncooked, so we won't we won't worry about that. We're looking okay for food anyway. Yeah, look at all this. Police duffel bag doesn't actually seem to hold that much. 1865. Is that the same as a normal duffel bag? I can't actually remember. Oh, God, there's a bloody alarm clock going off in here. What the hell is that alarm clock? Ah, stop alarm. Jeez. Now, do we put a leather coat? I want to try and keep us looking as much like the policeman that we are as we can. But would a leather coat? Oh, a leather coat looks pretty good, actually. Look a bit like a detective now. I like it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Okay, well, we've done the houses over this side of the river. I think over there is, yeah, it's a bit more of like the town. All right, let's get back and drop this stuff off. Put some curtains up. And I think we'll put our books over here. Why the hell not? Do you want to get electronics read ASAP? What do we start with mechanics? One in mechanics because we took am amateur mechanics. So, I mean, we may, we'll probably stay in this house for a little bit until we decide to move up into the city. And we'll probably find a little base up in the city there. But we've done good on the food, especially the high calorie stuff. I'm not. Not complaining so it is apocalypse on the loot settings there's no change there so i think that's rare i believe so yeah it looks like this area is pretty pretty clear of the zombies so we'll probably hang around for the rest of the day get some books read i want to get electronics read so we can dismantle watches as we go and then tomorrow we'll push over push over into there it looks like we got a warehouse there so we could get some good stuff from that okay so it's 12 o'clock we didn't quite finish electronics but we should get there tomorrow easily there's only a couple of pages left but we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow i say we'll push over the river so we'll see you then first day survived Oh, a bloody watch is going off. It's woken us up. This is not good. At half past three in the morning. Jeez. Set alarm off. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get back to sleep now, are we? Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, okay. Well, three hours sleep is probably not going to be too much of a crazy day. Let's get some calorie food in us. So, day two then, I suppose. A rude awakening on day two. Is, it a, is that a sign of things to come? Cursed. I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. All right. Let's get over there. It's still a little bit dark. Uh, maybe maybe we wait till it gets light, actually. I think we'll do that. There we go. Half past five. This is light enough. Let's get over there. I mean, it doesn't look like the zombie pop is that crazy, to be honest. It was all right around here, but then we are in a small town, so who knows? Oh, we do have a gas station here. Let's go in the gas station first, because then we'll get some smokes, as we are a little bit anxious. I tell you what, it's nice to go back to just fast shamblers after having the random zombies on the last playthrough. Oh, well, oh, we got a screwdriver, thank you. And some matches, thank you. And a watch. We will take the leather coke. If we get scissors, we can rip it up. And that'll do for backpack attachments. I got a feeling the actual city is going to be pretty busy because it does look quite dense. All right, let's get in here. Maybe an out to use generators. Oh, that would be nice. That pickup out there. Let's go have a look at that in a minute. 100 cigarettes. Yes, please. All right, let's actually have one of them now. Lovely stuff. And here's zombies smashing glass. I don't know where, but I can hear them. Maybe let's go and have a look outside before we go upstairs. Oh, we got some jerry cans. Do we have a key, though? Come on. Yes. No gas, but we got the jerry cans. That's fine. Look at this. This is good. This is good. We have transportation. Yeah, look. Look at this bastard. Come on, you bastard. Get out of here. Ah, nice little balcony. Maybe, actually, maybe we base here. I think we base at the fuel station, you know. Oh, and how to use generators. Look at this. Yeah, I think we base here. We got the roof to get onto so we can put a sink downstairs for rain collector when we need it there's a nice amount of food in here look at this look at this what a fine yeah we're basing here so we got to sheet everything up i think ah oh, do we have to sheet everything downstairs i don't know but we're gonna do it anyway because i'm not risking it but that's fine that's fine okay well let's let's get back let's grab all our stuff put it in the in our new truck let's get some gas and then we're gonna have to sheet all of this up but that's fine. It's fine. Now, this is where I forget to bloody sheet one window up and then we get overrun when a helicopter comes. <laughs> it is always the way, but we'll see. I'm happy with this fossil fuel find. It's not in bad condition either. It needs a bit of work doing so, but we are an amateur mechanic after all. Day two and we're moving base already. Bloody hell. Oh, look at this and we got cabbage. Oh, we've done. We've completed it. No need to play anymore. We're done. All right, we got all of our loot. We got all of our curtains. Let's get back. We'll probably have to come back down to these houses for more curtains, but that's fine. Yeah, there is a lot of windows. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Let's go back down to them houses and get as many sheets as we can. See, I still don't know what the population is like. There could be thousands of the bastards just up here. I do like a good fuel station base. I won't lie, though. All right, we've cleared all the curtains out of there. I do hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, yep. Yeah, let's deal with this bastard. 
Ah, oh, the baton is taking a absolute beating. Surely we're nearly up a level in short plan. Mm, not really. Ten sheets on us, so hopefully this will be enough. I mean, we may as well do the other house while we're here. Okay, we've got 16 sheets. We are tired and very overweight, so I think we should probably go back. Yeah, so I'm hoping this is going to be a fairly chilled series. As I say, I don't know the zombie population, so it could go horribly wrong, especially if this helicopter sees us. But, yeah, compared to the last one with the bloody sprinters, the random zombies, I just want a nice, nice peaceful one. But we shall see. Well, that's the front done, and that's the back done by the looks of it. There's nothing in that room. What about through here? Any windows? We do have sinks already plumbed in, though, so we can put a rain collector on the roof. That's fine. Okay, so there's nothing else down here by the looks of it. Nothing in there. Got one here, already got windows curtains on couple in here we can add them turn this tv off can't get to that window we're gonna have to dismantle some stuff here oh we don't have a saw okay well hopefully we can get one in the warehouse over the road tomorrow because we need to close them bloody curtains actually we can pick this up oh no we can get to the curtain now okay okay so it's just this one door that's fine but we are tired so we'll probably read for the rest of the day i think grab our books and then tomorrow we will go into that warehouse look at this we got some bread we can make a bloody sandwich here create sandwich let's do it peanut butter don't think i've ever made a sandwich in project zomboid peanut butter and jam yeah that's what you americans eat isn't it <laughs> i have tried it i do quite like it actually to be fair it's not really something as british eat to be fair right let's finish electronics and then that's done i'm gonna stand out on our balcony and read it so we don't get bored there we go all done get in the bin wait how many levels of mechanics we start with one so we do need mechanics one and uh, we should probably read how to use a generator let's read these magazines so they're done as well Okay, but it's 11 o'clock. We are very, very tired. Let's have a smoke, and then we're going to get a bed in our new house. Oh, look at all of this in here. Lovely. Let's get that garbage bag out. What else have you got in here? Ah, a few odd bits. Right, but let's get a bed tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go into that factory, that warehouse. We'll see you then. Okay, day three. We need water and we need some food in us. Let's get some food. How are our calories? We're still gaining. Let's have, let's just have, let's have a granola bar. That'll do. Oh, we got one on us as well. Anything in our backpack? Hmm. We could do with a satchel or a fanny pack for all these little bits. We've also got all this food down here as well. So it's all good. All right, let's get over into that warehouse. See what we're dealing with over there. We don't need to take the car. Okay, we are in. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back to base, get back to base. Hopefully they don't see us. Oh, no. Of course, of course we get a bloody alarm. At least there's nothing coming from behind us to the east there because it's water. Okay, we should be safe inside. <laughs> We're just going to have to wait a little bit till this stops. Okay, so the alarm has stopped, but I do hear zombies out there. But I think they've gone past. Right, let's go upstairs and read. Well, is always the way in PZ. You're never safe, are you? We can't actually read anything. <laughs> yeah, look at them all over there, going over there. But that's fine. As long as they don't see us in our base here, we can... Anything it might actually do as a favour. Oh, yeah, we'll read tailoring. That's what we'll do. Okay, tailoring has been read. Pop that in the bin. Get in the bin. Okay, it's 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow we'll try and get back over to that factory we should be able to but we'll see you in the morning all right day four we have survived the night let's get some food in as we're okay on cal so we'll probably just have let's have a zucchini we need our strength let's get the bread as well because the more full we are the more damage we do because there's gonna be a lot of the bastards over there so let's just crack on still a little bit dark out look at these bastards over here we got any behind us no we're fine <laughs> Okay, well, that's them dealt with. There's probably more over there. Okay, well, we're looking good. I dread to think what's around the back here. Come on, you bastards. Let's have you. Not that many, actually. Oh, there's still some. Oh, they smashed the door down. Oh, they had some scissors in them, so we shall take them. Thank you very much. Now, there's not that many around, but they did smash the door down, so there could be a fair few inside. Oh, big hiking bag. Yes, we'll take that. Nice little find. Sorry, police duffel bag. You just weren't cutting it anyway, to be honest with you. Just realised we don't have a bloody screwdriver on us. We must have left it somewhere. Right, we'll take the take the watches and we'll do them at home. Oh, we got a saw though. Nice. I normally favourite my my screwdrivers. Slacking. Oh, a pickaxe. Don't really want that though. Trowel. We'll take. You never know. We will put a metal bar on our back just in case, because the baton looks like it could die anytime soon. Found the new saw. I do prefer that one over the other one, even though they weigh exactly the same. Right, let's rip some clothes because we'll make thread. Forty one 
rip sheets. So let's make that in a thread. Right, let's go and clear some of these bastards out. Actually, no, let's get some more clothes, some more sheets while we're here. Oh, I think water's gone out already, you know. So have a look, we'll check back at base. But yeah, we can't seem to wash any more of these in the sink. Just got a level in tailoring, nice, nice, nice. And we're on our way to our next level as well. Let's keep these dirty sheets with us, dirty rags. We'll go wash it in a house. So I wouldn't mind some getting some more books as well for when the helicopter comes. Right, let's go around here just to make sure we don't get ambushed by this guy. Looks pretty clear. There's a couple of bastards over there, but they should be fine. Is he coming over? Yeah, she's coming over. Let's deal with her. Made some more Fred. We are so close to level two already, which is nice. No alarm, no alarm, no alarm. Okay, we're all right. Yeah, we are. The water has gone out because we can't wash them all. Hmm. That's an issue. <laughs> I mean, we are very close. It's not going to take long. All right, I think we can get another house in today. So it's quite a posh house, actually. Yes, there we go. Taylor in two. We have done it. What else can we ransack in here? We'll take the cereal. A lot of food, actually. A lot of nice calorie food we're finding. Ah, I'm not complaining. Got another duffel bag there. We don't really need it. Now, we are brave, but I wouldn't mind some beta blockers. All right, well, that's this area done. Let's, 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 let's head back. Let's grab this garbage bag. Let's go back for the day. And tomorrow, we will go up a little bit more as well. And then we got to hunker down, I suppose, for the helicopter. Well, we got a lot to keep us busy while the helicopter comes we can do some alterations to our bag we can read taylor in two we, we got enough to do tell you what we will do though we will fill up our jerry cans before the power goes out yes yeah, so we got three of them oh we got a load of stuff in here still we need to sort out as well now, let's just put these down here for now we don't need them there's our bloody screwdriver oh god we got an alarm going off Dismantle, dismantle the bloody watchers. There we go. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's just get all this out. Take it upstairs. Can we actually repair this with... No, we can't. Okay, I was going to say, can we repair with duct tape? But it doesn't look like we can, which is a bit of a shame. So we're going to have to get rid of it. But it is what it is. We're going on to metal pipes and by the looks of it, I guess. Oh, pretty successful couple of days, I'd say. Okay, but it is half past ten. We're going to go to bed. We're going to have a granola bar first, though. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to push up a little bit north. And then the day after, we got to hunker down for the helicopter, but we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day five. Now, I think we can get the helicopter on day five, but shall we? Ah, authentic British cuisine. Biscuits and gravy. Wow, okay. <laughs> Bottomless iced tea. Yeah, all right. <laughs> We're risking it. We're risking it. Let's get down there. If we actually take the car, if things do get a little bit tasty down there, we can just escape. All right, what we got here then? Some zombies, but we should make short work of them. Although our baton is nearly broken, so we'll have to switch to the pipe. What do we have here? Hopefully it's a little school or something. Oh, it is a school. Maybe we get some good little books, Taylor and Trap. I mean, we'll take it, something to read while we're hunkered down. Oh, look at this. Metal working, fishing. Yep, okay. Cooking, we'll take it. Why not? Fishing too. We'll take it all, you know. Who knows how this run's going to play out. Mechanics 1 we need, yes. Oh, metal working 1, yes. Because we will want to get some armor on our car at some point. Lovely find this was. Oh, we got a couple coming in. Come on, you bastards. Also taking all the books and magazines I can find to uh, help with the board and when we hunker. Oh, look, and they got a library as well. Look at this. Be nice if we found that a little bit earlier and we could have watched Life and Living. We'll even take first aid. Why the hell not? And that was very successful finding that school. Let's actually mark some of this stuff off. So we've done the warehouse. We've done these houses. Done the school. Yeah, saying that they're all residential, but they're not. So it's going to be uh, going to be interesting. It gives us something to do to go and have a look through them all and see what we can see. At least we know where the buildings are. Oh, sure, blunt gun up. It's a shame that we're going to lose our baton pretty soon. Let's go and clear these out a little bit. The alarm didn't bring that many over, did it? Hopefully one of these vans is in working order and we can have that. Oh, no, there goes the baton. Metal pipes are just not as good. Let's go and see what condition this truck's in. Oh, there's a load of them up there. Oh, Lord, look at all them. Oh, we got looters, though. We could... Oh, look at them all. We could... I do like the look of that backpack. We just want the backpack guy out. Come on. Let me hit him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it. One at a time. One at a time. Ah, we can't hit him through there. They're going to break that door down, though. Oh, we are getting panicked as well. Oh, they're through. We will take your gloves, sir. They are in good condition, so we'll wear them. And your digital watch. Don't really want the shells bandolier. All right, so they've cleared cleared a few of them out. That's the one we want. 
Yeah, we'll take your Alice pack. Oh, won't fit. Okay, that's fine. Let's not push it. We got a new bag. We can get some attachments on it. That's a bloody good find. We got a load of books. It's successful. Let's get out of here and hunker in for the helicopter. All right, we are home, safe and sound. Did leave our door open. <laughs> Not the best thing to do. Right, let's dump all these books off. Let's actually put the Alice pack down there because we may as well leave it down there till we put some attachments on it. The only problem is you can't put bleach bottles on the backpack. So let's see how we get on with just water bottles, I think. Could do with some camping canteens. You must check glove boxes. All right, how is our weight looking, actually? 76 else, so we lost underweight, which is bloody good. But we're not gaining calories. That's some chocolate. That's fine. And I hope there's not a little hidden window somewhere. <laughs> let's go outside and double check. No, it doesn't look like there's one there. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so what we actually got to read then let's get let's get mechanics read i think it's 10 to 11 we're gonna go to bed we didn't quite finish mechanics but we got plenty of time now we're hunkering down until the helicopter comes so we're gonna go to bed oh we need water um, we're gonna go to bed and we shall see you uh, in the morning okay day six what we're gonna do today is get some attachments going on this backpack we need our thread we need our lever as i say we are gonna stay inside cost of the helicopter is due. All right, let's add a flashlight slot. Yes. Let's add a weapon slot. Yes. Let's add a left side slot. Yes. And let's add a right side slot. Yes. Okay, that normally does us. Get that on our back. Drop the hiking bag. Move all that stuff. Over. We haven't found a satchel or anything yet, have we? All right, we'll put our torch on our flashlight. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is good going already. I have started putting our weapons up here. The the few weapons we have, the pipes and etc. So let's get them on. On our backpack as well let's also add the water look at this look at this we made it look at this this is good what a bloody find now we should probably have a smoke right let's finish reading for today hopefully we get the helicopter nice and early okay so we just finished the last little bit of mechanics let's go on to carpentry next i think okay carpentry one done let's have ourselves a smoke we should probably have some food now we are getting bored so maybe we just read a book because we don't even have antidepressants yet but we will get in that pharmacy soon hopefully okay it's half past 11 I have turned all the lights off in here just <laughs> because I'm scared of that helicopter. I don't think it sees the lights, but we've turned it off anyway. Right, we'll go to bed tomorrow. Probably another day reading, unless that helicopter comes, but we'll see you then. Okay, day seven. Right, let's get some food in us. Maybe something that'll make us a little bit happy. Maybe some chocolate or something, if we have it. Fruit jam makes us happy. We don't have any chocolate, so yeah, okay, eat the fruit jam. There we go, right, let's finish reading metal working. Okay, metal working done. Let's read Taylor in two next. Okay, so we got the helicopter. Oh God, I am nervous. I am nervous, especially after that time when we was the nomad and it saw us in the barn. Let's see if it flies past. Okay, so it seems to be doing flyovers, which makes me think that it's has that it hasn't spotted us. Okay, so it's ten to eight. I think it has gone, so we should hopefully be okay. Yeah, look, the zombies are just up there, just chilling. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, result. Okay. It's 11 o'clock. We didn't quite finish tailoring two. Let's put that there. Let's get rid of these ones in the bin so we don't get confused. Also, the maggot. Get the hell out of here, you bastard in maggot. The HS store would be nice to get that carp, but let's fill up in the toilet. Good old toilet water. You cannot beat it sometimes. But we'll go to bed tomorrow. We're going to go into the pharmacy. I think we'll see you then. Okay, day eight. Let's get some food in us, and let's just get up to that pharmacy, I reckon. Look for some beta blockers, some antidepressants, things like that. We are gaining weight, so let's just have something small, like some sardines. All right, but let's get on out there. We could probably do with some better melee weapons as well. Maybe we should have picked up that pickaxe, but oh well. Well, we got fog coming in by the looks, but it's only up the road, so we should be fine. Ah, and we will also take from this guy. We got a nightstick, which is bloody good. And also a bulletproof vest. It's got a hole in it, but we shall wear it. And we'll take his holster as well. Mm, don't really want his gun. But we have a short blunt, which is good. Just got to be careful, because the helicopter probably would have stirred him up a little bit. I don't think they can get to me, actually. All right, let's go to the I am going to take that water dispenser, though. That's for sure. Okay, what we got? Painkillers, yep. Beaties, yep. More painkillers. No antidepressants, though, but that's fine. Oh, more beta blockers. No antidepressants, though. We'll favourite the beaties. Oh, we got zombies coming in. Coming in hot. Okay, let's get back to looting. Barbecue fork. <gasps> Amazing. I was going to say we got a good M1911, but it's in awful condition, so we won't be taking that. We'll be taking that pipe wrench, though. Thank you very much. Still no antidepressants, though. Our oh, electrical skill is taking its time gaining them levels. Let's put that water dispenser in the in the car, actually. Anything in the back of here? 
Eh, fix a flat and some duct tape. We'll take the duct tape. Oh, let's go up on foot, I think. Oh, we do have a police cruiser there. Oh, antidepressants. Yep. Oh, no, let's deal with this guy first. He will take your antidepressants. This is like it might be some kind of warehouse again. Oh, okay. Right, what we got in here? We'll take the brick hammer, because we are short burn. We'll take the welding mask. Propane torch. Yes, please. I don't know what that is. Hand axe and a trowel. Um, yeah, okay, why not? We're a bit low on weapons anyway, so... Crowbar. Yes, okay. Grass scythe. That looks like it does pretty good damage, actually. More propane torches. We'll take them because we don't have a tank. Industrial wrench. That's pretty good damage as well. We'll take that. Another propane torch. Jeez. Two more propane torches. Wow. That's a bit ridiculous. We'll now have a look in this police cruiser just to see if we can get ourselves a good good fire. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Let's try one of these new weapons. A hand scythe. Let's give that a go, shall we? Oh, Lord. Looks like it's a bit slow. But it does the job. No, that's that's too slow. That's too slow. Industrial wrench. How big is that? Because for that damage, I imagine it's going to be massive. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's... Let's just get the old, old faithful crowbar out. Camping canteen, nope. Mm, we will need a wrench. A normal sized wrench. Okay, so we got the zippy mark, we got we got some houses, we got a we got a lot that we can see around here. The hell are they all coming out of this house? God, there is oh, there is loads of them. We're actually a little bit panicked. Let's take some baities. We will wear the mask because we're not wearing any helmets. I want to keep the hat on, the police hat. I'm gonna try and keep him as cl oh, it does take the hat off anyway. Well, nope. Fashion style over protection. Right, can we actually get a look in this police cruiser now? Oh, where they're all coming from out of this building? Fiberglass stock, first aid, not really worried about any of that. M9 though, we will take, put that in our holster. We'll also dismantle that walkie-talkie, thank you. No fanny packs or satchels yet, which is uh, a shame. All right, we've had a good haul. Let's, let's get out of here, let's not push it. May actually keep the welding mask and the six propane torches in the back of the car there. Just so we've always got them if we want to, if we find a laundrette or something. All right, home sweet home. Dump off our new weapons. We'll probably just keep the crowbar and baton on us, I think. Yeah, we probably don't even need this second metal pipe, you know. Oh, sprinting, nice. Ah, I'd love to have a raincoat with all this rain that we're having, but can't win them all. I mean, we should really have the magnum. Oh, look how bad the condition is on that. <laughs> oh, we was reading something over here, wasn't we? Oh yeah, Taylor and let's finish that for the rest of the day. Okay, it is 11 o'clock. We're gonna grab ourselves some food. How is our weight looking? 79, yep, and rising a little bit. So we will take it easy. Let's just eat, eat some pineapple. Go to bed tomorrow. I think we're gonna have a look, never look up in that little town there, but we'll see you there. Okay, day nine. We've woken up a little bit late today, 20 past 10, jeez. All right, let's get some food in us. Calories are pumping, so let's go. Yeah, let's take some peas. Let's actually open all of these and just eat them as we go. I think we're going to head back up into the town today just to see what's going on up there. There we are, low on bloody water, aren't we? I mean, we do have all these toilets and everything in here, so that's not horrendous. But we could do a VHS store to watch carpentry. A couple of carps, being if we've got the books for it now. But we'll see. We'll see what we find up here. I don't know what's up here, so we'll, we'll soon find out. But let's go. Okay, so we are up. Let's turn the engine off. Looks like we got a bookstore here but let's have a little scout about I can hear a lot of banging actually oh there's a lot in there looks like we just got houses down there that's fine oh these bastards have broken out Right, let's go have a look in this bookstore. There's not really any books we need, but we may as well go in there and have a little browse. Probably do it carpentry free, actually. Oh, we will take that to add armor. Carpentry free, yes, please. All right, so we got a good haul from there. Let's have a little look what else we got. Nice little VHS store, maybe. No, a barber's. So we do have a hardware store here with some ammo in here oh I, there's a lot of banging going on i don't know where they are oh that could be interesting over there let's have a look where we get up here nice little police station maybe we got the old zippy mark there not too worried about that another shop there okay okay oh laundrette that's nice we can come up here and do a bit of metal work in oh we need to see if that industrial wrench actually works as a sledgehammer oh what we got here 
Storage units, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, so we've got to come up here. Let's actually mark this off. Where are we here? So we actually want to draw. So we've got to come up here to get the laundry and the storage unit. What's actually over here? We could go around here. Still no satchels or fanny packs. Maybe I'm just missing them. There is a helmet there, but as I say, and also a magazine by the looks of it, a gun magazine. But I want to try and keep him as police-esque as we can. Let's have a look in these cars, see if we can get a camping canteen, actually. Oh, if this is a... Oh, yes. Can we have the keys for this? Oh, utensil tool. What condition is this in? Because we will have this. Mm, it's okay. It's not amazing. Let's actually pop that on the map just as a reminder. So when we hot wire, we could upgrade it. It's a potential. It's a potential. A lot of utensil tools. No camping canteen though. Some houses up there. Okay, so the town is pretty small, but it's got some nice, nice areas to loot. Some nice buildings. Let's actually get out of here for the day, I think. Okay, we are home, safe and sound. What have we got in? Oh yeah, we got the water dispenser, haven't we? Let's take that. Forgot about that bastard. How is our electrical skill? Uh, it's getting there actually, to be fair, so that's good. Put the water dispenser, pop it down there. Drop all these books off. We'll probably just read the magazines for the rest of the day, I think. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go read them on the roof here. I got a nice chair here and everything. Look at this. Lovely. Lovely base. Okay, we've read all the mags. Happy days. Let's get them all in the bin. Get in the bin. Yeah, we are looking. We're looking bloody good, actually. Okay, but it is half past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Probably not going to do a lot because it is a 10th day. We're going to fill up our water bottles first of all, though. But yeah, we're going to go to bed and we'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, day 10. Wow, first 10 are done, pretty much. So we're probably not going to do a lot. Probably read a couple of books, I think, maybe, actually. Let's read Foraging. Why not for a little bit? All right, so we did actually manage to read Foraging today. So we accomplished something on a 10th day anyway, but we're probably not going to do anything for the rest of the day. Okay, we are back on day 11. We have got a lot to do. We're very hungry. So first things first, let's grab ourselves some lovely food. What are we going to go for? How are our calories looking, actually? Uh, level at 79. Let's have some chili. Get it in, you slick. Oh, well, we're still a little bit hungry. Let's have some Let's have some corn. Let's take. Let's open both these corns. Let's eat them. Right, so what are we going to do over these tent? Let's just bring the old mappage up here. Mm, I want to get over here. See these houses, because that bridge did look like it was like blocked off, so that should be interesting. Not really a lot over here. There's a little industrial area here we could probably go and have a look at, I think, as well. We do have these docks, but I don't know how busy that's going to be. I don't think we're really ready for that. And of course, we do have the city. Oh, we got this little area here as well. This could be interesting. I want to explore quite a bit of this map. So yeah, we got we got we got a few things to do. But I first I want to get into here. Now I do want to see if the industrial wrench and everything like that is actually used as a sledgehammer. I don't think it will be, but if it is, that's going to be really nice. No, we can't destroy it. Okay, so it's not. So we're not that lucky to get a sledge straight away, but we will drive up there because we can do some metal working in the laundrette. I think we can get in there possibly, but let's get up there and have a look anyway. Oh yes, there was the storage units wasn't there for a potential generator. That's what we need. Okay, so we're up by the laundrette. Looks like we can we'd be able to smash in that back door and get in there, so that's fine. But there's a hell of a lot of zombies around, so let's actually deal with them. We're probably going to need some. Babies for this. That's it. Come on, you bastards. Let's have you. Okay, that looks like the majority of them. Some nice houses around here. Right, let's bash this door down. Okay, we are in. Oh, they're all locked. I'll make sure there's no bastards sneaking around anywhere. All right, that's so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Another propane torch. Jeez. Ah, oh, we got a generator, and our maintenance has gone up. Amazing. Let's go check that in the car now, quick. It actually takes so long to get through these bloody doors. We might be here all day. Oh, upstairs, pretty cool. Little balcony, little camp bed. I guess someone was staying here. We're probably not going to do going any more. Oh, let's just do one more for luck. Why not? There's not a lot in them, to be honest. Nah, let's get out of here. We got what we wanted. We got the generator, so happy days. Tomorrow we'll come up and dismantle in there, I think. Okay, generator's dropped off. Lovely stuff. I and mean, we are running out of water and everything, so it's probably a good idea. We could, oh, we can dismantle these, though. Oh, chips. We can dismantle this stuff. There's nothing in here we can bloody dismantle. No, nothing really dismantle. Right, let's get upstairs for the day. We are getting tired as well. Okay, but it is 10 to 11. We're going to grab ourselves a little snack. What can we have? Let's have let's have some fruit jam. Why the hell not? Have a little treat slick. Right, we're going to have a smoke, and then we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Well, we're going to be in the, uh, dismantling in the laundrette, I think. That's the plan. Get them levels up for when we do finally move out of this little town. We'll see you in the morning. All right.
day 12. Let's just get back up to that laundrette. Yeah, it's probably going to be a skill building day. Let's get to that laundrette and get that metal working out there. Maybe we can maybe we can look at putting some armor on our vehicles. Now, what I also want to do as well is, now, if you do take amateur mechanic, you start with one level in mechanics. That means you can repair seats with duct tape. Now, with our XP boost and reading the book, we should maybe be able to get up a level let's have a look shall we by repairing seats front right repair duct tape let's have a look doesn't actually give us that much to be fair but it's summon and we're out of duct tape okay well no that didn't really give us a lot at all to be honest let's just chuck the duct tape in there right let's get up and do some metal work in then instead I do have a jack and stuff because i might take that other car we saw instead of this because this is having trouble starting sometimes so yeah, I may actually tow it back home, you know, and work on it for a couple of days. But we don't know. I mean, we have a wrench, so we could do some bits. All right, let's take our six propane torches and our mask. Let's get in there. Door going to be open? No, nope. we can dismantle it, though, now that we have the propane. All right, we are in. Let's get to work. Yeah, we got a level. Nice, nice. One level down. All right, we didn't quite get there level two we got nowhere near there but that's fine because what we will actually do as well well maybe we go in a couple of houses dismantle some stuff and also some beds as well and i did get some metal sheets for when we finally do add armor but i think we go pipes first anyway but is this watch gonna get us to that neck oh two watches no not quite okay yeah let's go let's do a couple of houses let's dismantle some beds and also some cookers and and things like that Oh, we got some magazines in here. We need some of these. Oh, yeah, we don't even have the... Uh, I think starting with Amateur Mechanic, you do you are able to work on all cars, but just in case. Oh, an aluminium baseball bat. We'll take that. Oh, we got a level. Nice. Now, these modded beds don't seem to all come apart in one, so... We'll check this garage as well to see if we can get ourselves a jack or something like that. Uh, no, nothing in here. <laughs> Oh, well. Okay, so we are so close to the next level of metalworking and carpentry, actually. So let's see if we can get it before we do go home. Carpentry, at least. Oh, we got metalworking, though. Nice. We will take that. Can we get carp? I think we can with this bed, you know. Yes, there we go. Right, okay, let's get out of here. It's getting late. We are bored. We're hungry. I think we will tow that car back as well, you know. Let's get our hat back on. Jesus. All right, let's attach it. Hopefully we don't go flying. Nope, we seem okay. Okay, we've made it home with the car towed. Let's take that off. What actually was wrong? What actually was wrong with this uh, suspension? Well, we can repair it. We just need... I mean, it's just standard vehicle, isn't it? Yeah, so we could just replace these things instead of repairing them. So that's okay. How's the fuel? It actually has gas in it. Engine's 80. Engine quality 44. That's not that good, though. This is probably going to be around 44. So maybe we don't bother with that. It's actually 83. So this is actually better. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we keep the old fossil fuel. Maybe. Maybe. But... Anyway, let's get inside. Probably just read Carp 2, I think, for the rest of them. Maybe tomorrow as well. Carp and Metal working, possibly. Get them done, and then we'll venture out of this town a little bit, I think. Oh, we will read these magazines as well. Really want a satchel or a fanny pack or something just to get all this junk out of. All right, it's 20 past 11. We didn't quite finish Carpentry. We didn't really get much into it at all. So I think tomorrow we're going to be reading, but yep. Yeah. We'll see you then. Okay, day 13. Let's just crack straight back on with a reading old carp. Let's get rid of the magazines. Uh, we're hungry, but we can we can do. Let's just re get this book finished first. All right, we finished carp. Took us a while, but we do have slow reader, so we're very hungry. We need a smoke. Yeah, we're not in a, we're not in a good way, but it's easily sorted. How are our I think we'll just have chips, you know. All right, let's get metal work into and start reading that. All right, it is half past 11. Now, what I do want to do is see what kind of mechanic tools we have. We have the... Oh, there's a zombie banging around. You better not be smashing my windows, you bastard. Ah, I see you. I see you. Yeah, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I do want to see what kind of mechanics we've got. We've got the wrench, and we just have the wrench. Okay. So tomorrow, I think, what we're going to do, we're going to go over here. So I want to see what's over here. Maybe check out these houses, see if there's got garages and stuff. I want to get up to this little bit here. I don't quite know what this is. Mm, might be a bit dangerous. It could be a mall or something for all I know, but there's also this little town here as well. Maybe there's something on that island. Anyway, we got a lot to do. The first thing first, we're getting over here tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 14. We need some camping canteens because these water bottles just are not cutting it. Let's take some uh, let's take some chips with us. Oh, we have chips with us. Okay, well, that's fine. 
can never have too many chips. Let's get over the river and see what's uh, see what's occurring over there, shall we? Is our long blunt nearly there? Yeah, long blunt's gaining, so that's good. That's good. Electrical's nearly there as well, so we're nearly able to hot well. We need to increase mechanics, but it's all fine. It's all fine. Mm, yeah, look at this. Quite a few zombies here, actually. Let's get out. Let's deal with them. Any watches we can have, eh? Yes, you do, sir. Ah, I thought I was going to get us there, you know. Right, let's check these cars for jacks and everything like that. Car battery, mm, don't really need it. We also want canteens, like this one right here. Thank you very much. Now, I've had a thought. We could dismantle these wrecks, but it's probably better that we read that we read metal working first, isn't it? But we'll go over, we'll, we'll come up here and dismantle these wrecks, but let's get over the river first. All right, let's have a look. Hopefully there are some of these houses have got garages. They look posh over here, so it also looks like there's a lot of zombies. Well, we know what we're going to do. Might actually look at getting some spiked bats. Oh, that camera we can dismantle because that might get us to the next level. Yes, it does. Thank you. Oh, and long blunt up as well. Get in. Yeah, I may look at making some spiked baseball bats, actually. I think we'll go on foot for this because... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Party house. Party house. Get out of it. Oh, there's no garages, though. Oh, that house up there. I thought there might be something a little bit more interesting over here because of how the, how the bridge was nearly blocked off. Yeah, a lot of zombies in houses. And, whoa, jeez. A lot of zombies in houses, this map. So we've got to be careful of that. I think the city's going to be very busy. Good crit on a spiked baseball bat as well, so... Oh, yes, vehicle upgrades. We'll take that. I'll actually put the camping canteen on our back. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. I'm glad we found that. That's a really nice find, actually. Look at this. Well, not really what we wanted, but magazines will take. Yeah, why not? Oh, what's that place? I think it's going to be a bait shop, but let's, oh, let's look in this trunk here as well. And also for another camping canteen, which there is not. Well, is this gone fishing or something? Joel Fish. Nice. I don't think there's going to be any guns in here, but box of MREs we will take. I do like the MRE mod. Empty flask. No, I think that's a hip flask by the looks of it. Tent kit. Just getting flashbacks to old Barry Bixen. <gasps> Empty camping canteen we'll have. Put that on the other side. There we go. Lovely stuff. We'll take that. Yeah, well, I mean, we got a new camping canteen out of it, so it's definitely a success. Can we fill that up here? I oh, know there isn't even any toilet. Here, okay. Well, is there a garage here? No, no garage, and a lot of zombies by the sounds of it. I'll eat some chips. Yeah, I think we are gonna get a baseball bat with spikes going, I think. Jack in here by any chance? Nope. Oh, what do we have here then? Decent looking truck by the looks of it. Mm, no, not so not so good. Let's have the key here. We can have a look inside. Why not? Why not? Might find a lug wrench in the glove box. I don't know if they can spawn in the glove box, actually. I wonder what this building is, though. Let's see if we can get in through a window. Oh, it's a bar or something, I think. Yeah, it's a bar. Look at this. We could actually dismantle some of this stuff. Mine. Can we dismantle it? No, we won't let us. Okay. Oh, look, there's a stage and everything. This is cool. Oh, we got the zombies coming in. Coming in hot. Oh, Lord. Look at this. There's quite a few of them. Wow. Oh. Okay, well, it looks like they're building some kind of, I don't know, restaurant or jetty or something out there. Oh, I see a propane tank. We will get that while we're down here. Because why the hell not? Maybe in this garage we find... Oh, is this a survivor house? I think it is. Oh, we've got to be careful here. Okay, there does look like there's a few in there. Right, we're in. There's a lot of banging. Oh, no, look at this. Got to be very careful in here with it being a survivor house. Maybe it's, it might not even be a survivor house, you know? Just magazines and trash. There's a lot of these gun cabinets. Maybe this, maybe the loot spawn isn't correct because it is still... Oh, no, it is a, it is a survivor house. We got an executioner's sword. Wow. Oh, yeah, we are we're using swords. <laughs> Spiked bat we did want to use anyway, so uh, we will take the hand axe. Yeah, we'll take all of that. Oh, civilian bulletproof vest. We will take that because ours does have a hole in it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. A bush machete. Trench club. Splitting more. I feel... Oh, actually, could that be used as... Could that be used as a sledgehammer? Yes, it can. Okay. Nice. Nice. Lovely stuff. Not too worried about any of that. I do like our sword, though. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of food, but we're okay with food. Yeah, got some weapons. We'll take the baseball bat. Right, let's have a look in the garage for... Oh, wow. I just saw a hell of a lot of guns. 
Uh, not crazy amount of guns. You know what? We're going to bring bush another bush machete. Can that go on our side? Yes, it can. Right, we're going to bring the car down, I think. Because we are very overweight and tired. I do like the models for these uh, these weapons. I really like our sword. <laughs> All right, we got to... We got a candidate to test the sword out on. Come on, you bastard. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look like the durability is that good on it, to be fair. We are tired, but I do want to get that propane tank as well while we're down here. I want to get the propane tank and them guns. Okay, we're back at the house. Let's smash and grab. We will take the metal pipes because we're going to use them for armor on our car. So, yeah, that'll do. Let's go get in the car. We really need a bloody fanny pack or something because my main invent, my backpack inventory is just an absolute mess. Where the hell's all the satchels at? Right, did we get that? Yeah, right. Let's get out of here. It's getting late. We're tired. We're overweight. Wait, we do have a nice tasty sword though. Okay, we are home safe and sound. We got to start getting some of this stuff out and sorting it out. This is going to be a, uh, yeah, oh, I do love the sorting. <laughs> I mean, that's a 50. We could keep our weapons in here, actually. This would probably be better because we're going to get a lot and we can get them as we're leaving. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think we need baseball bats anymore, but just thinking we probably don't need our pistol on us, you know. We do have suppressors on this run, so if we find a suppressor, that would be nice, but we will just have to wait and see. Okay, it is 10 past. 10 we have sorted most of the stuff we got a little few bits left but that's not a problem so we're going to go to bed tomorrow we're going to finish reading mechanics and then we're going to go up and dismantle them wrecks and then maybe get ourselves up to level four i doubt it but we'll see we'll see but we'll see in the morning okay day 15 we've woken up quite late actually but we were very tired we got a horrible storm outside look at this bloody hell anyway right what we got to do we got to read the rest of metalwork and then i want to go and dismantle them wrecks being as they're there so let's just crack on with that and get it done all right we've just finished metal working now i don't know if we are going to be able to get up there today because we're probably going to start getting tired so we'll probably just do a little bit more sorting around the base i want to move propane tank down into the truck so it's there if we need it so we do have all metal working stuff here and actually i want to move all of our metal working stuff down because we're going to have to upgrade our vehicle at some point aren't we so let's just get that down oh we keep it in the freezer here yeah let's keep it in the freezer yeah it's only got 30 storage it might not might not hold it all but there we go pipes and ice cream all you need in apocalypse yeah this weather is not the best is it yeah it's 10 past six it's getting dark and it's yeah no well let's not let's not mess around with it today we will refill all of these torches though well power's lasting a nice amount of time what snacks have we got down here let's have a high his well, how is our weight actually 80 and level okay that's fine that's fine all right let's just wait till tomorrow and then we will go and dismantle some wrecks and maybe maybe push on up a little bit further as well depends on how much we get done i do want to check out these buildings here maybe we go and scope out this town tomorrow as well we will keep the sledgehammer in the car as well i think or the mall or whatever the hell it's called okay but it is 11 o'clock look at this weather it is awful jeez i hope it's gone by tomorrow but we're gonna go to bed tomorrow yeah we'll see how we get on we'll see you then Okay, we've awoken at 20 past 5. Let's just get out up to them cars. This weather is absolutely terrible, but... Oh, my God, look at it. Yeah, we might not venture out. We can get them cars done. I think we'll be fine doing that, dismantling them. If I have the mod, I can't... Is it a mod? Oh, look at this. I can't see nothing. Oh, I can see these bastards, though. You bastards. Yeah, is it is it a mod to dismantle Rex? I can't actually remember. I think I would have it on. I feel it's one that I would always have on if it is a mod. We'll soon find out, I suppose. This weather, jeez. I gotta say, this sword is bloody good. <laughs> well, of course it is. It's a bloody executioner's sword. Uh, dismantle wreck. Okay, yeah. Oh, it gives us a lot of stuff, actually. It will take all of this stuff, though. Oh, it's actually giving us mechanic skill, which is nice. That is very nice. Or is it giving us mechanic skill? I don't know, actually. <laughs> we do get a nice bit of uh, metal scrap and stuff like that from it, though, which is good. And it's cleared the way. And it's nearly got us up a level as well, to be fair. Well, over half a level, which is nice. Okay, it's getting late. The weather is awful. May go into that warehouse across the road from us, actually, because we might be able to get a jack in there, or a tire pump at least. All right, yeah, let's go and have a look in there before we go to bed. Oh, I have found a tire pump. Okay, we'll take that. No jack, though. Pump the old tires up. We may as well. Actually, can we re try and repair anything? Oh, let's fill the let's fill the tires up. Can we repair without the skill? It just fails. I can't actually remember. No. 
Okay, no. We need a jack or something, don't we? Because then we can try and remove the brake pad. Bloody hell, all these metal pipes. Let's get them in the freezer. Okay, but it's 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to push out a little bit and explore. So we'll see in the morning. We have awoken very early in the morning. Enough awful weather. So we're just going to wait it out. We probably, I am going to try and explore a little bit today. But we shall see how tired we are. Okay, you know what? It's six o'clock. It's going to start getting light. We can handle the weather. We can handle the weather. Let's just get out and do a bit of exploring. Let's just push out of the town a little bit and see what we can see out there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's stop off at the shop, actually, and see if we can get some coffee to keep us awake. I mean, it's probably not a smart idea driving out in this weather with my skills, but we've been inside now for a while, so we should be fine. Let's stop off at the old zippy mark. All right, what you got for us? Any coffee? What's this VHS uh, fitness card? We don't want that. We want coffee. Give me coffee. Uh, vitamins will do, actually. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's have a quick look in the old magazine rack here. Anything? Uh, electrical magazine will take it. Nothing else. So let's get out of here. All right, let's go and explore. Let's go and check out that town and see what we can see up there. Oh, we didn't pack the sledgehammer. Okay, well, this is probably going to be just a reconnaissance mission today anyway. But we'll, we'll come back up here. All right, we are leaving home. We are crossing out of our town. Wow. It's definitely a good little start in town but there isn't a hell of a lot there these roads are very quiet i like it i like it i ain't complaining i ain't complaining oh we didn't bring any food okay so it looks like we are getting into that town it's not too far away at all really yeah let's go in through the south here these storage lots not really what we want i wouldn't want a gun store you know to be honest all right let's park up here let's go on foot we got our sword so we should be fine all right, what well, we got up here then? Anything good? So, I'd say storage lot there. Not that interested in that. Ooh, a fire truck. Surely one of these has got to have a jack in it. Not the fire truck. I love this sword. Mm, tire pump wrench, not interested in any of that. Do we have up here? There's a lot of a lot of garages by the looks. Let's have a quick bomb around the commercial area, see what's occurring. Ooh, construction over there. Might be able to get a jack in there, maybe. It's not the fastest, the execution of sword, but it does the bloody job. This is the same building we lost our, our character to when we was in Clear Cove. Oh, jeez. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> well, we won't be going in there, then. Looks like we'll have to come back up this way. Let's actually try out this, what is this called? The bush machete let's give this a go and that's pretty fast it is very fast and let's just make sure it is leveling up yeah it is still a long blade yeah okay interesting we like the sword though at least until it dies and then we will move on to the other machetes all right well this is a failed attempt wasn't it let's get back Let's drive back another way just to see if we can see the tire changing event to get a jack and a lug wrench actually we need. Yeah, some interesting scenery around here. Definitely gives me the outback in the sticks kind of vibe, which is what I wanted to go for. While we're here, we'll grab this propane tank over here and also check that car for a jack and all a wrench, lug wrench. Uh, no wrench in there, that's fine. Oh, we got some bastards, we got some locals, come on. Oh, we are slokes, we're so heavy. All right, we are back home. Let's go in, in some of the houses, being as we're back early, that around here. Maybe we might find a lug wrench or a jack, but also we can dismantle beds as well. Probably mark some of these things off, shouldn't I, really? <laughs> oh, what the hell was going on? Oh, yes, we got a jack. Okay. What the hell was going on here? Hatchet, nice. He was doing some experiments out here. Jeez. Oh, and a lug wrench. Look at this. Amazing. You know what? We've got the lug wrench. We've... We're gonna eat a ham. Actually, that might put us over the edge. Let's see. Uh, let's see a lime. Right, we got a lug wrench. We've got the jack. So let's get back. We can do some metal, some mechanic skills tomorrow. Right, let's try doing some stuff with this, shall we? So I believe if we take the tire off and then just try and keep on us. Uninstall it. We need a wrench. That's fine. We have a wrench. Is the wrench down here in the freezer? No, it's not. Okay. So, yeah, if we attempt to remove stuff and it fails, we still get XP for it. So, uninstall. There we go. We got a level. Nice. Okay. Let's actually put the tire back on. Uh, we can't because it has no suspension. Okay. Well, that's going on the floor then. All right, we'll keep all this stuff out here because we'll probably do a little bit of mechanic skill while before we do move on. So, once we've got that, I'm pretty much ready to move on to the next time. Maybe we go up to where we were as a staging area before we do actually push into Durkadam because we go here 
and then we're very close to it. So yeah, I think that's the plan, but I do want to get armor on our car first. So we are going to have to read the next mechanics. And also actually, what do we need to put the armor on? I don't mind doing a bit of work to our vehicle anyway. Uh, oh, we need metal working. Oh, we don't even need mechanics. We just need metal work. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well, I'd rather get it anyway. So yeah, we got a, we got a bit to do. We got still got a lot to do before we do move on, but we have a plan. Let's go and read mechanics for anyway. Because I say there is some bits I want to do to our car before we do go. Mechanics two. Okay, yeah, let's read this for the rest of the day. I mean, are we gonna need the spiked bat? Maybe. Maybe we'll keep hold of it. All right, it is twenty to eleven. Well, ten to eleven now. We're gonna get a bed we're okay on food how is our weight 80 we're looking fine we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're gonna finish reading mechanics and then do a bit more work on the car so we'll see you then okay day 18 let's just crack straight on get this book read so it's done all right we also need to get our metal working up don't we i'm just trying to think we're probably gonna to have to go probably ha gonna to have to go through the houses and dismantle stuff but that's fine that's fine let's have a look how our actual truck is doing and if we can repair the hood and stuff because i believe that does give us metal working yeah the hood's seen seen better days hasn't it and we need mechanics free okay yeah so we gotta we gotta we gotta get that next level of mechanics at least don't we so let's do that for the rest of the day then oh yes level of mechanics get in okay so that is that done right let's go and do a bit of repairing on our car i think let's get some metal sheets also grab some food as well because we are a little bit hungry what we got let's have some yeah tortilla chips why the hell not all right let's get some metal sheets that'll do we need screws god damn can we repair anything no we need screws mm, interesting okay well let's drop all of our mechanic stuff here for the time being and also them sheets as well because why not let's fit our propane torch up and i think tomorrow we will go and dismantle some bathtubs and some houses and everything like that so we have six torches with us so that should do us let's also drop the wrench down here as well do i want to dismantle everything here this i mean this is a good water source for us though but we then we do have the water dispenser we're probably not going to be here that long but i don't think we'll actually get that much experience from it anyway so okay but it is half past 11 we're going to get a bed tomorrow we're going in the houses we're getting dismantled oh don't forget to close our bloody door here just in case well we'll see you in the morning okay day 19 we have awoken let's just get out and over there and get dismantled today let's eat some chips because why not right let's go we're gonna go around the houses where we first started do the ovens the fridges and also the bathtubs as well so we're probably gonna walk down there to be fair uh actually no let's drive because we can get some pipes and stuff like that uh where it all began a whole what 19 days ago <laughs> keep an eye out for screws as well i think bookcases give you screws so let's try and get some out of there don't think we've seen any screws either but any boxes because i do normally tend to pick them up maybe this time i just haven't Ah, oh, there we go. Another level in metal working. Nice. All right, so we should be able to get bars now, but we're still going to have a little look around anyway. Carry on dismantling stuff. That's why not. We got the day to kill. Take all the pipes we can get as well. Leveling carpentry. Thank you very much. All right, let's get out of here tomorrow. Actually, maybe the day we put the protection on. Don't have any screws, though. That hardware store, that's going to have screws, isn't it? I think we need metal working for to get the hood protection and stuff. Mm, okay. Let's just double check. I mean, actually put left. Yeah, we need screws. No. Trunk protection, hood protection. We need metal working for. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do is not a job for today, probably the next 10. But we're going to have to go up to that hardware store, aren't we? We can get some screws. And we can also dismantle the shelves in there and get the the other type of pipe is it the bar you get from them i think yeah i think it is yeah you get the bar from them so that's the plan and hopefully it would have quietened down up there by then as well yeah that is the goal now for the rest of the day we may as well actually just work on our on our mechanics skill to be honest and there we go next level of mechanics thank you very much okay that is good that is good now that doesn't mean of course we got to read the next book but we may as well go make a start on that let's eat some oh whoa 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 what's going on here don't open them bloody curtains jeez let's have some a high his do have mechanics free which is nice okay it's 10 past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow well it's the 10th day so we're probably not gonna do a lot we'll probably finish reading mechanics so we'll see you then okay day 20 let's just well let's grab some food first and foremost right and let's actually finish mechanics today and it's done all right that is mechanics free done happy days so what time is it half past four yep so we'll grab a quick bite to eat get some how are our calories looking actually 18 levels so have some spag ball in yeah there we go have a little smoke but we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of today
Okay, day 21. We got a lot to do over the next 10 days. What I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go up here. We're going to get to that hardware saw where the alarm went off. We're going to dismantle the shells. We're going to get some nails, get some screws, and also scout out a potential base because we're going to move up there in these 10 days, I think. Possibly. But first, let's grab ourselves some food. What are we going to go for today? Let's open up these tuna. Yeah, open all of them. There we go. Let's have a smoke as well as we are. A little bit anxious. And let's eat some tuna. There we go. All right. So I think we just get straight up there today, you know. Before I forget, we will put the splitting wall in the car. All right. We've got our propane. We've got our welding mask. We've got everything like that. Let's get the mall in there. There we go. And let's just get up there. I think hopefully we'll get up there in this 10 days we might not depends how armoring this car up could actually take one of the bonnets from these you know we'll look at that on the way back there's a lot of zombies have come around do want to increase our long blade as well because it looks like we may be going long blade as usual okay well we are up here we're going to be careful so we'll probably park up here i think and go on over because obviously we did have the alarm didn't we uh, there's a few of the bastards around we should be able to take them with the sword though oh look at all these here let's have them come on you bastards let's have you cool the sword makes short work of them that's for sure Yeah, there's a lot of them around. But as expected with the alarm. Glad we got the hell out when we did. Oh, long blade. Nice. Oh, there's a lot in there. There's a lot everywhere. Oh, a satchel. A satchel. Yes, finally. Jeez. Okay, well, we got through him. Let's go and grab that satchel. Oh, yes. All right, let's get all this stuff in there. Literally all of it. <laughs> oh, we still have a magazine on us. See, there's so much stuff in our main backpack. I didn't even realize we had that bloody magazine on us. Okay, we'll probably bring the car up because we've got to dismantle this stuff, haven't we? Let's just have a quick look for nails and screws. Ah, box of screws. Nice. That is good. All right, well, we got screws. Let's bring the car up because we're going to do a little bit of dismantling. Hopefully we can get to level four and then we can just move up tomorrow potentially i don't know or at least get close to it right, let's grab all these torches let's grab the mask let's do it let's do this god this sword is nearly gone can we repair it yes oh we can oh and you might work in seven though oh another bush machete we will take that thank you oh geez look at this Oh, we are getting tired as well, but I want to get that level in metal working before we go back. We're so close. Come on. Is this last one going to do it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's grab these pipes or bars even. We've done what we needed. Happy days. Let's go. We're hungry. We're tired. We need a smoke. we got no food on us. It's all go. It's all go, but very, very successful that. The bush machete is not actually amazing, but we should get better at it once we, in once we increase our long blade yeah i mean it's a good skill as any it's as high as the other one so okay we are home now we did hit a few zombies so i do just want to make sure the engines are not damaged no the hood's only got 10 percent there but that's fine what we're going to do is bring one of them vans down here i think tomorrow and replace the parts we can we also need to read the next metal working book as well we might have to do that tomorrow metal working free here we go okay it is 10 to 11 we're gonna we're gonna have some food and then we're gonna get a bend tomorrow i think we are just gonna have to have a little base day or at least hang around a base to finish metal working and also bring that other car down change some parts over before we do end up actually moving so it's all go it's all bloody go but we'll see you in the morning okay day 22 right we got a lot to do first things first oh we've woken up quite late 10 past 10 bloody hell all right well i actually want to get this metal working book read so yeah we're going to do that first okay so we've finished metal working it is half past six so the day is pretty much right off but we got that book read which i wanted to oh we're a bit low on light us here do we have any matches i'm sure we had matches well we can fill it up with a gas can anyway so that's fine oh we have a box of nails as well so that's fine right let's get some food in us how are our calories looking actually 79 okay so maybe get some get some cereal in you go on slick get it in you old boy let's have a smoke tomorrow we're going to go up and have a look at one of them vans and maybe move the van down and strip it for parts and then put some armor on and then i think we're probably ready to move on i reckon yeah i mean this was a good base I 
I would like to, you know, get some rain collectors up here and stuff, but it's a bit out of the way, you know, to say that we want to head into the city. Maybe we got some police stations here as well. Don't really know where we're going to go in the where we're going to base first of all in the city. Maybe maybe one of these around here possibly. Again, I don't know how busy it's going to be. It could be like Louisville. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, but it is 12 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to go get that van, do some metal work. It's going to be fun, fun stuff. Well, a busy day. I don't know about fun, but it's going to be busy, so we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 23. Let's fill up our water. Let's grab a little bite to eat. Calories probably leveled off now. Yeah, so we'll have a little bit of something. What should we... Let's have some cereal to hell with it. Why not, eh? Oh, two Chevys. That's, that's not good <laughs> we'll be fine all right let's go and have a look at getting one of these vans down and stripping that bastard because i think i don't think you can change the hood while the armor's on there so and we need a new windscreen look at look at this she's a bit banged up old fossil fuel's a bit banged up but we'll fix her we'll fix her up this one up here looks in better condition can you attach to the back i think you can can't you well, we'll soon find out let's give it a shout bring all these bastards over Yes, we can attach. Well, the fossil truck isn't actually that good at towing, which surprises me. It's very bad, actually. We're not even getting 30 miles an hour. All right, here will do. Detach this bastard. Come on. All right, let's get our let's get our tools of the trade and look at changing some stuff out. I think all we need is a wrench. Let's see how we're looking in this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. This will yeah, this will be fine. Let's take the hood. Hey, hey, buddy, I'm trying to work here, you bastard. Get out of it. Jeez. Oh, we have a nice lovely hood now. What else do we need in this? Door, windscreen, maybe a suspension and a brake pad as well. Okay. We'll take the windscreen, 36%. It's not the best, but I mean, we don't even have a windscreen, so <laughs> we'll take it. Well, we can repair the fuel tank. Okay, so we will look at doing that. We need a brake disc and suspension. So let's get the lug wrench and all that jazz. Right, we've done that. Let's see about getting some new tires. Oh, we got 75, 70, and 83. We'll have that. There we go. So she's she's better. She ain't hundred percent, but she ain't oh we could 74. 64. We could look at getting a new tire on there, maybe. Because we do not want another blowout again, do we? That's for sure. Jeez. Okay, she is repaired. Let's go around and fill the tires up. We always forget to do that, but it does help with the handle and the braking and well, everything really. Yeah, this one's on 23. Jeez. Now we need to look at getting some bars on this bastard. All right, first things first, let's get the hood on there. Look at that. It's all coming together. Let's get some, uh, what are we missing? Metal pipes, okay. Hopefully this will be increasing. Oh, look at our mechanic skill. That's nearly, let's get in there, jeez. All right, we want front left window. Yes, please. Nice. And also some hood, uh, some trunk protection. Nice, nice. We are good to go, baby. Let's actually look at repairing some, maybe our trunk as well, possibly. Our trunk's 100%. HUD's 100%, what? Oh, maybe putting the bars on, actually. Maybe that's the percentage of the bars. Oh, maybe we should have repaired the trunk before we before we put it on. Well, we can repair the muffler. We may as well make it a little bit quieter. There we go. And fuel tank's in 100%. Jeez, this is a really good car. Left brake, can we repair? Small metal sheets. Okay, let's do it. Amazing stuff. Right, okay. Well, let's actually put this stuff back in the trunk. So we're going to need to take that with us. It's only got 93 in the trunk, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, so what do we have in here then? We have the mall, the pump and everything like that, the wrench. Because I think we might actually move up there tomorrow oh we have all these guns don't we nine mil we're probably gonna need 308 we'll take and 45s bush machete and we can make baseball bats up there winchester we could probably take 38 special it's a shame to leave this base but as i say we got we're on a bigger and better thing so we're also gonna get the generator in there as well we are running out of space rapidly i mean i think this weighs what bloody 25 or something does it weigh 40 why not even let us put it in there no okay it's gonna have to go on the seat which I never like putting it on the seat because if you need to escape out of one door, you can't. So we need to get that out as soon as possible, as soon as we get settled. Now, I do also want to take some books that we're going to need. Mechanics 5, just in case. I'm sure there'll be books up there anyway, so. Now, food. Let's get some high-cal stuff. Box of MREs, of course. Let's also take some not-so-high-cal stuff. How is our weight? One Chevy, that's fine. Take a couple of axes as well. Oh, we should probably... I think we take the M9, you know. Yeah, because we've got two boxes of 9 mil. You don't get a lot in the 9 mil, but we'll put the pistol on as the MREs. Mm. Wait, will they get in the glove box? Yes, they will. Lovely. Okay, well, do we wear the police windbreaker? Doesn't give us enough protection, but... Oh, I think we do, you know. 
to hell with it. Yeah, leave the jacket. We do look cool in that. Oh, and I think we are pretty much ready to move to... Oh, a couple of axes we need, don't we? Uh, maybe the bearded axe would be better for trees than these little ones. They're not the best, are they? Okay, we're just going to hang around for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow, yeah, we're moving up. We're moving up. I don't know if it's a good idea, but we got to make progress. we got to make progress. Anything in... Oh, we need the pipe wrench and the trowel. And the garbage bag. Leather. Leather we may as well put on our clothes, you know. There we go. We're all levered up. It doesn't look as cool, but it's a little bit of protection, so it's fine. Okay, but it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're moving up. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 24. We have the big move day. Let's grab ourselves some food quickly. How are our calories? Okay, one Chevy. That's fine. Well, let's take some chips for the journey. And let's actually, let's have a quick look where we're even going to base up because I don't even know what the population We haven't really scoped it out, have we? Maybe one of these houses up here would be nice. I mean, what is this place here? I don't even know. Ooh, what's this? This could be good. A little warehouse base, maybe. Check that place out, you know. And it's closer to get to the city. Yeah, let's go there. Let's try there first. Right, let's do it. Let's just get on with it. Bye, old base. You served us well. <laughs> you protected us from the helicopter. Not too worried about filling the gas and stuff up because we have a generator with us. So, oh, I don't know. We are only half full, so maybe we should top her up. Yeah, I think that's probably the, the smartest thing to do, isn't it? There we go. It's good that we still got power. It's got to be on its last leg. But it's still nice to have it, right? Let's get out of here. See you later, Tashigo. Tashigo, whatever the hell you're called. We're on a bigger and better things now, you bastard. Now, a better look, this little warehouse place we're going could be a gas station, which would be nice. Actually, it's probably better to go down a main street, isn't it? And we can scope it out then as well. Fair few zombies around, but nothing we shouldn't be able to handle. Oh, look at this. Slurp and. Oh, I like this. Look at them. Oh, we can put rain collectors here. Okay, yeah, no, this is good. This is good. Let's clear the area. Let's give it a shout, actually, to draw them all out. Things fairly clear. And it's... Oh, no, you are joking me. You are joking. Right, well, let's turn the car on. We may be able to take them, you know. Ah, oh, this is not good. We might, we might be able to take them. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there goes the sword. Just drop the sword on the floor for now. Okay, the alarm's off. How many is it going to bring over, though? Oh, they're breaking our windows. Look at this. There's the nine milks. We may have to get the gun. I mean, the alarm's already bringing them to us, so... Don't you smash our doors up. Get out of it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get the gun. I like them sound effects. Oh, God, look at this. Look at this. I don't know if we're going to have enough ammo. We've got 65 rounds. Oh, there's a lot coming. There's a lot coming. Yeah, we... Oh, look at this. We should have got out of there. Uh, we might be all right. We may be all right here. Yeah, there's a lot up there, but nothing we can't handle if we kite them down. Just don't use the gun again. I really want that base. That's it. Come on, you bastards. Let's have you. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, well, we cleared it. <laughs> Probably turn the car off now. We will cut down some trees because I do want baseball bats. Spike baseball bats are the way forward, I think. They're better than the machetes. What's the actual damage of them? Yeah, it's the crit chance on them, though. That's that's the, uh, that's the winner. All right, let's give it a shout. See if there's anything lurking. All right, let's cut a tree down. Carve baseball bat. Rip sheets, okay. Wasn't sure what we needed. Okay, we have two baseball bats. Let's chuck some nails in them. I want to get, as I say, a weapon ready because this one's about to go. Okay, we'll drop this one because I say it's nearly dead and they're so easy to make for us now. Probably going to start getting tired soon. Any more of you bastards in here? Come on, let's have you. Come on. We will take your matches. Thank you. Mm, there's a few bits in here we'll probably be able to salvage, but we're mainly... Ah, oh, look at this. War dispenser as well. No sink, but that's... Actually, there's probably a toilet in here, isn't there? Yeah, look, we can put a rain dispenser, rain collector there. Amazing. Ah, and some fresh fruit for us. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking this place. Oh, we got beds as well. Look. Ah, oh, bloody amazing. Well, we're going to need to board some windows up, though. And we could smash the stairs out and make a sheet rope down. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to need some wood. Uh, let's get the logs. 
We're going to need some ripped clothing. Can we make a sheet rope? Yes, we can. There we go. That's done. Okay, we just need the sledge. The splitting wall. All right, let's do it. And then we'll be safe. What a bloody fine this is. Old slurp and burp. Okay, so if we saw the logs, put a fence up here. Oh, we might need another sheet rope. Okay. Right, two sheet ropes should. Ah, uh, it's a bit janky. Maybe we got to destroy the stairs first. This is risky. Oh, let's add a sheet rope out here for now. Look at that. Destroy them stairs. Yes, we are safe. Wow, what a turnaround. We are looking a bit worse for wear in terms of the Moodles, but it's fine. Let's grab the generator out of here, so I know that will end up getting us killed if we keep it in there. Right, let's get upstairs. See if we can add a sheet rope to the inside. Let's close this door. This could be our permanent base, you know. Slurp and burp, I love it. Okay, well, let us add, yeah, it's because the stairs were there, I guess. Okay, well, there we go. That's fine, we got two ins and out. That's fine, that's fine. All right, let's go drop some of this stuff off. Oh, look, we've even got a campfire if we need it. Amazing. Have to build some crates and, whew, yeah, we got a lot to do. Maybe we move them shells from downstairs up here. Yeah, we got options now. We got options. But it is 10 to 12. We're going to go to bed in our... Oh, Lord. We got any, we got any lights up here? Doesn't look like it. We got any lights downstairs? Because this is dark. No, there isn't. <laughs> um, okay, well... Oh, what's this? No, okay, we don't have lights. Right, surely we got lights somewhere. Oh, well, we're going to need our torch. But anyway, we're going to go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 25. We have awoken. Now, what I want to do first thing is just have a look at moving this storage up here now can we pick it up i think we can we need a lamp inside don't we that's what we need right well let's get our first lot of uh shelving down there we go nice yes yeah, so it's gonna be a sorting day let's get all our weapons in here i think oh leveling sprinting thank you okay what i also want to do as well is put a lot of metalworking stuff down here in one of them and our vehicle repair stuff down here in one of them shelving units i got big plans for this place big plans there we go look at that now you may be thinking hey why don't you have that stuff inside in the garage well i don't know <laughs> i like having stuff outside what a bloody fine this but i'm glad we came here i really am uh, both these propane tanks are empty so may as well actually just get rid of them well we may find a propane truck but okay let's move another one upstairs pop that one here because why the hell not okay so all of our other stuff can go in here one side crafting stuff one side food for the time being all right it's coming on it's definitely coming on we just need a couple more bits but maybe we'll find some stuff downstairs i do need to get rid of this welding mass let's have a smoke let's go down and see what we can find down there we got a fridge oh look we do have a fridge in here do we move that upstairs i think we do okay we have it we, we did actually take our shoes off which you never want to do in pz all right let's get it upstairs pop it there like that there we go lovely we will actually fence this off and stuff as well let's go and grab our gear got anything good in here oh, we got both food actually we'll take that and the water dispenser thank you there we go look at this we are we are looking good we are looking good what the hell is on the floor here gi t-shirt man eh, it can stay there bit of blood on the floor but well you can't win them all got a nice campfire here oh lovely lovely well i think tomorrow we are going to push into the town let's bring the full map up actually yeah we are going to push into the town i don't know there is a lot here but it's a very good staging area because we could go up here and yeah we do need some kind of light though so we'll look for a couple of lamps happy days happy days can even get a little farm going on the roof here possibly okay but it is 11 o'clock we're going to go to bed tomorrow we're going into the town we'll see you then Okay, day 26, and we've awoken, and I've just heard the power go out. So, that is what it is, I suppose. Let's connect this generator. I don't think there's any fuel in it. We don't really need power at the minute. Actually, it wouldn't be bad, would it? Because, well, we can have a lamp then. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what we got? Let's get this jerry can going. Yeah, let's fill the generator, but we won't turn it on just yet. We'll go and put this in the car because we can find some along the way. Oh, we'll take your lollipop. Why not? Right, well, let's push in the town anyway, see what we can find. Find a lamp, see if there's a gas station in this town go from there really maybe find another generator as well possibly did we see one somewhere i can't oh, i think it was the old town wasn't it all right well let's go anyway let's go up here because we want to go to the residential place so i wouldn't mind dismantling some bed whoa 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 let's be smart here that alarm shook them all up didn't it you bastards yeah the bat is putting in the bloody work that's for sure this is in quite good condition this car take the matches 
Oh, another alarm. Get out, get out. Oh, God. Always with the alarms in this place. Jeez. Uh, maybe we can go into these houses over here. I don't know what the Zeds are going to be like coming through that woods, though. Hmm. Seems okay. We also haven't done upstairs in the hardware store. Yeah, let's let's go through here. It doesn't look too dense, the forest bit. Uh, there's a couple coming over. Right, let's get in this house, see if we can find ourselves a lamp. Hopefully there's not another alarm. Oh, a little park over there. Okay, we're in. No bloody lamps around. Jeez. Right, let's hit up another house along here. I'll take an outside light. I think you can just connect them and it'll work. Oh, long blunt up. Nice. Is that level two? Yes. Nice. Oh, another alarm. Oh, no. Get out of here. This is not good. God damn. They're all going to be coming through the forest as well. Okay, we'll go around this bit. It looks fairly clear down here. There's a fair few still kicking around. All right, let's get out of it. Probably a good job we didn't stay in the town centre there. Jeez. Well, a pretty unsuccessful trip to the town. Hmm. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Probably just hang around base for the rest of the day now. How's our carp looking? Not amazing, but we're getting there. All right, let's grab ourselves some food. we got to put some, some guardrails up here because I just know I'm going to end up falling down it. And we can probably do with more food, actually. There is that supermarket. Okay, but it is 11 o'clock. We're going to grab ourselves some food. Tomorrow, we are going to put a guardrail. We're going to let them bastards disperse out in town and i put a guardrail up and get the wood ready for a rain collector and then i think the day after we're going to go to that supermarket but yeah still lots to do we'll see in the morning okay day 27 we have awoken eight in the morning let's have some tomatoes why not get that in ya all right we need the axe because we're going to be chopping some trees i'm glad we did bring an axe to be honest okay is three logs gonna be enough i not too sure. We will soon find out, though. Not quite. We've managed to build the guardrail, but we need more for when we do get a rain collector. We may as well do that today for having a base day. I can hear a zombie. Oh, Lord. Look at this. Look at this. They're downstairs. They must have followed me. Hey, you bastard. Stop smashing my bloody workbench. Bloody smashing my bloody shelves. You bastards. All right, well, oh, they've ripped my bloody escape rope down as well. Ah! All right, well, I've crafted another two anyway, wherever they are. There, so hopefully we'll put them back on. So it's nice being able to come in and out on the outside as opposed to going through this one. But then we have do run the risk of the bastards knocking it down. I'm glad I did put one inside, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get back up because we're no way near making stairs. So, yeah. We're a little bit low on melee weapons. As I say, we can build the spiked bats now, so that's fine. Yeah, we are pretty low on food. Let's take some canned carrots for the rest of the day. But it is 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to go to the supermarket. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 28. We have woken up quite early. 20 to 6, but it's fine. Let's get some. We are very low on food. Oh, we got the MREs, haven't we? Bloody hell, I forgot about them. Let's go get them out the... Uh, oh, we can't go out that way. Let's get them out the bloody glove box. But we do need some low to mid calorie food anyway. So let's fill our light up as well while we're here. There we go. Okay, so we got 12. So we'll actually have one of them now because our calories are pretty low. Go okay, look at that. Lovely stuff. But the MREs aren't going to last forever, are they? So we are going to need some more food. Let's read this magazine while we're here. Check it by the fire in case we decide to cook something up. I doubt it, but you never know. All right, let's go and have a look in that supermarket then. I have to look at doing some of this trash on the floor here as well. What? There's a bloody ammo sling on the floor. We'll wear that. Nice. Okay, so that can be our little, instead of a fanny pack, and it's got a good M1911 in it. Nice. And a suit jacket and a book. Well, there you go. Lovely stuff. Okay, well, yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. Right, let's get moving. Still a lot of the bastards around. Let's, oh, look at all these. Let's clear them out. We will take ripped sheets as we go for more baseball bats. Okay, oh, oh, there's a lot here. Jeez, they come out of nowhere as well. Oh, there goes the bat. Oh, okay. There's still a few behind. Let's clear up around this. Oh, God, look at them all everywhere. Yeah, pretty pretty high pop, this area. Well, oh, what's that shop there? All, all you can eat. Okay. Oh, look at this. Happy days. Oh, yeah, look at all this good stuff. Okay, we got a lot of stuff now, which is nice. Another water dispenser here as well. 
we might actually take that water dispenser. You can never have too much water, I say. A lot of food. What I want to do as well is actually dismantle these shelves to get that carper. An empty gym bowl. Not seen that before. Ah, there we go. Carp. Nice. Well, we got a hell of a lot of food, which is good. There's so much food left in here as well. We've got another leveling carp, and we're going to take this a water dispenser as well. If we can fit it. Yeah, we can get it. Right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're heavy. We're heavy, but let's go. All right, we are home. Let's get up there. Let's drop all this stuff off, and then we're going to make another bat, I think, as well. Put our other water dispenser there, I think. Lovely stuff. Let's drop all this food off. Drop our pistol off as well. Our nice new piss i do like the 1911 never bloody fails that's for sure all right let's get the axe because we're gonna need some more wood some more logs whoa you bastard jeez okay let's make two baseball bats happy days let's put a few nails in them we will add one to our back and the other one can go in the car we may as well keep the axe down here i reckon as well you know we'll put it in this one this can be gardening and stuff like that. Outdoors mini stuff. Okay, so what I want to do for the rest of the day, now that we're good with food and everything like that, is actually read the rest of carpentry if we're going to be building a rain collector and stuff like that. So let's go do that for the rest of the day. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. We got through maybe half of it, but we're going to go to bed and we're going to finish off tomorrow and then get that rain collector built. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 29. Look at this. 10 past 11 we woke up. Jesus. Right, let's finish reading the book. Okay, we finished carp. Now, I did hear while we was reading a zombie smashed the window downstairs. So, oh, I hope he doesn't rip our sheet and I hope he's not right down here. No, we're fine. We're fine. Where are you, you bastard? Where the hell is he? He's somewhere skulking around. Probably jumped back outside. Coward! Here he is. Come on. Oh! Look at boarding them windows up, I think. Right, let's go and find out where this sink actually is. I think it's in the far corner here. Yep, so the far corner there, that's fine. There we go, rain collector right there should do it. Right, let's go and try and plumb it in. We would also board the windows up downstairs as well. Plumb in, white sand and sink. Look at that, happy days. Right, let's go board these back windows up, at least one in each. Out right of planks. Oh, we'll take them smokes. Let's dismantle this for some wood, hopefully. All right, let's go chop a tree and barricade the rest up. I'd rather be safe than sorry, that's for sure. All right, we are pretty much secured down here now. We've got some barricades there. We've got some barricades here. Happy days. Anything worth taking? And no, there wasn't, was there? We could do probably take the microwave upstairs but you know we love a bit of salad anyway hopefully we get a bit of rain overnight to fill this rain collector up that'd be nice okay but it's half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow probably gonna be a base day because it is the 10th day but we'll see you in the morning all right day 30 we are getting through them what a base we have i like this place i really do we have got to get into this town here though over the next 10 hoping there's going to be some kind of gun store or something but there could be a police station here i've got a feeling this is going to be a school but you never know or a hospital do you have the docks which could could have some gun containers but that's a lot of work going through all of them and then we got to push in through into this old place it's going to be interesting and then finally on over to here which looks like there's quite a few shops here but yeah i don't know i don't know but we got a lot to do still we got a lot to do. i like this place we're definitely going to stay here for a while definitely i wish we could stay here the whole the whole hundred days but we are a little bit out of the way it's all right for now while well, we still got this to explore i also want to go up here as well yeah i wonder what that is looks interesting don't like all these trees behind us but we're nothing we can really do about that i'm not going to cool them down it's quite dense isn't it but i suppose the alarm would have brought them all to us. We've also got a majestic beard coming on. Let's have a quick look. Oh, look at look at the hair as well. <laughs> look at the hair. What can we do with the hair? There we go. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? <laughs> Keeping the beard there. We're, we're getting to old man Rick. We're getting there. We're getting there. Probably should have just let it go grungy as hair, shouldn't we? So we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as it is a tenth day, but we got we got a lot planned. We got a lot planned. Okay, we are back on day 31. Wow, we are we are getting through and we are getting through and like let's bring the old mappage up. So what I want to do over the next 10 is we've got to go and explore here. We may even be able to find a generator in here because this is a storage lot, isn't it? Which is good. Maybe look for another fuel station as well. Scope out this this little town, I think, because we haven't had much luck in there so far. And then possibly even go and explore up here, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But we got we got a lot of stuff to keep us busy anyway. So I think today we are just gonna go into the town and we do need a lamp for our base as well. Well, that's that's a priority for sure. Definitely wouldn't mind finding a gun store, that's for sure. All right, but let's get up in a town. Let's see what it's all about up there. We're well, still quite busy up here. Oh, God, look at this. Look at them all. Bastards. Come on. All right, well, that's them bastards taken care of. Oh, we didn't bring any food, but that's fine. 
A spiked bat is a real, real bloody winner here. Actually, you know what? Let's go along the high street here, shall we? This looks like it is the high street. Oh, we do have a gas station here. Okay, interesting. Let's go in the storage lots and see if there's a generator in there, and then we can just jump on over to here. Maybe we actually get the sledge out. That would speed things up a little bit, wouldn't it? I'm mainly just looking for a generator, I want to say. Now, there is a zombie in one of these. Oh, it's up there, so we got to be careful. Maybe we don't open that one. <laughs> oh, we also need a bloody... Oh, let's try and take this light here, shall we? Fancy outdoor lamp, yeah. Okay, we have that. Nice, nice. Get out of it, you bastard. Ah, we have a generator. Nice, nice. Okay, let's take that. Let's check it in the car. Happy days. Happy bloody days. And there isn't really anything else that we need in there, so we could probably just go back to the fuel station and hook the generator up. Really want a police station or a gun store or something like that. Okay, so we connected the generator. We filled this jerry can up. We're looking good. Let's drop this back in the truck. Let's go in here, see if there's anything worth taking. Always take some more cigarettes and lighters and matches, that's for sure. Big old water, giant water bottle. Nah. I mean, we got sink plumbed in now, so we don't really need that. Any magazines we need. Oh, metal working will take. Right, let's just carry on exploring. Okay, we got some kind of maybe a fire station here, but we'll go down on foot so I can see a few of the bastards around. How is our skills? How's our long blunt? Oh, I'd take another level in that, that's for sure. Right, what we got here then? A house. Oh, not again, not again. <laughs> so many alarms. So many alarms. All right, let's go up through this resident. Oh, let's stop off at this police blockade. We might be able to get some guns and ammo. We've got some 9 mil, we'll take. I'll actually take the magazine out of this. Actually, we'll keep it with us because it's good to have a decent condition one spare. Uh, we'll take, yeah, we'll take the ammo. Maybe we take the scope actually as well. Nightstick. We're probably going to go long blunt, so we don't really need the nightstick. More nine mil. We shall take. Oh, riot helmet. Ah, maybe. I mean, it is a police outfit, so maybe. <laughs> I do like the hat though. So the residential area looks fairly clear. It's probably because all the bloody zombies have been drawn into the high street from all the bloody alarms oh there is propane there oh we've got a few here hmm okay so we're back here not a lot in this town no police station no gun store do you still have the top floor of the the hardware store now let's deal with some of these bastards oh we still have the bloody sledgehammer on us right let's drop that oh we're getting tired now this is not good Oh, and there goes the bat. Oh, okay. Let's go rest over in these bush shelters here. Oh, yeah, that got a bit, got a bit crazy. Okay, we are fully rested. We are get tired, though, so we'll probably just pick up the sledge and head home, I think. We'll actually drive down and get it. Right, let's get back to the car where it's safe and get back home. Yeah, there's still a few kicking around up here, aren't there? Oh, we got a few bastards wandered on over to the base. Oh, okay, right, let's get in, let's connect our new light. Where shall we put it, actually? Let's put it, yeah, let's put it here. All right, let's turn the generator on and have a look how good it is. Oh, look at that. She's glorious. How much uh, days have we got with the generator? 27 days. It's because we got hardly anything connected, so we may as well actually just keep that running. That will draw the bastards to us as well, which probably ain't a bad thing, so we can clear them out from the surrounding area that way. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking bloody good. How are our calories? 79 dropping, that's fine. We'll eat some chips. Okay, but it is 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I think we're going to go back into town. I do want to clear it out a little bit because there's a few of them kicking around. So I just want to make this area a little bit safer, but we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 32. I think we're going to have a little base day today, I think. Just chill around base, see if we draw any of the bastards over and also let the bodies despawn over in the high street there as well and let them disperse a little bit. Can we read any books? We do have a magazine to read, I think. Yeah, we're going to sort all this stuff out as well. Why do we have 19 rip sheets on us? <laughs> Take stock of our weapons as well. We don't have a lot, to be honest. Now, we do have a carbine. Don't have any 38 special, though. Now, do we wear the riot helmet? I mean, it is police equipment, so... Yeah, you know what? I think we do, you know. We will save the hat, though. We will keep the hat close by. We're looking pretty, pretty good now, actually. Okay, so we can't read any books. Maintenance is looking pretty, pretty good, though. We could work on reloading today. Yeah, let's do that. Nice, one level in reloading. 
Nice, and another level. We will take that. That'll do us, I think. Level 4 reloading is enough, I reckon. All right, we're all a little bit low on calories, so we probably eat something high calorie. Yeah, we're 79 and dropping, so that's actually an MRE, I think, maybe. That's leveled us off. There may be some chips for a little bit of a boost. Take a couple of them. We'll eat them later. Ah, refrigerated chips. Lovely. All right, it's half past 11. We're going to have a smoke, and then we're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 33. Let's bring the old mappage up. Now, what I want to do today is i want to go and see what this is here this looks very strange but yeah i want to go and see what that is and then maybe have a drive over to the docks we're not going to go in there we're just going to assess it or maybe up here actually maybe we go up here and see what the city's actually like yeah let's do that right let's crack on oh we do have fog right let's wait inside see if it passes yeah so it is starting to pass i think we'll be fine because it is clearing let's have some chips right yeah let's go up nothing too crazy we're only scoping out the area anyway so a little bit of fog will be fine oh wow look at this what the hell? Can we even get through here? I don't know. Let's try. Yeah, we can. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Oh, well, we know what that is now. I think the city might be blocked off then. Let's go have a look. Tell you what I have just seen. Maybe a survivor house. There, it's boarded. Let's go have a look. I will definitely take another sword. <laughs> Mainly want guns or a suppressor. Okay, we are in. Can't hear any more banging, so I think we're fine when it comes to the zombies. It is a survivor house. We got anything good though? No, not really. We can't get in this door over here. We can't get over this side of it unless there's no, there's no door there. Hmm. Okay. Well, pretty much waste time coming in here. Right. Let's carry on going up north and have a look again into the sea. See what it's like up there. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind getting another level of long blunt just if, before we do go into the sea. Level us up a little bit. Right. What we got here? A lot of zombies. Warehouse or something. Yeah, this is quite busy here. Right, okay, well, it looks like we can get into the sea, which is fine. Let's not push our luck. Let's go have a look at what this river, this little lake is up here, shall we? Oh, wow, look at this. Let's have a look in here. What is... Oh, my God, the tracks just end. Great map, a lot of detail. He does always put a lot of detail into his maps. No alarm, no alarm. Scissors can open a corkscrew. Screwdriver and a pair of tweezers. Here we take that. What does that weigh? It weighs one, and then we can get rid of what? Scissors can opener and our screwdriver. Okay, so they've actually got rid of our scissors, screwdriver, and can opener. We'll just use the multi-tool. It works as a pair of tweezers, which is good. Okay, yeah, no, we'll do that. We'll take that. Save us on some weight, a little bit anyway. Nice. Ooh, propane tank, we'll take that. Never say no to a propane tank, that's for sure should we take we could even get something growing on our roof should we we'll keep an eye out for a sack oh look at this this would make a good little base oh you can't get upstairs though there's something blocking it okay well we know it's here i reckon we might be able to find a sack in the hardware store back in our town though all right let's get out of it okay we are home safe and sound pretty successful we did get a propane tank which is pretty good and some seeds we'll probably find better seeds than radishes but yeah pretty pretty successful the only sacks in here actually no but that's fine we'll find one okay but it's 20 to 11 we're gonna have a smoke we're gonna how are our calories actually 79 yeah let's have some chips get some chips in you slick get another pack why the hell not treat yourself right we're gonna go to bed tomorrow i think we're gonna go in that hardware store so we shall see you in the morning okay day 34 oh we got a zombie banging downstairs okay right let's put our seeds there we're gonna go to that hardware store are we gonna be okay for food maybe we take a little bit of something with us take some chips there you go all right let's go and sort this bastard out he's banging on our bloody door get out of it come on come on you bastard you bastard. It's a little bit foggy, but we should be fine. Let's just get up there. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I don't know about this. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, it's 10 past 1. We had to wait around a little bit. It looked like the fog was going. Let's wait a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. It is going. Okay, let's get up there. Bloody hell. What a waste of a day. Oh, hopefully, we find some good old loot. Hmm. Well, we found more radishes, but it's not really what we want. Any sacks around. Right, let's have a look for some of the old sackage or cabbage. Uh, we'll take strawberries, actually and tomatoes we'll take a trowel i'm pretty sure we did bring one with us but just in case oh look at this a sack yes let's see if we can find another one broccoli potato rain collectors here we'll actually see if we can take oh look at all of this propane wow look at it all okay well that's good to know let's see if we can pick one of these up Nope, we broke it. <laughs> ah, we got one. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, we got a sack. We got a rain collector, which is a bonus, a big one. So we'll probably actually... Oh, no, what am I doing? Oh, we're okay. We did it in Dross House. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get back. We got a lot to do today. Okay, we are home. Let's grab some dirt. 
Take some dirt, yeah. Okay, we have dirt. I think we put the rain collector just in here, on here, and then we'll have two of them. Because there's no point breaking the one that we've already got. Well, potentially breaking it. It does mean we do need to go and get ourselves another sink, but we should be able to do that fine. Yeah, let's pop it down there, and let's also pour out some dirt. Uh, I think we go get a little bit more dirt, you know. All right, we have our dirt. It doesn't look too, too pretty, but we have it. Let's dig the furrows ready for when it does rain. Okay, let's put our farming stuff here. Yeah, I think we're going to go strawberries, I reckon. So the goal tomorrow, then, is to go and find ourselves another sink. Get plumbed in down there. Okay, we can do that. We must remember to take our wrench. Right, it is 11 o'clock. We're going to have a smoke. We're going to have... No, we won't have any food. We don't have any on us. We'll have some tomorrow. But we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Well... We'll go find ourselves a sink. We'll see you then. Okay, day 35. Up and Adam. Let's grab ourselves some food. Mm, calories are pretty good, to be honest. We're on 80, so let's take... Yeah, let's take a three tins of tomatoes. That's fine. Right, let's go find ourselves a sink. We need the wrench. I believe it's the wrench. Might find a sink in the supermarket here. One of the freestanding ones, which would be nice. No, there's no toilets in here. Okay. Maybe in this little restaurant here we should find one. Ah, we have one, yes. Yep, we got it. Okay. Right, let's go. There we go. Right, let's go plumb it. I need the old pipe wrench for this one. Oh, we did have a trowel, but oh well. Here a zombie banging around somewhere. Come on, you bastard. Where are you? Get... Oh, no! He broke our bloody... Oh, look at this mess. Oh, you bastard. Well, maybe we actually just put a crate there now. Yeah, let's get an axe and put a crate there. You bastard. What an absolute bastard. Just smashing our base up. Oh, it all fit in there, which is good. Okay, we didn't actually plumb our, our sink in, did we? There we go. All plumbed in. Happy days. All right, we're looking good. I take some rain so we can get the crops planted, but, you know, it is what it is. Actually, have one of these got an emergency broadcast on them? Yes, it does. Okay. There we go. Let's turn her on. Let's get her fired up. Let's see if we got any rain coming. Today, temperature, blah, blah, blah. Clear skies. Okay, what about tomorrow? Average temperature, mild wind, some cloud, periods of heavy, heavy cloud. Hmm. Predicted as an income in the morning. Showers or heavy rain. Ah, oh, nice. Nice, nice, okay. That's good. Well, at least we can get something planted. And then what I want to do, depending on what time it is, I do want to get up here. Because this looks very interesting. Very interesting. So it's a bit of a drive, but it'll be fine. And the rain will also, of course, fill our rain collectors up, which is amazing. Okay, but it's 20 to 11. We're going to have a smoke, and then we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Hopefully do a bit of gardening. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 36. Let's hang around and see if we get this rain, I think, today, you know. Let's just double check it is coming today, because if not, we will go up to that little area. Okay, mild winds, clouds, heavy cloud, heavy rain, showers. Okay, so it should be coming today. Right, so let's just hang around and see if we get it. Okay, we got the rain. We got the rain. Right, let's get some strawberries planted, I think. Okay, we're out of strawberries. Let's get some tomatoes done then as well. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. We've still got a hell of a lot of strawberry uh, tomato seeds left. And I think we can get up to that area today, you know. Let's do it. We got all that planted. That's fine. That's what we wanted to do. So, all right, so we wanted to go all along the high street, just follow it around, and then the next left. Okay, that's not too bad. We can do that. That's not as far as I thought, actually. Probably should have brought some food, but I feel we'll be able to get some out there. Oh, look at all these. Let's actually deal with these so we can get back safely. Oh, Jesus, there is a lot. Oh, okay. I think there's still more up there. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Just a couple. This weather has really turned really dark now. What kind of backpack is that medium? Ah, that's what we got. All right. Let's carry on. Okay. So we're coming into it by the looks. Fair few zombies around. Let's actually clear these out and go up on foot, I think. We may even spend the night up here, you know. Oh, these guys had a bit of an accident. Oh, look at this. It's like some kind of survivor colony, I reckon. Oh, look. Yeah, we'll spend the night here. Oh, look at this. Oh, jeez, they broke through there. Oh, okay. This is really cool. I don't know what kind of stuff we got in here. Yeah, this is definitely like a survivor stronghold, isn't it? shops and everything a bar does it have a gun store oh maybe this this here maybe actually yeah we'll get the sledge in there what's upstairs oh look at this this is really cool little medical area there look at this sledgehammer no gun store though 
need to find somewhere to sleep as well. Look at this. This is really good. I love this place. This would be really good for multiplayer. This. Where can we sleep? We can, ah, it's a bit risky sleeping in here. Although all the doors, we could sleep on that bench. Could actually sleep in here. We could barricade the window up. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. We got some planks. Could do with a couple more. Okay, we've barricaded the window, so that's fine. Let's have a little walk around, see what else we can see. Surely they gotta have a supply of guns up here. Oh yeah, the top hanger. That is guns in there. There's a lot of zombies in there, but hopefully they'll actually smash through that for us. If we go back, so we'll probably start getting tired. Oh, they're through. They're through already. Jeez. One of them did actually have a spiked baseball bat. This is what we wanted. Oh, look at this. Yes, amazing. Right, we will bring the car up here because this is what we wanted. Right, I'm glad we came here. <laughs> we will still sleep here for the night and then we'll bring the car up and load all this jazz up. Okay, it's 10 to 10. We'll get an early night in. I also want to get in that other building that was like gated off. We'll need the sledge for that. But we're going to go to bed. We should be safe here. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 37. We've woken at six in the morning. We are fine. We are alive, which is good let's just go down and get the car if i can remember where where it is all right let's hit up that building that's gated off first see if that may be a gun so i think it's going to be hardware but we'll have a look anyway oh there goes the bat yeah this building i think it will be hardware but let's just see okay we are in yeah hardware chain we'll take them because we can actually put them on our yeah we can put them on our wheels which will be very nice oh we got cabbage seed as well okay let's get out of here i don't like how confined that place was let's go up to that gun store bit the rain's starting to uh, clear out as well which is nice this would be such a good base for multiplayer Oh, look, it looks like there's a school up there as well. A lot of detail put into this. Really good map. Right, let's get looting. I can hear zombies. Don't know where they are. Don't want them sneaking up on us. Oh, we have got a flak vest, and that protects us a lot more than the civilian vest, so we will wear that. MP5, lovely. Oh, where the hell did all these come from? Oh, the car is full. This is not good. We want the MP5, that's for sure bandage scissors okay well we cleared this place out i think we get out of here you know we'll go and have a look at this bit over here but we are carrying a lot of weight on us but very successful we'll sort it all out back at base all right let's go yeah, let's get down here and see what's to the other side just have a little look oh it's boarded off okay part of the, the complex then but that's fine we came for guns we got guns okay we are home now we're gonna need another bloody one of these units upstairs for all of our guns i think so let's do that now actually we could just keep it down here couldn't we keep the armory down here i think that's not a bad idea let's tidy it up a little bit though we'll have one for ammo and one for guns hey you stop banging on my bloody doors you bastard okay the one on the left will be for guns the one on the right will be for ammo right, let's get it all in and then we'll see how we're uh, how we're looking we'll also keep the attachments over here as well and the magazines and everything like that all right so we have sorted look at all this bloody ammo we've got we got too much ammo jeez 308s okay that's for the m14 now we do have a lot of 38 special so i'm thinking we take the carbine ah we could take the mp5 now let's take the carbine so it doesn't actually take magazines see if we can put some attachments on it like a scope and a sling okay let's attach the nylon sling to it we can't put a scope on because it is short to mid range i believe anyway drop the 308s there for the time being also want to sort out putting some chains on our wheels possibly now we have sustainable firearms which is what we wanted let's actually put this bulletproof vest to civilian bulletproof vest on our bed there there we go it's a backup put the ammo in the actual ammo sling some nice box of mres which is bloody good as well and of course some cabbage not that we have any space for it at the minute but we got it all right well let's grab ourselves some food how is our calories looking 80 yeah that's fine so let's have just um let's have some soup all right it's 11 o'clock we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we'll look at putting them chains on our car i think and also go test out the fire rolls but we'll see you in the morning okay day 38 let's grab ourselves some food i think and maybe we have an MRE today. Yeah, because we have dropped a weight. Yeah, let's have an MRE. We've got plenty of them. All right, let's go look at getting these chains on. We might only be able to do one wheel, which isn't ideal, but oh, we've got a couple of zombies. Actually, let's let's take let's take the Winchester out now. 
If it brings zombies over, it brings them over. Okay, wheel protection. Oh, it's one chain for all of them. Oh, that is amazing. Let's do that. Let's do it. Because we know what happens when you don't look after your wheels. <laughs> yep, let's do it. Install. Oh, look at that. Amazing stuff. We are kitted. Put our wrench back. All right, let's have a look. Does that actually fully restore our wheel condition like it did with the trunk and stuff? Yes, it does. Oh. Oh my god, amazing. All right, let's, let's go into the high street and get shooting, I think. Why the hell not? Let's test out this Winchester. Oh, look at the wheels. They look amazing. Let's draw them all over to us. Come on, you bastards. It's okay, the Winchester. I don't think it's that loud either. Yeah, it's okay for small groups like this, but yeah, I don't know about the city. Maybe we take the MP5. Not that good on damage either. It's taken a couple of shots to kill the bastards. Except that guy. <laughs> How is our aiming? Is it actually giving us some? Yeah, it is giving us some levels, so it's giving us quite a bit of XP. It's nice down to worry about magazines, though. All right, well, let's head back. We've tested it. It's, it's pretty good. It's viable. Maybe we'll we'll see how we get on with it. The good thing is we aren't weighing ourselves down with the magazines, which is quite nice. But I do like the M14 battle rifle. But we'll see, we'll see. Oh, just look at our base. I love it. I really do. Yeah, we could take the car inside and stuff, use it as a garage. But I think it's fine as it is. Now let's do a bit of reloading, I think, for the rest of the day. Actually, the best thing to do reloading with is something that we've got a hell of a lot of magazines for. Not a lot, actually. 1911, but it only takes seven rounds. Ah, there we go. Nice. Level and reload. I'll take that. Level 5. Alright, it's 10 to 11. We're going to have an MRE and then we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Probably going to be a base day, I think. Alright, day 39. Yeah, we've woken up very early. But it's probably yeah, going to be a base day. Let's check on our crops. Yep, yeah, all looking good. All well watered, which is nice. Very dark outside. How's the old Jenny doing? Yeah, we've still got 20 days left on that. Perfect. Let's get ourselves another MRE because we are on 79. Or oh, do we have some maple syrup? Yeah, let's have some maple syrup. Treat ourselves. There we go. Calories going up a little bit. That's fine. Let's also go and see if we got any bastards hanging around out here. Doesn't look like it. So the gunshots didn't draw any to us. So we are probably pretty safe around here now. Nothing else in the back of the van. Probably don't need all these welding torches in here, do we? <laughs> Put the M21s in there. That's fine. What guns do we actually have then? We've got Ruger Carbine. We've got Tech 9, which could be quite nice. P5. Doesn't have a mag, but we do have one mag. Battle Rifle. I do like the Battle Rifle. And a Glock. 17 in that. Contains mag. That might be nice. Do we have a second magazine for it? No, we don't. Okay. Okay, but it is 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed. We're not going to eat tonight, I don't think. Uh, actually, no, let's have an MRE. Oh, yeah, I've turned the generator off as well because we don't really need it on all the time. Not if we're just kicking around. Save that fuel. But, yeah, we're going to go to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 40. We're probably not going to do a lot today as we never do on a 10th day, but we will get up the old mappage. All right, so... Yeah, we've, we've done a fair few places. We do have the docks. I don't know if I'm going to go there. We'll probably drive through it and scope it out. But this is the this is the main bastard right here. I've got a feeling these bridges are going to be a nightmare to get across. I've got a feeling it's going to be busy. We'll hit up these blue buildings. Hopefully there's police stations and stuff. Maybe get a suppressor. And of course, I do want to go up here to finish with. So we've got a lot to do still. We'll probably get a little FOB going on around here somewhere. And then we'll slowly start making our way into the into the city, I think. Look at this place here as well. And this, this looks quite interesting. Yeah, we got a, we got a lot to do still, but we're, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. we definitely got a solid old base where we are. But as I say, we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day. Okay, day 41. We have got a lot to do. We're going to try and get into the city a little bit yeah maybe we come down here maybe we take the sledge and see if we can smash some of this oh i don't think we can get through there we may have to sledge through but i want to get up here possibly go to the docks and possibly push up here so i think that's what we're going to do we may as well do that today how are our calories looking we're in pain from our neck but that's fine eight in rising so we've got to be a little bit careful here so let's just take a couple of pineapple with us shall we now we're looking for guns and ammo we got 120 rounds on the winchester yeah i think that'll be fine for 
to do a bit of reconnaissance, I reckon. Fill up our water before we go. All right, let's get on it. Now we got the old tire protection as well. Let's just make sure, yeah, we have them all. That's good. Let's go and explore. I don't think we're probably going to move base. I will make an FOB, but I do love our base. I really like it. I'd love to do some improvements to it. Yeah, see, look what we got here. Don't know how this how this works. Oh, actually, no, I'll tell you what we can do. No, I think we can go through here. We got a few wrecks. Nothing too crazy. Let's get back on the road. Oh, look, it's train tracks. No, we can't. Um, okay, right. Let's go to the docks instead then, I think. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we're actually at the docks. Or is it a train station? Oh lord, look at this. Look at this. This is narrow. Let's let's deal with these zombies and let's walk down there. Just have a little look around. We will take this M16. It's in pretty good condition, actually. Right, let's go and explore a little bit. See what the, the population is like over here. Actually, maybe let's get the Winchester out, you know. Anything come behind us? Yeah, we got a couple, but nothing to worry about, I don't think. May as well put them shooting skills to use, haven't we? Oh, looks like we got a lot of them anyway. Okay, what the hell do we have over here then? So maybe get the bat out now, just to be safe. Okay, we got some containers over there. Oh, maintenance up. We will take that. Yeah, it looks like we've got quite a few Zeds up here, but worth checking out. Yeah, we got a lot of containers over here. Might be worth trying to get in some of them, I reckon. Right, let's go get the car, I think. Right, shall we start smashing some in just to see what's in there we'll do a couple to see if there is any loot in there could always be bloody zombies in there though nothing in that one nothing in that one now, i know the map isn't finished so there could be no loot in there possibly nothing in that one we'll try a couple more i hear zombies now probably in here ah! yep 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 oh yeah it's a party house in there party container Oh, there was nothing in there. Let's try one more. Nothing in there. Oh, but an alarm. Right, we gotta go. <laughs> Especially around these parts. Let's get out of here. Because there'll be a hell of a lot of zombies around here, and I'm not messing with that. No way. Didn't look like there was any loot in them anyway, to be fair. Whoa, no, 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 what the hell? Oh my god, I already touched it. This is not good. We need to find maybe another car to bang it in a place. Right after the bloody alarm went off as well. Okay, we got cars down there. Let's just grab some gas. Worst case, we, we'll have to leave it, I suppose. God damn it. Oh, and there's zombies coming over. Can we get in the back here? Yeah, we can. We got a jerry can. Oh, this is not good. I'm hoping we can bang it in a place, but I don't know. Or at least tow it into place. If not, looks like we're leaving it. That was not my fault. No way. Okay, we're off. We have a car. All right, maybe if I just ding it, it'll go in the right place. Yes! Oh, thank God. Yes, yes. We will take our fuel back as well. Jeez, that was lucky. That was bloody lucky. And a good job we didn't get swarmed from the bloody house alarm going off. Well, let that be a lesson to me, that's for sure. Let's get out of here. I'm done with the docks. Okay, so we're at the little crossroads here. What I do want to do is just see if we can smash this stuff down. Just to make it easier to get through. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we've made a clear path through the side here. That'll do. I don't normally like going on the grass, but you got to do what you got to do. So that's fine. Okay. All right, let's get the hell home. Ah, home sweet home. I think we did mess up our windscreen a little bit. Yeah, not too bad though. Overall, the car's in pretty good uh, condition. All right, let's get inside where it's safe. What do we want to take into the city with us? Wouldn't mind a bloody suppressor, to be honest. You have eight boxes of 45s. Maybe the battle rifle, possibly. Winchester's good, but it just, just ain't cutting it. All right, well, we'll sort all that out tomorrow. Yeah, let's let's leave the Winchester. Let's put let's retire the Winchester, I think. Oh, what a journey. Jeez, that was, yeah, that was lucky. That was lucky. I mean, we would have been all right. We would have been able to get out of there. But, of course, we would have lost our truck, which we didn't want to do. And there was nothing really up there anyway. So we'll probably go in through this way, I think, when we do go in. Yeah, that's the plan. But it is 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We'll probably 
probably have a base day and figure out what kind of guns we're going to take up to the sea. So we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 42. As I say, it's going to be a base day today. Probably just go for our weapons, see what we're taking with us. I gotta, I feel like taking the battle rifle, to be honest. Let's have a look. We got a good one, actually. Yeah, look at that. Do we have any magazines for it, actually? Uh, we got two. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Take a leather sling. Uh, can we put a bipod on it? We will put a scope on it as well. If you've seen my other playthroughs, I do like the battle rifle rifle solid all-rounder attached leather sling yes oh it's got a red dot we can put a bipod on it we will take the red dot off though and put the four times on oh look at that bipod and everything nice okay how many 308s do we have and uh, we got six round six boxes because we got a box on us okay now can we get all of them in our ammo sink yeah we are quite okay we got quite a bit of junk in here let's look at moving that over to our satchel and we'll keep our ammo in here i mean we don't need four painkillers on us do we okay so we can't get them all in there but that's fine we should be okay i reckon heavy load not ideal is it let's put this medical stuff upstairs um let's actually just put our medical stuff in the freezer for now oh, no, no, let's put it over with the books to hell with it this medical stuff we're probably not really going to use oh yeah she does look good didn't she heavy load yeah i think we'll be fine with heavy loads you know so i think what the plan is tomorrow is to go up here around here maybe get in this building use this as an fob clear this area out probably start shooting just to draw more to us keep the car here just in case probably won't stay there the night but that that is the plan tell you what we will do to save a bit of weight we'll put this nearly broken baseball bat in the car as a backup and we'll use the good one out of our backpack as our main one i mean that one's not in the best condition but we do have the m16 as well let's put that in let's put that away how is our weight looking aging dropping that's absolutely fine we'll drop a couple we'll be fine okay so it is 10 past 11 we're gonna get a bed we're probably gonna eat tomorrow i think we'll go to bed and tomorrow we'll uh we'll push up we'll see you then okay day 43 let's grab some food what to take what to take let's take take beans actually all right let's go all right let's see if we can get in here and hindered yeah we can okay oh okay there's a few here let's park down the road a little bit maybe not use the rifle just yet keep the car running as well just in case maybe we do look at taking the revolver actually because it is one of the quietest guns i believe okay maybe maybe we try the guns let's drive the car a little bit further down though just so we can escape if we need to let's give it a quick shout actually maybe actually start giving the machete a go because it will be it's, surely it's lighter 0.05 yeah a lot lighter so you know what let's get the rifle out oh i love the new sound effects bloody good range on this as well battle rifle for the win Oh, we got a lot coming. This should be fine now. Oh, long blunt. Nice. All right, looking good. Let's uh, let's get up there. Good thing is we would have drawn a few of them to us, which is nice. So it's a little bit clearer up there. Long blade. Yeah, it's getting there. I could do with another level, then we might start one-shotting. Okay, so what is this little building here then? Let's go and see if we can use it as some kind of FOB. There's a few zombies. Actually, let's get the rifle. We need to clear this area out anyway. God, the range on this is just ridiculous. Look, look at that. Oh, leveling aiming as well. I think the bipod is helping a lot. Right, well, it looks like we've drawn a lot of the bastards over. Oh, there's a couple of stragglers here. Okay, let's go have a look in here, see what it even is, if it's even suitable. I mean, it could work. It could work. Got some water in here anyway. Hmm. Yeah, this could work. We could stay out back here. Seems fairly secure. We could put something. We could board that up, maybe. Got some food here as well. And we've also got a door there and a door here to keep us safe. So I think this is a contender, you know. There is some zombies around. I don't know where they're. Oh, here he is. Dismantle these for planks. Yeah, okay. This could work. This could work. Well, we better get back because we are going to start getting tired soon. I'll have to sleep on a chair. Oh, we could bring one of our camp beds up, actually, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get back anyway. Hmm. Yeah, happy, happy with that little uh, FOB there, to be honest. Okay, we are home, sweet home. All right, what other ammo do we have? 223, we got a lot of. 357, 45s actually, 762s, but well, we got options, we got options. But it is 11 o'clock, we're gonna go to bed tomorrow. I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure, but we'll see in the morning. 
Okay, day 44. I think today looks like it's a bit foggy. Yeah, well, I was going to say we're going to hang around base anyway a little bit today. Let the bastards disperse up there and also some corpses despawn, hopefully. This is all looking very nice, isn't it? Look at this, flourishing. What about the old uh, tomatoes? Flourishing, nice, nice. What are these? Are these still seedling? Yeah, strawberries are still seedling, but that's fine. That's fine by me. Let's have a look how the old motor's doing. Yep, still pretty pretty damn good time pressure is good yeah that's all fine looking good looking good how are our calories actually 80 and dropping so that's fine we'll uh we'll eat light today oh actually before i forget let's put one of these beds in our trunk to move up to the fob there we go i mean do we we should probably look at making some more baseball bats shouldn't we some spiked bats probably yeah let's let's do that we don't have scissors we took the scissors off didn't we oh no because our military tool thing should do it but i guess it doesn't register is it oh that's annoying mm, that is an issue so we want to look out for scissors can't even remember where it was we dropped them mm, that is annoying okay well we'll just have to do them whatever melee weapons have we got we got any better machetes or anything oh we have bloody guns up here still and ammo oh we'll take the 308 yes please right let's let's go and sort that out no we only have bush machetes um <laughs> okay well here's what it is good job i checked that uh them shelves there we got another winchester there as well oh and another m14 mag yeah we'll have that nice well that's the bloody result all right it's half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow yeah we're going back up there so we'll see you in the morning all right day 45 let's get ourselves some food we may as well take a oh there was food up there wasn't there but we'll take a little bit of this stuff with us some low calorie stuff and we'll actually have some sardines for breakfast what a bloody breakfast i mean old slick he's living like a king i'd say all right let's get up there all right we are here let's get our stretcher bed out let's take that inside so i don't forget still seems fairly clear around here i think we'll be pretty safe here especially if we board them back doors up as well there's a lot of high calorie stuff in here butter fruit jam oh lovely stuff okay well we'll get something out of the car for now let's get a fruit cocktail and the peas uh we'll take the hunting knife oh we got chips as well we will take the hunting knife because we can use that to make a baseball bat i believe instead of scissors so that's fine you always find hunting nice that's for sure right let's walk up here i reckon and i think we actually just get the rifle out straight off the bat draw them to us from the surrounding area there is a lot Right, let's fall back a little bit. All right, we definitely got through a load of them, but there is always more, that's for sure. Oh, wow, look at that. Is that like a flooded, supposed to be a flooded tunnel, isn't it, I think? Wow, that's really good. Yeah, look. Well, I guess we won't be going that way, but that's fine. Okay, what we got here then looks like another bus station now there is that blue building to our north up there which possibly could be a police station which i do want to check out mm, the bat is not looking too good is it Let's repair it with some nails it's not ideal but it's summoned okay so we are getting into the city i think we get the rifle out here just to draw them all to us oh jesus watch out watch out Oh, look at them all. Wow. Okay, it's getting a little bit busy. Let's move back a little bit. Let's retreat. Let's reload. Oh, there goes the bat. Mm. Yeah, the machete just, just doesn't it isn't cutting it, you know. It's good as a little backup weapon, but as a main, not so good. We could do with chopping a tree down. We can't do it on a machete. Do you have houses here? Oh, actually, did one of these have a little axe in them, a hand axe? I do remember seeing a hand axe somewhere, but God knows where. Do you still have this one? It's not in the best condition, but at least it's... Oh, maybe maybe on mall we can chop a tree down. Yes, we can. Look at this. Amazing. Right, we have three spiked baseball bats, which is good. Right, we're probably going to go in here for the rest of the day because we are tired we'll at least rest and then we can board our back door up could actually dismantle some stuff in here as well and get us some metal working up maybe we do that tomorrow while we're here all right we've boarded that up happy days yeah i think we uh dismantle the stuff in here because we could get maybe another level yeah maybe maybe we could you know it's worth it we got propane with us that's a job for tomorrow again we'll let them all disperse around there okay but it's 10 o'clock we're gonna go to bed we'll get an early start on the dismantling hopefully 
We'll be safe if I close the bloody doors. It's also full of water up. All right, yeah, let's go to bed in our little uh, our little room here. <laughs> we should be fine. I think we will be, but we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 46. We have survived with no issues. Now, look at this bloody weather out here. Now, I'm glad we are just going to be dismantling today because, yeah. Oh, Lord, look at this. We do not want to be using the rifle with this no way not in a city we don't know let's just get a let's get to dismantling oh we can't actually dismantle these things ah no we can't okay well we can do the fridges and stuff the ovens are where it's at anyway well it wasn't as successful as i thought it was gonna be we only got any metal working for that well there you go we still won't be going out in this bloody weather though that's for sure all right well we'll just hang around today anyway it's fine oh weight is 78 look at that wow we haven't been keeping an eye on that have we right well, let's go eat some sugar or something uh yeah sugar <laughs> eat it they don't actually give you that many calories fruit jam get on you as well yeah do we have antidepressants on us yeah we do we could eat some butter yeah let's eat some butter gonna make us sad but uh not too sad actually nothing a cigarette won't sort out we are gaining as well only one chevy but that's fine okay so the fog is starting to clear but we're probably not going to go up there today we will wait till tomorrow so i really want to get into this building here this i feel like this is a police station and also these two here that's gonna be a police station now and then we've actually got to get over the river. Yeah, I feel it's going to be very busy. But I'm sure we'll be fine. We can manage it. We can manage it. Okay, but it's 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We are pushing back up to, well, the crossroads area there. We'll see you then. Okay, day 47. Again, we have survived, which is nice. How are the cows looking now? Maybe we've gained... Ah, uh, yeah, we've gained one, so we're on 79. That's fine. Right, let's just get up there. Stop blasting, fools. Let's do it. Yeah, weather's a lot better today as well. We do have chips and chocolate with us for food if we need it. Let's just go. Let's get on with it. We will drive up a little bit today as well. Yeah, let's park here. Oh, nimble up. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of them. Let's uh, let's spike bat them, I think. Come on in, you bastards. Oh, okay. All right, let's walk on up there, shall we? Okay, so I suppose this is this is the city. We got a, we got a gigamot up there. Yeah, let's get the rifle out. Oh, oh, where the hell did all these come from? Oh, geez. Okay, no, we gotta, we got to retreat here. We should be fine, but I'd like to just retreat a little bit. We can take all these bastards out. Well, it's slow progress, but progress is progress. We are getting very low on 308 ammo as well, which isn't ideal. Oh, no, and I've just shot that window and it's set an alarm off. Oh, no. So many alarms. Well, at least it'll draw them all up there, won't it? Oh, box of nine mil, though. I just might happen to see on the floor. Right, let's see how many head over there. Not that many, actually. Let's go and mop them up with the bat, shall we? Let's have a little walk north a bit. Just see if we can get to that blue building. Because if we can find out what it is, we can mark it off whether we want to go there or not. Although our bat is in very bad condition. And I think we got a storm coming in because it's very dark. Probably be able to get in and have a look. How many kills are we on? 1,500 nearly, okay. Long blade is getting there. Oh, we can nearly see. I think it's going to be a police station. Let's get up there and have a look. Okay, we can probably get there and see what it is. A hotel? A hotel? What? We don't want that. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Well, I'm glad we didn't drive up and waste a load of ammo getting up here. Okay, we're back at the truck. Let's, yeah, let's just head home because we're going to have to restock because we're very low on ammo anyway, so we'll probably go back now. God damn, the car's only getting stuck in all that. Let's actually clear that out now. There we go. That should make travel a little bit easier. All right, we are home, sweet home. Yeah, I mean, in terms of guns, we've got 11 boxes of 9 mil. A lot of 45s, haven't we? We do have four M1911 mags, one MP5 mag. Maybe we go MP5 and M1911, you know? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do, you know? Let's take some attachments off of the M14. You served me well, old girl, but we've got to move on to bigger and better things now, unfortunately. Ah, yeah, now the revolver 
possibly because it's very low sound radius, I believe. I don't know. And there's no magazine required, but then ugh, it's going to be a, take ages to reload, isn't it? Oh, we can put a full time scope on the MP5. Maybe a red dot on the M1911. Yep. Okay. Maybe we take the winch down as well. Yeah, let's put a winch in the car as well. Why not? Okay. So we do have our weapons ready. So we're looking pretty good, to be fair. And maybe keep the bush machete, you know, to keep the weight down. Because it's all right. It's not ideal, but it's okay. And hopefully we get, we're close to another level as well. So yeah, we probably keep this. Let's actually put the other ones in the car as well. Okay, but it is 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We might actually go check out some houses around here, you know. We may go up to these residential ones. We might get lucky and find some ammo, but also some zombies to increase our long blade skill. But let's say that's, that's tomorrow. We'll deal with that then. Let's go to sleep. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 48. Let's just, yeah, let's just get up to them houses. I think let's have a bit of food in us. How's the weight? 79, that's fine. Have a tin of potatoes. Yeah, let's stay local for a couple of days, I think now. We'll get this long blade up a level. So then we got a backup and then we'll test it out as well. We will drive up to them houses, because why not? Have we done them houses? I don't think we have. I haven't been marking stuff off the map, so not ideal. No, I don't think I have done these houses. Oh, look, they've got bloody zombies over here. Yep, let's up our long blade. Let's do it. All right, so we're at them houses. We haven't been here. Let's get out. We'll go looting in some bedrooms, see if we can find some ammo and stuff like that. Ah, oh, long blade. Nice, nice. Oh, we have been here, haven't we? Yeah, we ran across the field, didn't we? I remember. Definitely that house. Let's go to the northern ones then. Oh, look what we've got here. The survivor house. Amazing. So glad we came up here now. Now, we How busy inside is it, though? Okay, we are in. Still hear zombies around. Okay, let's get looting. Oh, proper machete. Nice, nice. Pickle, we'll eat that. Okay, so not too much downstairs, but we do have upstairs to go. Now, is it safe upstairs? That's the question. Mm, nightstick and a hand axe, not really interested in. <gasps> Katana. Yes, we will take that. Thank you. Uh, the hockey mask. Oh, yeah, that's, that's where I know it's not police uniform, but that's a bloody good find, actually. Yeah. There ain't much else up here. They don't have a toilet upstairs? No. All right, well, I mean, it's bloody successful. There's no guns, but I will take a proper... Oh, that machete is such bad condition. Although we can repair it. Katana's in. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's good, but it's not amazing. We'll take it, though. Now, let's go have a look in this house. Finish off in here. Yeah, not bad. Not not really anything in here. Such good detail. I mean, look, there's even like leaves on the roofs. Really good map. All right, let's get out of here, though. Fairly successful. Could have been better, but we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, we are home now. What what did we what did it take to repair this scrap metal? I feel that like we should actually try and repair it. We have any scrap metal anywhere? No, but we will try and dismantle some stuff for some. Because I mean, probably one more hit and it's gonna break. So we may as well repair it. What can we get scrap metal from? Maybe Maybe the cooker, actually. Ah, oh, we get nothing. Ah, we did the microwave. We got some from the microwave. It's a shame we had to lose our microwave, but it is what it is. Scrap metal. 60% it'll increase it, potentially. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that, absolutely. Yeah, fairly successful then, definitely. Oh, look at this. The tomatoes are coming up nice. Young tomato. Can you actually harvest that? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's half past 10. We're very hungry. We're losing calories. Well, so we're probably going to have an MRE, I reckon. Yeah, get an MRE in your Go on. There we go. It's leveled us off, but we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 49. We're probably going to have a base day today. We did prepare ourselves to push back into here. Now, this this is absolutely useless here. What the hell even was it again? I can't remember. Oh, a hotel. Useless. Now, so these may be police station and hospital. I don't know. So we got blue there as well. But then again, this map isn't 100% accurate. So also got that there as well. Could go along here to that one. Yeah, maybe we do that actually. Let's put a little marker or something like that. And then like that. We want to get to there possibly. Nice, nice. I'm actually doing something a bit neat and tidy on the map for once. <laughs> All right, but it's half past 10. Let's grab ourselves a little bite to eat. Let's go, let's go. Let's go tuna. What the hell not? All right, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 50. Wow, we are halfway through. This is this is flown by this series. Jeez. So the next 10 years, we're going to push up here and hopefully get a bit further into the town, the city as well. I just feel it's going to be very, very busy. Maybe we should have started in there actually thinking about it. 
and worked our way out. But I wanted to explore these areas, so I'm glad we did start down here. I was going to say, maybe there was a bridge over to the checkpoint here, but don't know like there is, and we could have stopped off there and got ourselves some ammo down here, but oh well. But yeah, we're probably not going to do a lot today, as it is a 10th day. All right, we are back. Day 51. We got a lot to do as usual. How are the croppage coming on? Nice, nice. Flourishing, flourishing. Okay, so I think... We're going to have to push back into uh, back into the town, aren't they? We stocked all our weapons up, so let's grab ourselves some food. Maybe we take some MREs with us because we are losing weight, so we could be there a few days, to be honest. So let's take yeah, let's take a couple with us. Uh, we got some chips anyway, so that's fine. We'll also take some pineapple. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's not hang around. We got a busy few days, so let's go. Let's just check we have everything we need in here. We got the Winchester. We got the MP5. We got nine mil. Yada yada yada. Yep all looking good in there we'll put the food in there as well thinking maybe we just go 1911 for a little bit up there first let's take that i mean it is an absolute workhorse isn't it we will top up on our water while we're here as well go lovely stuff right let's go all right so we're at the fob we are just going to drive straight down a little bit more because we need a we need to make progress in there to be honest we need more guns okay i think this bus depot here will be okay because we can push along the high street there Let's just get the pistol out straight away, I think. Actually, no, let's 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 use the machete on these stragglers we got roaming around here. So what's that then? So that looks like it is a tr actual train station, doesn't it? Should we go in and have a look? It does look pretty cool, to be honest. Oh wow, yeah, look. Any chips? We'll take the chips actually. We'll eat them now. Got a water dispensary if we ever needed one. Right, I think we use the old pistola just in case. Well, just to draw some of the bastards over to us. There we go. <laughs> I'm hoping with the alarm and with us already shooting, that's brought a lot of them out anyway. What level is our actual aim in? Bloody hell, we're nearly at five. Nice. Okay. Okay, so we've got a big old giga mark there. We will mark some of this stuff off on the map, so I know that it is there. Because maybe we're going to eventually end up living in the sea. I don't know yet. Okay, well, let's start marking. We'll put the old tin can there. Just say that that is food if we need it. Should we have a little look in there? We might, might see something that we need. Let's just grab ourselves a little bit of food. There we go. Some canned carrots. Why not? Why not? Okay, it's starting to get a little bit busier again. Let's get the old pistola out, I think. Actually, let's melee where we can. Let's get the good machete out. Try and get them levels up. All right, what we got then? Looks like officers and more officers. What's that building over there? Let's go have a look in there, shall we? Ooh, what is this place then? Some kind of temporary hospital or barracks, maybe? We are in. We are in. Any guns? No, it is a little hospital. Okay, well, there's a lot of lot of good stuff here. I mean, we haven't needed beta blockers yet, really, have we? So, I don't mind a few uh, few guns stashed around, maybe. Don't think we're going to be that lucky, though. Another water dispenser. There's a lot of water dispensers on this map. Well, let's mark this off as medical supplies. There we go. Lovely stuff. Right, let's crack on. I think we do get the gun out here, you know. Oh, yeah, there's a few coming. That's fine. Now, that's what we wanted. That's what we want. Oh, level and aiming. Nice. There we go. Wouldn't actually mind another 1911 magazine, but there's the bridge. So we probably won't cross that today, I don't think. We'll just clear this side out. But I also want to go to that blue building up north, don't I? So we'll probably do that tomorrow. Now, there could be thousands in these buildings here, which won't be good. But, oh yeah, look at all these bastards coming. Oh, that's a lot of killing. How is Long Blade looking? Oh, it's getting there, it's getting there. Right, we are going to start getting tired soon, so I think we will walk back to the car. We can definitely drive a lot further up tomorrow, I think. It seems fairly clear for a lot of it, which is good. Oh, it's going to attach the Katana, so I think that'll be the best bet going up there tomorrow, but we need a sheath for that. Hmm. Okay, well, that's fine. So, yeah, tomorrow we're going to come up here, see what this is all about, and then hopefully... That'll be a gun store or a police station or something. But that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, but it is 10 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're pushing up there. We'll see you then. Okay, day 52. Can we actually make a sheaf? Yes, we can. Oh, no, we can paint it. Katana for sheaf. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I left it in the car. Okay, well, I think we can actually just put it in a sheaf. Yeah, because I'm going to take the katana up there just in case because it's uncharted territory up there. So going in our backpack, that'll do. Let's grab a bit of a few more 45s. Oh, let's just grab all the 45s. Grab ourselves some breakfast, and I think we just crack on up there. 
Actually, let's have an MRE as well. There we go. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we are coming up on the corner. And there are some buildings around here I want to check out as well if we look on the map. So, just got to be careful. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Okay. I don't think we'll be using the gun, but the good machete will do us. Oh, what is that? It's all fenced off, gated off. So, that could be could be interesting in there. Let's, let's deal with them in the car park first before we take the car up there. There is a couple of policemen here, which is nice because they may have 1911 magazines on them or even ammo. Have they got anything good on them? I mean, they got a shotgun. We don't really want the shotgun. Oh, is this some kind of little mall or something? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, we got to get in there, haven't we? We got to see what it's all about. Still got quite a way to go to the blue building. You watch, it won't even be a bloody police station, but a small one like that, it's either a police station or a pharmacy. Okay, we are in. We do have guests, though, coming up behind us. Get it in, get it in. Yep, okay, that's good. Oh, where the hell have all these come from? This is the thing you see. Uncharted territory, they can come from bloody anywhere. Machete's about to go as well by the looks. We are actually a little bit panicked. Let's take some bait. As I was only saying a minute ago, we ain't really needed them. Oh, look, they've gone over to the car there. We should be fine, though. Okay, we have got to be careful here, because it looks like there's only one way in and out of this place. We're in, we're in. Oh, we got we got a box of 308. That is a good, good sign. I think this might be a bloody massive old gun store, you know. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, no. <laughs> it is not. It is a hardware store. But there could be guns in here. I mean, there is a M24 sniper just on the crate here. So maybe some of it, maybe it's just like a big, big hardware store with guns in. Don't open dead inside. Oh, you know what? We're going to open it. Ah! Oh, it's only a toilet. <laughs> There's got to be guns. There's got to be guns. Oh, look at this. Oh, M14 battle rifle but it's it's a black one uh probably got fiberglass yeah fiberglass stock makes me think that there is going to be guns in here just a hell of a lot of books the room stories is giving us ammo so okay i think there there is an upstairs so we will check that okay maybe we go in the building next door this one here i think god damn it there's got to be guns here somewhere although i will take you know the 9 mil and the 308 that's quite nice actually all right we've opened her up let's go have a look could be busy up here to be honest I hate going upstairs the hell is this place? Like a bloody furniture. Ah, oh, it's like Ikea. A lot of bookshelves. Yeah, this is bloody Ikea, isn't it? What's that, peanut butter? We'll take that. Good place to come and dismantle and stuff, but not really what we need right now. Well... I think we've uh, we've done Ikea. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then you've got the restaurant. Look at this. It is bloody Ikea. Yeah, look. I just hope we can get out down here. Oh, we're here. We're back in this place. Okay. Oh, yeah, bloody hell. It is Ikea. All right, well, no guns, a bit of ammo, but as I say, I'll take the ammo. Probably are going to start getting tired soon, so we will have to head back. But I just want to have a quick look what's further down here to see whether we need to stop here tomorrow. I've uh, got a sofa place there. Fossil fuel. <gasps> Police, police, we got police there. Okay, All right, let's go back and we'll come in here tomorrow. See, that wasn't marked as blue on the map, was it? Okay, we are back at the FOB. We'll probably just hang around here for the rest of the day, I think. We will eat some peanut butter, though. That's leveled us off. We're not too worried about calories, I said. We got MRE, so we, we should be fine. Okay, it's 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed. Push back up there in the police station tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day 53. Let's just crack straight. Oh, look at that. Five chocolate. Yes, please. We'll have some of that now. Yep, yeah, we're going to to just push right on up there get in that police station hopefully get ourselves some good old loot weather's not amazing but we should be fine as long as it's not foggy okay so some of them are moved down let's let's leave the car here and let's get slicing all right let's see yeah let's carry on going up on foot mm, yeah let's let's clear them with on foot i think yeah, this weather is taking a right old turn. I've had to put the bloody torch on. 20 to 10 in the morning. Jeez. Oh, there goes the machete. Let's get the old katana. How are we looking for the long blade? Okay, okay. So another half a level. That's nice. Maybe the machete might get us. The uh, katana might get us there. Probably not, to be honest, but... Let's give it a little shout around here. Draw them all to us. We don't want any nasty surprise in the police station. All right, maybe we're clear now. Oh, we got family medical center there. We ain't interested in that, though. We want what's in here. No alarm. Thank you. Okay, we have found the armory. Can we jump through there? No, okay. We can 
Smash it down though, so that's fine. Let's just check the area. So we got some more stuff there. Let's do this one first. Ah, so this is the medical bit. We don't want that. Let's just double check. Oh, there's more stuff in here. More medical stuff. Okay. Well, oh, I can see a gun cabinet. Oh, fanny pack. We don't really need a fanny pack because we got the ammo pouches, haven't we? Medical supplies. We don't want them. We don't want the medical supplies. We want guns. Gotta be guns in here, hasn't there? Surely. No, more bloody medical supplies. What? Well, what a complete waste of time it was coming in here then. <laughs> that is a little bit annoying. But, oh well. We keep on pushing. I'm guessing the story behind it is that there was some survivors holed up there and they were stockpiling the medical supplies, I guess. All right, so our goal hasn't changed. We still need to get to the blue building. They couldn't even give us a little M1911 magazine, could they? Bastards. All right, let's get up there. Let's have a browse. Anything else along the way that we can see? Anything we like the look of? Ice cream, diner. Nah, not interested in all that. All right, do we try and cross the river now? Yeah, to hell with it. Let's do it. Oh, look at this. It's a bloody church. A bloody church. Ah, all right, okay. Well, at least we know. Let's go, let's go. Let's get back for the day. A <laughs> bloody church, I can't believe it. Should we have a little look down here, see if there is anything before we do go home? Another gigamart. Really bothered about that, to be honest. Camping. I see tents in there. Maybe it's a hunting store? Let's drive up into the open a little bit. We may go check that out. Yeah, maybe, maybe we go in here. Okay, we are in. They got a sail on by the looks of it. Uh, they got, yeah, it's kind of like a hunting store, it looks like. Hunting equipment. Don't see any gun shells or anything, though. Oh, I do see some desert combat boots, though. I do like them. Trapping magazines. A load of old rubbish, really. Although, camping canteen, but we got some. Oh, is that four? Two boxes of MREs. Probably don't need them. Right, there is the little warehouse bit here. No, nothing worth taking for us. All right, let's get out of it. Let's go. Okay, we're back at the FOB. Let's bring the old map up. How are we looking? Now, we could go and look at these buildings tomorrow. we just got to take... A left down now. I don't know how busy it is. I feel we kind of have to, don't we? There's that building there, but okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see how busy it is down there tomorrow. Still have the katana with decent conditions, so. But it is 10 o'clock. We're going to get to bed. Tomorrow we'll push down. We'll see you then. Okay. Day 54. I think we're just going to push on down to them other blue buildings just to mark them off, see what's down there. The way things have been going, I'm not holding out much hope, but we'll see. Grab ourselves some, let's grab ourselves some pineapple, I think, to eat. Oh, we have chocolate and everything with us, don't we? Forgot about that. Oh, I see some chocolate as well then. Why the hell not? All right, let's go and see what we got down here. I feel we are making a dent on the zombie population, which is good. Yeah, so we take a left here. Wee! Don't crash into that van. Bloody hell. We may even base up in one of these houses eventually. Oh yeah, look. It's busy. It's busy. Let's just get down and scope it out. See what it is down here first before we decide to stop. Oh, what the hell? Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like this. This is narrow. Oh, no. It's like some kind of bridge. Oh, God, no. I don't like that. What if we go this way? Can we get onto the bridge? No, we can't. Oh, the hell with it. Let's go down here. We can escape into this field if we need to. Oh, we need to get over the other side of the road. Bloody hell. Okay, we can cross here. I do not like this. This is risky. Okay, so we are at one of the blue buildings, which I don't know. It might be a police station, you know. Could be. Can see what the other one is. Could actually be a police station. What's this one, though? That's a school. Okay, that's a school. We have drawn a lot of them to us. I just want confirmation that this is a police station. Oh my god, look at them all. And there's no police cars outside. I don't think it is, you know. All right, we've got to be careful here. Let's not get carried away. I don't think it is a police station. No, let's get out of it. Let's get out of it. It's too busy for my liking. This weather is awful as well. Okay, let's go through the residential area. Not ideal, but I don't really have a choice. Oh, it's not too busy around here, to be honest. Okay, so we're back near the FOB. Oh, is this? Oh, no. I thought it was a stalker. We do have undead survivor on, but it's not. Right, let's go back down here then towards the bridge. Clear this out a little bit. Yeah, it's very busy down there. And I don't even think it is a gun source, so it's probably not even worth the risk, to be honest. Okay, so we're at the bridge. Let's let's deal with some of these bastards. There's a lot of cool buildings, definitely. I mean, what is this building? We may have to make this the FOB. Let's clear it out. Let's get all of these dealt with as well. Let's get the old katana out for this. Come on, you bastards. Oh, jeez. 
Well, we're getting through them. We're getting through them. How is our long blade? Oh, it's nearly up a level, which is nice. What the hell have we even got around here? Not a lot, really. Let's give it a shout. Let's try and draw them all over to us on this around this little island area. Oh, this weather is so bad. Oh, no. There goes the katana. All right. Let's use a gun. To hell with it. Where is our truck, though? Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe that was a bad idea. Uh, there's a few coming, but not crazy amounts. Oh, there's loads in that building now. we got to get out of here. Come on. Oh, yes. Thank God. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. We're going home. We are going home. See you later, FOB. We are out of here. I do want to get back anyway, because maybe the crops will have grown by now, possibly. It's going to be a tough one to crack, that city. Okay, we are home. Safe and sound. Rip in peace, the old... Katana, that's a shame, but could not be helped. Feels so much better now we're home. <laughs> May even make a couple of baseball bats, you know. No, we can't because I'm guessing we don't have the hunting knife on us. Machete, we're probably not going to repair again. Oh, what do we do with the hunting knife? Ugh. Well, let's check these crops anyway. Young tomato, nice, nice. Not ready to harvest yet, but... All right, so let's assess then. Where the hell do we get to? We got to here. And there's all of this. Wow. Okay. There is that blue building there. See, these these buildings are not correctly marked, which is making it a lot harder. These are a write-off here. That's a write-off. I think what we'll do is we will, while we're here, we will back home. We will scope out some in the residential because we could be another survivor house or something like that. I really want a suppressor. Suppressor would just make my life so much easier. But it is half past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. After all that excitement, I think we're going to have a base day, but we'll see you then. Okay, day 55. As I said, it's probably going to be a nice chilled base day today. These are coming on nicely. Bloody hell. Have we actually read farming? No, we haven't. Okay, so let's go and look out for farming books then tomorrow, I think. What books do we actually have over here? Not a lot, really. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go and look out for farming, I reckon, and any other books we find along the way. I wonder if this is... No, it doesn't look like you can forage here anyway. Okay, that's fine. And also, a kitchen... Actually, there's a kitchen knife downstairs. We can make some bags. Bats, because they are nice for the crits they are there we go kitchen knife thank you yeah i do like tools of the trade because the weapons aren't overpowered because bushcraft can be a little bit overpowered and things like that so this is nice because even though you got a machete i mean the execution sword was nice but you know even though you got a machete they're not that that powerful which is pretty good all right let's put some spikes in this we have no nails all right well looks like we need nails sure there was surely there's nails downstairs no there isn't there's any screws okay we got no one in our workbench over here no okay right well we need we need nails as well then we could probably get them from the hardware store to be honest uh maybe there's nails in the car i know we do have spiked baseball bats in the car anyway but i thought i'd make some more because we had the logs here how is the old weight looking 79 okay should we eat an mre yeah let's do it go lovely stuff all right it's 11 o'clock we're gonna have a smoke and we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're going into town we'll see you then okay day 56 let's just get up and out oh look at this weather Look at this weather. It ain't even light fog even. No, we're not going out in this. It's a shame, but we're not risking it. No way. It's just getting worse as well. Okay, so the fog has gone, but we're not going to go out today. It's a bit too late in the day for us, I think, to be honest. Okay, it's 10 to 12. I have stayed up a little bit later, so we wake up later and hopefully miss any fog if it is coming tomorrow again. But we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 57. Looks like the weather is better. The rain, we can live with rain. That is not a problem. Let's get some peaches in us and let's get crying. Okay, let's just get on over there. Actually, let's see if we got nails in the boot here. Oh, there's the hunting knife. <laughs> uh, no, we do not have nails in the boot. Okay, we'll swing by the hardware store as well then. All right, let's get in here and see what we can see. Surely there's got to be some bloody nails in here. How do I not have nails? Hmm, nothing here. Do we need nails or farming one and two, maybe? No nails down here. Oh, bloody screws. A lot of cement. Don't need bloody cement. Ah, box of nails. Perfect. Okay, let's open them up and actually add spikes to the baseball bat. There we go. I do still want to use the machete just to up our level, but if we get a bit overwhelmed, you never know. We can whip out the bat. All right, doesn't look like we got farming anywhere here so we should probably get out get up to the residential area all the bloody bookshelves we've gone past as well we are going to mark the houses off now as we go long blade nearly there yeah it is getting there long blade we are close ah farming one perfect still going to keep looking now because i wouldn't mind farming two and also 
a nice little ammo supply or ammo stash, something like that. Seems to be quite a lot of survivor houses spawning, so hopefully we might find another one of them. That'd be nice. Oh, we got a lot here. Look at these bastards hiding over here. Yes, we gotta be careful because there's obviously still little hordes kicking around. Oh, like these bastards here. Now I did hear a window smash, which makes me think there are zombies in here. I think there's zombies up here. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? God damn, I thought we was done for then. Where the hell did they come from? They must have fell down. Glitched through the wall or something. Jesus, that scared me to death. We ain't going back in there. It ain't worth it. Nope, we're going to leave that house. See you later. <laughs> we don't want nothing to do with that. Oh, another survivor house. Oh, my God. Okay, we're at the survivor house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got to be careful. Obviously ain't as safe as I thought it was around here. Right, let's do a sweep of the house around the outside. Okay, it looks all right around the outside, but I don't know what it's like inside. Oh, see if the door's opened. I doubt it. Oh, it is nice. Okay, it's definitely one in the garage. Okay, so we cleared the house. Let's see what we got then. Anything good? Come on. Oh, yes. Take the mag. Battle rifle in good condition. We'll take the ammo. Mm, not too worried about the revolver, to be honest. Oh, what we got here then? Spiked bat. Ah, I mean, we can make them so easily. Oh, another bush machete. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Right, let's get out of it. Let's mark that off. Yeah, pretty successful. Not amazing loot, but... You know, we'll still take it. Do we have any more survivor houses, though? Surely we got to be nearly level three now. Oh, so close. Oh, long blade. Yes, we got it. We got it. Nah, still not one shotting. But mm, let's do let's do one more house. Let's do this one down here. Oh, look, look. There's loads of them. Loads of them still kicking around. Oh, a kebab skewer. Uh, we'll take it. I don't know what it does, but... Well, skewers kebab... Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, he nearly had us, you bastard. Jeez. Uh, does this count as long blade? Let's give it a go. Doesn't do much... Oh, my God. Oh, it's a stabby. Nah, we don't want that. Let's get rid of that. Cool, we've had some close calls coming in this town. Because I thought it was safe. This is it, you know. Overconfidence. Just want farming too. Is that too much to ask? Oh, herbalist will take. Not that we'll be doing any foraging, but uh, we'll take that as well. All right, let's get home. You know, we've had, like I said, we've had some close calls, so let's get out of here. Let's not push it. All right, let's put these in the back of the, in the truck here, because they'll probably end up staying in there, to be honest with you. Yeah, we can put the machete in there as well. Okay, let's go and read farming. Shame we didn't get farming too, but it is what it is. Okay, it's 10 to 11. We didn't get farming red, so we'll finish that tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 58. Let's go check on the crops, actually. I don't think they're ready yet, but let's have a look. Young strawberry, young tomato. Okay, that's fine. Right, well, let's finish farming. Okay, so we finished farming. It's a little bit late in the day, so we probably won't be going out. What else are we looking, what are we looking like around us over to this way? Maybe we come and do some of these farms, actually, because they could have farming... Also, this building here as well. Yeah, maybe we do that tomorrow, actually. Get us out. We have had a couple of days at base, haven't we? So, and I do think spike bats are the way to go. We will keep a machete on us, but these are just too good one shot. In. Weight wise, we're looking okay. Let's maybe grab an MRE. We'll take one with us tomorrow as well. All right, it's 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 59. Let's just get a move on and get down there. We'll see what's occurring down there. You never know. We might find something amazing, but I doubt it, but it's worth checking out anyway. Wait a minute, we got got farming in here maybe no cooking ain't worried about that oh we got a straggler oh i love the bat i love the bat okay so these houses don't look like farms they're just houses out in the sticks a little bit but i hear zombies already ah you bastard you sneaky bastard you got a chunk out of something I don't know what, but we're fine. There's nothing's got any damage in it. Jesus, we were lucky there. 
See, I'm getting too bloody reckless. That's the problem. Not checking places properly. Oh, stun gun. Oh, we got to try that out. <laughs> it looks like a short blade, but yeah, I don't know about that. All right, nothing in here. Let's get out. Let's go over to that great warehousey building. Okay, so we are coming up and oh, wow, look at this. What the hell is this place? It looks busy. Hmm, what is this building? Let's give it a shout just to draw them over to us. Is that apartments next door? All right, let's go in. Looks like some kind of mechanics warehouse or something nothing really in here though oh we have a gun locker oh my god well they're they're coming there's a lot coming probably shouldn't have jumped in here there's more coming jeez i should not have jumped in there oh there's more coming I don't even know how busy this, this building is. I hear more out there as well. Yep, like that. Jesus Christ. Oh, I gotta be careful. They got the keys on them? No, I'm not going back in that room. That is the death room. I mean, it's probably not gonna be anything useful, is it? I could bring the sledge in, but it looks like it's just hardware stuff. No, I'm getting out of here. Too many close calls, let's get back. There is multiple floors, but it looks like it's just empty in there. All right, we are home safe and sound for the time being anyway. Let's get ourselves an MRE in us. Why not? What a bloody day. What a couple of days, jeez. And it's not even been in the city either. It's in our local town. We nearly died so many times. Bloody hell. Surprising me that nothing is damaged when he tried to take a bite out of us. Maybe we were just lucky. Yeah, we were just lucky. Oh, I just hit a window smash. They're bloody downstairs, you bastards. Um, luckily it's all boarded up. I don't know what window they smashed, but get the hell out of here, you bastards. Okay, but it's 20 to 10. Let's have a little... Oh, we never tested out the stun gun. Let's put that there. All right, let's have a little smoke and then we're going to go to bed, I think. Okay, day 60. Wow, probably not going to do a lot today as it is a 10th day. And oh, although look at this. This all looks like it's harvestable. Blooming strawberry plant. Can we harvest that? No, we can't. Okay. Surely this, because it's got seed bearing tomatoes. Look at this. Amazing. Okay, yep. So let's let's do some harvesting then. Oh, level in farming. Nice. Two levels in farming. Look at that. How much? 36 tomatoes. Right. Generator's got to go on, hasn't it? Oh, lovely stuff. Look. Get it in the freezer. We need a bowl. That's fine. We can craft one of them with some wood. Let's also dig the furrows ready for cabbage seed. Furrows dug. Let's go grab some logs. Actually, can we craft a bowl with a plank? I don't think so, but no, you cannot. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we have a... Why have we got twigs on us? We don't want any of that. We have a bowl, though, which is nice. And I think we celebrate by having a tomato salad. There we go, tomato salad. Doesn't fill you up as much as cabbage. That's why I think cabbage is the goat, but it'll do, it'll do. All right, but let's have a quick look at the map here. So the next 10, maybe we even go over here. This, this looks like it's shipping containers. Yeah, but there wasn't anything in the docks, was there? I think we make a little FOB here. Or maybe even push down into here, secure the bridge, and then we're we're halfway there then. So I think that's the goal for the next 10. But we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day, as we never normally do on a 10th day. Okay, day 61. What have we got planned for these 10? Well, what I think the goal is, is to secure this little building here, and maybe have that as our new FOB. What is that over there? Yeah, we need to get into the city, because the days are ticking, and we haven't really made much progress. So that is the goal, to make that the fob we got food close by we got medical supplies not that we really need them but we got them so let's stock up on any supplies from here we need because we're going to be gone for a few days that's for sure yeah, i mean we take some chili with us just so we've got some food but like i say we do have that supermarket close by so now what about weaponry we don't really have much ammo 223 now we've probably got what we need in the car so we'll probably just crack straight on yeah we got a battle rifle in here not that oh it's actually got maybe we take our battle rifle as well in case we find some 308 because that's got a better sight all right off we go into hell uh you know what we should have brought the bloody pipe wrench to potentially plumb a sink in we can always go back and get it if we need it but there's plenty of buildings up here so i think water shouldn't be a problem okay so we are close it is getting a little bit busy so let's deal with these bastards while we're here get the old bat out yeah, this building here is where they were all piling out of, wasn't it? Looks like it's calmed down a little bit, but... 
Yeah, look, we can get on the roof here, so we could actually put a rain collector. Maybe we give it a shout just to draw any stragglers out. Can hear zombies. It looks like there's quite a few rooms in here. Oh, wow, look at this place. Look at this. Is this like the warden's office or something? He's got camera and everything in here. I think that one will be our base, you know. Oh, we got a few down here. What is this, a restaurant underneath? Oh, we got a few in there. We got a few in there. Oh, and they got a katana. She got a katana in her. Oh, yes, amazing. Oh, it's in pretty good condition as well. We will have that. Thank you very much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe we can find a nice little pipe wrench under one of these sinks. That'd be nice. Okay, so it looks like this is pretty pretty clear in here now. Any pipe wrench. We will have a look in on full pipe wrenches as we go. You might get lucky. Okay, so no pipe wrenches downstairs. Let's go through the ones upstairs. We also need to clear them out as well. Could even look at smashing the stairs down, to be honest, and making a little entrance in down in one of these, possibly. I mean, there are plenty of sinks, but, you know, they will run out eventually. All right, so no pipe wrench, but that's fine. That's fine. We can, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Let's close these curtains. Not a bad little uh, little base we got going here. I like how, I mean, what is this computer? Is this some, you know, what is it? What is going on here? But we can get onto the roof from here. Look. Oh, we got a big old bridge over there with a couple of bastards on. Yeah, so we got to push up into there eventually. But this is definitely a, a good old find, I'd say. Yeah, pretty pretty successful day, I'd say. We've, we've taken this. As I say, it's fairly clear. We could smash them stairs down, but yeah, so we'll probably just chill here today. Tomorrow, we'll probably go and get some food from that supermarket there just so we have a nice supply of food i really want to be going in any of these residential buildings that's for sure may as well dismantle some beds for the rest of the day now uh, we didn't get a level in carpentry but we got pretty damn close that's for sure all right but it is 10 o'clock we're going to get an early night in and then tomorrow we're going to go to the supermarket so we'll see you then ah oh, and before i've just found farming too so we will read that one day as well amazing right now we will see you in the morning Okay, day 62, we have awoken. Let's have a smoke, I think. Now, it looks like the weather is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit foggy, isn't it? Maybe we just read farming today. Not risk it, let's not risk it. It's too, it's such an unknown area. I know we're only going down the road to get some food, but we ain't risking it. Let's just get farming red. All right, so we finished farming. It is our past eight, so that literally took all day. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Let's have a smoke, so we are getting a little bit anxious. And let's go, let's go to the car actually let's bring the car because there is some food in there i think let's see a couple of stragglers down here yeah here they are let's deal with them as well do we have any food in the car now we got mres well we're in the city at least that's something right, let's go fill our water up on one of our canteens as well use some of the facilities it's 11 o'clock let's go to bed we'll see you in the morning okay day 63 we are just going to get up and at it today the weather is looking clear which is nice let's get down on that supermarket you never know we might even find a wrench in there to be honest a, a pipe wrench okay we are at the gigamart it's good that there's this long old fence running down the side here oh hello you bastard get out of it we got some tools here <laughs> just your breaching hammer Plasky axe. Maybe we should have got axes. Keep that to one side. More axes. Yeah, we'll take them. We'll take them. Maybe we go axes. I don't know. We've been a bit all over the place with what we're going to be using. Eight packets of chips. Yes, please. Okay, so we're done down here. We got a fair. Oh, this looks like it could be a place for <laughs> a pipe wrench, but I guess not. Okay, just food out the back here. On a bad end of these sinks. Anything? Nope. Come on, last one. Lucky. You're going to be good to us. No. Well, that's fine, because we got a load of food anyway. That's what we came here for. All right, let's throw some of this in the back of the car. Probably keep it in the car, to be honest. Ah, see, these axes are really good. Could give one a go, couldn't we? Okay, let's let's go try it out. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, there's a water collector in there. That, that water dispenser will take that. Oh, yeah, look at them. Yeah, we got to clear this out. Jesus. What is this building, anyway? Some kind of office, by the looks of it. Okay, let's go in and have a look. Okay, so it looks like downstairs is pretty clear. Oh, there's two water dispensers in here. Okay, perfect. Right, let's go upstairs and have a look. Oh, there's three water dispensers up here. Bloody hell. Right, okay. We don't need a rain collector anymore. Pop one there. We'll go get the other two as well. Maybe just another one for now. We can always come back for the other one if we need it. By the time these run out, we'll have probably found a pipe wrench anyway. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so I think tomorrow then we will... We'll probably walk along here. We'll push along here. We may even try and get into this building here. We could probably do that, I reckon. Yeah, let's try and get in there. 
That's the job for tomorrow. Damn, look at this weather. Hopefully this is cleared out by tomorrow. We still should be fine and walk down there, but... All right, well, it's half past 10 anyway, so we're going to go to bed. Hopefully the weather passes, but we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 64. There is an awful storm outside, and we've woken up pretty early, 20 to 7. How are our calories? 79 and dropping. We're up minus 1,800. So, yeah, let's eat some peanut butter. Get that in ya. There we go. That's leveled us off right. Let's go on a little explore. Make our way to that blue building. We'll take the axe. Quite like this axe, actually. Oh, we got some stragglers. Good for the axe XP. Come on, you bastards. It's not that fast, this axe, but it'll do, it'll do. Oh, we got a lot of zombies around here kicking. Let's just deal with them as we go. Clear the area out a little bit. Just got to be careful of the old stamina. Okay, so take a next left and then a right. Okay, we can do that. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know if this axe is going to cut it. It's not the fastest. Oh, we got another supermarket here. Yeah, maybe we're looking there for a pipe wrench. But I think we'll be all right, you know, with them water dispensers. I will mark it, though, so we know that there is food here. Axes are so satisfying, though. They really are. Oh, jeez. Where did all you come from? I think we're going to need to get the bat out here. Yeah, the bat is so much better. But the durability isn't. Let's just mark this off as food, I think. There we go. Lovely stuff. Oh, we got looters in there. We want to tangle with them. Oh, they're out. They're out. Oh, yeah, the bat is the one. All right, let's, let's put the axe. Uh, yeah, let's keep hold of the axe. We'll take a leveling axe if we can get it. Just tire us out. We're, we're carrying too much. What have we got in here then? Like some kind of greengrocers or something? A little cafe? Oh, okay. Nope, let's get out of there. Oh, this weather is turning, isn't it? Uh, let's go to spike bat. Let's do it. Yeah, I think it's bats all the way because it, it uses so much less endurance stamina as well. So, okay, so we are getting closer to that blue building. Maybe we get in there today. There's a lot of zombies around and this weather is horrendous. Oh, we found our first undead survivor. You know, we've not seen hardly any of them. I think they may have altered the spawns because they did use to spawn in so regular. I'm not... um bashing him because I want his armor or some of his armor. Come on, get down. M14 mag. Uh, take your 308. Yeah, they used to spawn so often. Uh, your backpack, no. Body armor is not as good as ours. Your mask. I mean, we could probably do with a gas mask. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think we do. We'll lose the Jason mask, but we take an actual gas mask. So hopefully... Whoa! Whoa, Jesus! Where the hell did you come from? God damn! Oh, as I was saying, yes, we'll take the gas mask to prevent corpse sickness because I do have working gas masks on, so. Oh no, the bat, the spiked bat. Let's get the machete out. Yeah, so it's probably worth using the machetes over the axe because at least it uses less stamina. But we will stock up on bats when we get back home. This building. Oh, it's a bloody library. Uh, we'll take your crowbar, lady. All right, well, let's mark this off as a bloody library then. Yeah, not uh, not successful in the old in the old gun stores, have we? Crowbar is pretty good as a backup. Oh, what's this building with all these bars? Let's go and investigate, shall we? Oh, top hanger. Is that a gun store? Is that a bloody gun store? That's what it was called at the Survivor Colony, wasn't it? Oh, that's a car park in there. Okay. Right, well, we potentially got a gun store here. This is good. This is big. God damn, the crowbar is putting in the work. I think we'll keep hold of this, you know. Oh, we better deal with these bastards down here, aren't we? Because we're going to bring the car up if that is a gun store, so... Oh, no, there's a tent on that roof up there. Nice. I probably should have rested before we took these on. All right. Well, that's them dealt with. Let's go and rest up in the bookstore here. I want to see if that is a gun store before we do go back today. Okay, well, we are in the bookstore. There's nothing we really need, but at least it's out of the rain. Okay, we are fully rested. Let's get up and have a look if that is a gun store. I'd love a suppressor. That's what I want. That's what I bloody want, a suppressor. All right, that's a lot of them done. Let's actually put the axe in our backpack. But then, top hanger. Now I'm thinking about it. It seems to me that would be a closed door. 
And I can see the rails here, actually. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's have a look anyway. Uh, yeah, closed store. Okay. Wow. We got out over there. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we head back for the day because we'll probably start getting tired soon anyway. Okay, well, we are home. Let's drop this bloody axe off and the pistol and all this jazz. We're probably not going to need it. Oh, we got the katana as well, haven't we? I think we're going to keep the crowbar and also take a bat as well. We'll use the bats until they break, and then that's when we'll switch to the crowbar if we're out and about. Oh, crowbar's reliable. Not as good on the crit, but it is reliable. We're nearly at another, well, nearly at half a level. Nice, okay. Right, how are our calories looking? What food do we need? We're on 79 and dropping, so maybe let's take an MRE with us. Yeah, okay, right, let's get safe. Well, it looks like the storm's passing just as we bloody get home. Okay, so we've eaten the MRE, yep, yeah, 79 and rising, that's fine. Okay, but it is half past 10. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 65. Now, the weather is still looking... Oh, bloody 20 to 6 in the morning. What the hell are we doing up this early? All right, it's 20 past 7 now. Rain has calmed down a little bit. I think we have a little wander. Yeah, let's go for a little walk down there. Oh, look at these bastards. Hey, guys. Come to say hello. Okay, what we got up here then? Some bus stops of a construction site here on the left a lot of apartment blocks isn't there well, i suppose that is a city there's not that many shops though to be honest i'm guessing there's one big high street uh, another crowbar on that guy i don't really need it okay so we are getting close to the next bridge oh look at all these oh keep out up there that could be something interesting up there let's go have a look yeah, let's go have a look in this building here. Looks interesting. Right, what we got in here then? That's locked, brilliant. Dismantle it. Probably wasn't the smartest idea. Uh, okay, okay, we got a generator in here. A couple of zombies just run past them. There we go. Okay, we got some stuff in here. We got axes. Oh, pipe wrench. Look at that. Amazing. I'm glad we came in here now. Oh, and a machine. Oh, it's in such bad condition. That's a shame. Yeah, we have got a fire axe. They are faster. Oh, let's take it. Let's take it. I'm just torn whether to use axes or not. I just don't know. Hatchet. Oh, it's just shouting at me to use to use axes, isn't it? Now, we're so far into Long Blunt now. We'll keep using them. We'll mark this on the map that there is a generator here, though. There we go. Pop that down there. Happy days. Oh, I'm glad we came in here. We can definitely get a rain collector going now, even though we don't really need one, but I'd rather have one just in case, you know? Especially the weather we've been having lately. Think of all the water we could have collected. Oh, we got something here. What is this? Like a jewelers or something? Yeah, we'll have a look in there. Could be guns, you never... Whoa! Oh, I see a gun. I see ammo, so it could well be a gun store. Okay, we're in. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Yep, we've hit the jackpot. We have hit the jackpot. Oh, look at it. It's glorious. It is glorious. Oh, there's so much. Sniper rifle. Thompson. AK. We've got a load of 762 back at base. Right, okay. Well, let's, let's clear this area today, and then we'll bring the car up tomorrow. Oh, we didn't look for a suppressor, did we? Give it a shout just to draw the bastards to us. We don't want any sneaking up on us while we're looting tomorrow. Okay, this road looks fairly clear. Let's get back for the day. All right, we are back. Now, what do we actually have in here? Because there's going to be a lot of stuff we're going to have to bring with us. So let's take all this out. It's all going to be moved. It's all going to be moved. In here will be our, our gun room. <laughs> it ain't pretty, but it'll do. Everything's going in here. I am going to build some crates and stuff in here as well. Maybe we do that tomorrow, actually, just tidy it up in here. This is our staging area. Yeah, I think we better add, haven't we? And you know what? I'm thinking maybe we do make it a little bit safer as well, because if we're going to be using guns, it's going to stir up the, the hordes, isn't it? So let's get some rip sheets. Okay, so we got a lot to do. we got to figure out where this goes down to. I think maybe down in this, this far corner, actually. Yeah, maybe we do it there. Let's go and have a look what is actually down there. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're going to make this place a home. Okay, let's get downstairs and see where that, that is. That far. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll jump over. Because we want it inside so the bastards don't bloody really rip it down. So it would actually drop us there. Could dismantle that. Mm, there's no door there. What about this far left? Actually, far left could work. It'd drop us in the shower, wouldn't it? But then that's quite far. Now, I think far right will be fine. Okay, so we cleared away there. That's good. That is good. I think we might actually need another bin bag as well. Oh, yeah, right here. Yep, there we go. Happy days. What we will do, just to make it a little bit safer, we will just put a bloody 
shelf here. I think we'll be all right because they're not going to come from behind anyway because it's just bloody water there. But just in case, you never know. Oh, it's not let me bloody put it down. All right, well, I can't be bothered. It should be fine anyway. I can't, I'm not messing around with it. Okay, we have the hole. Can we build the fence? There we go. Attach escape rope. Ah, no, it won't let me. So I'm guessing there's going to be something down there. Let's just take the sledge and start smashing stuff. Oh, we're very, very tired. Overweight. Oh, this is not good. Hopefully we don't run into any bastards. Oh, we're not even gaining endurance. No, let's rest tonight. We'll, we'll finish this off tomorrow because we're not in a good way. And there's got to be something blocking it. Oh, maybe it's that one there. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we're going to go to bed early. It's 20 past nine, but we're going to be, we're going to be improving this place tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 66. We got a lot to do. Let's get down there. Let's smash that thing up. Then we can get rid of these stairs. And then we are actually safe then. It's got to be a counter, isn't it? It's got to be the counter to the left of where we want to go down, I think. Yeah, it's got to be this one, I reckon. Let's just smash a load of stuff. Okay, so we cleared it out. So hopefully that should be enough now. No, it still won't let us attach it for some reason. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we going from the other side, maybe? Uh, let's try building a fence on this side here, like that. Oh, there we go. The letters that time. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Let's destroy these stairs. There we go. We are secure. Let's drop this back in the car because we will always keep the sledgehammer in the car just in case because you always need it when you don't have it. Okay, we're tired, but we're going to go in here and rest and then also grab some wood. Okay, we got six planks. Let's take that and get this rain collector built. All right, let's see if that's worked. Hopefully. Plumbing, yes. There we go. Look at that. We are getting there. All right, let's put all of our food that we have in this bookcase. Okay, that's our food. Oh, leveling carpentry. Nice. Okay, we have some crates. Now, I have a plan. I have a plan. We are going to need more crates, but I have a plan. The guns go in here. Ammo goes in here. Melee weapons go in here. It ain't perfect, and it needs some work, but we have the basis for it. Oh, we got some uninvited guests. Come on, you bastards. Oh, we're not in a good way to be fighting, are we? Now, I do need the sledgehammer again. <laughs> Or all, all the splitting wall, sorry. Maybe we do put some sheet ropes there as well. Yeah, let's do that. And then that way we can get down this way if we want to. Probably get smashed up by the Zeds, but at least we're near the car and stuff, so that's fine. Okay, let's have a look at some of these Moodles as well. We're not in the best way, are we? Yeah, let's add a sheet rope. Can we add one here? Yeah, let's add one there as well. There we go. Okay, now what I want the sledgehammer for is to smash this wall through. We're doing home improvements. Ah, oh, it's glorious. Look at it. Right, now we should be done with the sledge. Just looking, we do have a hell of a lot of 9mm, actually. 16 boxes. I didn't even realise that. Look at this. It's lovely. Attachments. Not sure what we're going to do with the attachments yet, but we'll figure something out. You know, we probably don't even need the machete on us anymore. We got the crowbar as a backup, and it's a lot better than the machete, to be honest. Let's lose as much weight as we can. All right, let's get some chips in us. We're low on cows. We're probably low on weight as well. We've been a busy couple of days. Okay, but it's 20 past 10. We're going to get to bed tomorrow. I'm not sure. We may do some more base improvements or we may just get down to the gun start. I don't know, but we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 67. Let's get some MREs in as we are low on cows. Actually, let's eat some cereal. That should get us up. And uh, maybe one more cereal as well. Oh, we can't. We're too full. Okay, well, we'll keep it on us because that's what we are going to eat. Right, let's, let's go and get the guns. And then the, tomorrow we'll sort out putting them away and all that kind of jazz. But let's go get them. I'm excited to see what's down there. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot there, isn't there? Okay. We can deal with them. We can deal with them. Let's get the truck as close as we can to the gun store. Oh, they're going for it in there. Come on in, you bastards. Oh, okay, okay. I still hear some. I don't know where they are. I'm going to have to be careful, I think. Let's close the door. Right, let's get bloody looting. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got everything we want. Do we want some nice new clothes, though? I mean, leg protection, not really essential, is it? No, I think oh, I think we get out of here. We got what we needed. Right, let's go. Let's go. We are loaded up. The car is full. We're full. Wow. Uh-oh, we got some guests as well. That's not good. Let's deal with them. Come on, you bastards. All right. Let's start putting some stuff away. Oh no, we got a couple more down. Oh, it looks like we got a so we got a prepper. Oh nice. Okay, we may take their clothes. Oh, we'll take their flashlight, definitely, because it looks cool. M9 mags, three of them. Yeah, we'll have them. Oh, look, the 
the clothing's a lot better. Yeah, we're going to wear it. Oh, and some ammo. We will actually take the trousers. Oh, it's got a hole in it. Mm, no, we'll leave the trousers. We'll just wear the top. Right, let's start sorting this ammo and stuff out. Jeez, this is going to take a while. Okay, so we're out of space in our ammo crate, which isn't ideal. Let's just get it all upstairs and we can sort out crates later. Yep, we are out of space, but that is fine. That is fine. What I also want to do is get these in as many boxes as I can. Very, very... What the hell's that box on the floor? Light and stop. Okay, interesting. Interesting. All oh, this ammo. Oh, three AK mags. Oh, bloody hell. This is good. How's the old weight looking? 79. Let's have another ammo. Actually, let's eat them cereal. Okay, 7 o'clock. Let's go to bed tomorrow. We will sort out more crates. We'll see you in the morning crack straight on bloody hell five in the morning jeez we need wood we need more crates let's get dismantling okay so we got two more crates i'll put a crate here now what we're gonna put in this one is our attachments that's the plan anyway okay it's looking a little bit tidier around here not amazing but it's getting there okay we've also got a crate here for just little odd bits and bobs really this is a mess in here but let's just close these curtains i ain't gonna look at it <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, we are looking bloody good, though. All right, let's take stock of what we've actually got. We've got an MP5. Nice. we got pretty much everything. <laughs> I really want to try this. Oh, no, we don't have a magazine for it. PPSH, drum. Ah, oh, I really wanted to try that out. That's a shame. Okay. How many MP5 mags do we have? I don't think we have a lot, do we? No, we don't. But we do have quite a few AK mags. So maybe we use the AK. See if we can get any attachments off of any of the guns. Oh, four times scope. Yep. I think a four times light and stock and a leather sling might do us for the AK, you know? No, it won't because we can't add any attachments to it. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. Can't even put a sling on it. Actually, how much 762 do we have? Six boxes. Oh, 11 altogether. Okay. 385. Not actually amazing amounts. But probably leave the katana here, I reckon now. Yeah, we've still got a heavy load. Okay, well, I think tomorrow we're actually going to take the AK out and uh, have a little play around with it, I reckon. But it's 20 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to push to that bridge and use the gun. We'll see how we get on. See you then. Okay, day 69. Let's have something low in calories because we are at 80 weight. So we're just going to watch that. We should be fine. But have some vegetable soup. Okay, let's just get down there. Let's get down there and start blasting. Can be a bad idea, but at least we're safe at our base. We know that much. We're not going to drive all the way up there maybe just to here actually oh, yeah to here just does seem a little close to the base but let's just do it let's do it okay no time like the present let's just get on with it nice i got a feeling this is very loud though oh they're coming oh look at them all in there oh no Oh, jeez, look at them all in there. Oh, God, they're coming behind us as well. No, we got to get out of here. we got to get out of it. This was a bad idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we're quite close to our base as well. But at least we're safe in the base. I feel the M14 battle rifle might be better, you know. The AK gives it a big end, but pff, it ain't that good. Okay, M14 battle rifle in good condition. Let's take it. Let's add some attachments to it. So we've got light and stock, leather sling, and a four times. How many mags we got? Four. Nice. Eight boxes of free eight. Not amazing, but it's something. Okay, so we have our battle rifle equipped and ready to go. We're probably not going to go there today, but we're ready for it anyway. We are ready. Oh, I hear someone smashing down here. Come on, you bastard. Okay, but it is 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Going to be a base day. Okay, day 70. We've woken up at half past four. Bloody hell. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, we're probably not going to do a lot today. It is a 10th day as we never normally do. But we'll bring up the map and plan what we've got to do for the next 10. So shooting the gun up here would have probably drawn them to us. So we're pretty pretty secure over this side. I mean, there's probably thousands around here. But the gun store was a bloody godsend. That's for sure. Let's pop it down there. Where was it? Like there? Perfect. Over here, I don't know. I do not know. I want to go over to this place as well at some point. And then, of course, finish here. So, yeah, we still got a lot to do, but we've made progress. We are... I like our little island base here. <laughs> don't know how secure it is, but, well, we've got it anyway. But, as I say, we're probably not going to do anything for the rest of the day. 
Okay, we are back. Day 71. Wow, we are really getting through them. Right, let's get some food in us. We are very hungry, so... Weight is at 80, so that's all good. Maybe... I think we need to do another run to the supermarket, to be honest with you. Let's get a fruit... No, let's get a corned beef in us. Why not, eh? Okay, how are we looking outside? Oh, we've got some stragglers come on over. We're not going to use the gun here, and it is a little bit foggy. So, let's take the old bat down and clear this bastard out. I actually give it a little shout just to see if there's any more lingering around. Doesn't actually look like it, so that's good. But we're probably because it's so foggy today, we're probably not gonna do a lot, unfortunately, on the first day. But I think tomorrow, if the weather clears, we will get down to the supermarket. And then for the rest of the ten days we got now, I wanna push in, I wanna get over the bridge. Yeah, we're gonna get to the bridge, we're gonna get shooting down there. We're gonna start clearing this side and then oh. Well, maybe even try and hit up these blue buildings. We could probably hit that blue building up. And maybe this one here as well. Let's see if the fog clears. We might be able to get to the supermarket today, actually. Well, the fog has cleared about 1 o'clock, but I think we will probably leave it for today. Maybe look at um, getting a sack as well, planting some more crops. Being as we've pretty much abandoned the other base. We may go back down to the other base. I don't know yet. I don't know. It's a shame because I did like that base, but we'll see. Oh, we could probably get rid of this glass here because it's really annoying me. All right, being as we are just kicking around, let's go and grab some more wood. We'll probably need it for something or other, so we may as well get it now. Okay, so we grabbed ourselves some more wood we got four planks so we got enough for another crate here if we need it i also while i was down there did pick up the bin and then we'll put that over here for all of our empty cans look at this it's all coming together it's all coming together get in there get in the bin yes yeah, definitely a good little location here pretty central to the city we've cleared it out we're on our island we own this island Oh, wow, a crutch. Let's, do, let's give that a go, shall we? I mean, it looks heavy and usable at high exertion, so... <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. You know what? We'll put... It's probably long blunt as well, isn't it? Probably. We'll pop that in our weapons container. <laughs> okay, but it's half 11. We've got rain, so that's good because it's going to be filling our rain collector up on the roof. So I don't think we've had rain yet. We are going to grab some food before we go to bed. Some spag bowl. Get that in, you slick. There we go. Right, we'll have a smoke. We'll go to bed, and tomorrow we'll push into the... Well, we're going to go to the supermarket and stock up on food, I think, but we'll see you then. Okay, day 72. Let's start the day by having some carrots. Help us see in the dark. And we do have cat size anyway, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll put our empties in the nice new bin that we have acquired. Right, let's get down to that supermarket. Let's see if we can grab ourselves some nice food. Okay, so we are at the Giga Mart. we got a bastard coming on over. It's fairly clear around here, though, because we have cleared it out pretty well, I'd say. From when we were shooting up here when we was with our old FOB. Oh, we got some we got some weapons here. Maybe we take a crowbar and another bush mache. Just for good measures. This is what we want. Some canned goods. Okay, so we are stocked right up on tin goods, which is good. It should do us a while. We can always come back down here. The front of it is pretty much cleared out, but then we do have the storeroom out the back, which seems to have a fair bit still in there. All right, let's get it in there. Now, we may have to build another crate or something for all this food, because it might be too much, because we have quite a bloody lot. Oh, no, we managed to get it all in there. Right, let's get something in us. Let's have some vegetable soup. Why the bloody hell not, eh? Do have a little fridge here. It's got some rotten some bits in it but i mean we could set a generator up here but we don't really need to unless we've got crops growing then you don't really it's just just something else to look after isn't it the generator right i can hear a zombie downstairs i don't know where he is but i can hear him so maybe oh there he is come on you bastard i'm over here all right let's let's drive up there it's still early in the day let's drive up shoot a couple of shots see what's going on up there because i think we did rile them all up the last time we was there didn't we do we get the rifle out here? Yeah, the hell with it. Let's do it. Oh, Lord. There is a lot over there. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We are actually very close to our base. Hopefully, they don't all bloody follow us back. Oh, look at this weather coming in as well. Oh, yeah. Some of them are coming down. <laughs> yeah, just a couple of stragglers. That's fine. We'll deal with them. Less to deal with up there, to be honest. Yeah, that looks like most of them. Let's walk up there and see if we can kite a few. Oh, good lord, there is a... Oh, my lord, look at that. That's fine, that's fine. Let's kite them down. Oh, there goes the bats. Okay, let's get back, because this bat's not in the best condition. We don't have a backup weapon with us. We don't have a crowbar or anything. And this weather is awful. What do we actually have in the boot here? Nothing, okay. Oh, hey, where'd you come from, buddy? And you as well. You bastard. Oh, there's another one down there. Where's he going? We'll go down and finish him off. No, he's attacking my bloody rope. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's going in. Okay. 
Oh, he nearly bloody had us, and that was risky. That was too risky. That was stupid, even. Right, let's get ourselves the old crowbar. Keep that in there. Uh, actually, let's take one of these spike bats to hell with it. Well, it looks like the weather has cleared, which is good. I think we go melee up there tomorrow. This is the problem. It's somewhere you don't know, or even any city. You know, using a gun, you, you got to be, you know, you got to be in and out, or at least know that your your rear is fully protected. Well, at least this weather's good for the old rain collector. Okay, but it's 10 to 11. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow we're going to walk up and take the bat to their faces, so we'll see you then. Okay, day 73. Let's grab ourselves some cans of food to go up there with. Let's grab let's grab some peaches. Why not? And we'll have a fruit cocktail now as well. Okay, right. Let's just get on with it. Maybe we even take the katana up there. Shall we take the katana? Yeah, why the hell not? And we'll leave this battered baseball bat down here just to save on the weight. All right, let's do it. Okay, yeah, here they are. Look, there's quite a few of them, so... So I think the I think the katana's justified here, you know. Maybe we even go bold and give it a little shout. Yeah, let's do it. We've done it. It's too late now. Okay, that's the first lot dealt with. Let's go get these bastards up here now. Load in that supermarket there. Maybe we give it a shout, I think. Yeah, let's get them over to us. Let's draw them out. What is this building? Some kind of, uh, some kind of train. Oh, look at that. I feel we have to kind of go in there. Ah, uh, it's going to be busy in there though, but. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Hey, lady. God damn, that scared me to death. I kind of do want to go in here, but don't know how many's in there. Now there is a zombie banging on the garage door. So maybe we just wait a couple of days and let him smash it down himself. And then we can go in that way as opposed to going in blind for a window i think that's probably the safest thing to do right let's see if we can get up a little bit further towards this bridge then okay so there's the gun stall looks all right a bit for me i think we've drawn them all down towards our base a little bit when we were shooting the guns oh, look at car park there look at that car on the top that's cool don't really want to go in there though hmm okay there's the bridge doesn't look too congested we probably... Oh, look at all them bastards over there. We're probably going to get the rifle out just to bring them to us a little bit. And then I think we might even go pistols. Less sound radius, bit closer range, and less weight to carry as well. Yeah, let's get blasting. We'll deal with these bastards over here. It'd be a good vantage point up on that car park, but we ain't going up there. So like we cleared it out pretty well up here. Yeah, bloody hell. Okay. Right, let's let's walk along the bridge then. Okay, so the other side is there. There's a few of them, but nothing we can't handle. Let's have a quick smoke. Alright, let's get the rifle out again. Let's just make sure there's nothing behind us. No, we're fine. Oh, look at them over there. You can't get me, you bastards. Hey, it looks like they stopped coming from up the over the bridge there. Can we get these bastards? Yeah, let's get them. Oh, and look what we have here. A pawn shop. Yes. Okay, that could have some nice guns in there. Maybe a bloody suppressor. Oh, they're coming out of there now. Cool, there is a lot up here. We're fine though, we're fine. This bridge is nice because you ain't got to worry about them coming from the sides. Oh, we're getting low on, on ammo for the M14, so we will be going to pistols, I think. Oh, look at it all. Absolute massacre. Well, it looks like we had just enough rounds, to be fair. Okay, we're out of ammo. It's 6 p.m. Bloody hell. Time flies when you're having fun. Let's get back. Yeah, because we've got to walk all that way. Let's get back. Okay, we are home, safe and sound. I think tomorrow what we're going to do is let the corpses despawn a little bit, I think. And also, we will drive up there next. I'm going to put the M4 here so I know where everything is because we will be using it once we get more ammo. But we've got to decide what pistol we're taking now. Something we've got a lot of magazines of. Tech 9. I don't know if we have a Tech 9, though. Oh, we do. Can you change the fire mode on that, though? No. I don't really want to be going full auto. I think we got a couple of Glock mags. Maybe the CZ. Oh, we got two CZs. We got one Glock. Glock 17. CZ has a magazine in it, so that is a contender. Glock 17 uh, has one mag. One has what? So we'd have two for that, but we got three for the CZ, and it's only minus one. Okay, yeah. So it's one less bullet in the mag, but we have three mags for it, so we're going to take that because we have three magazines. And I'm assuming it takes nine millimeter. 
Yeah, okay. That's good, that's good. We have 29 boxes of 9 mil, geez. Okay, but it's 11 o'clock. Tomorrow we'll sort out our mags and everything like that and go from there. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 74. As I say, we're probably not going to do a lot today. It's probably going to be a base day, but that is fine because it'll give the corpses a chance to despawn a little bit because we are going to drive up there so the one's a bit closer would have despawned, so that's nice. And it is six in the morning. We're also going to sort out our magazines as well. So even with all this ammo, we're not even overweight, which is good. Because obviously the pistol weighs less, which is bloody good, actually. Might even be able to take a couple more boxes with us. Yeah, so we have 379 rounds on the old pistola. <laughs> to hell with it. I like the sound of that, actually. We better wait downstairs to see if that shop does bring any of the bastards over. And then we'll know how clear it is around our base. Yeah, nothing, nothing coming. Right, let's go and have a little look in these buildings close to our base, shall we? And they look like offices and, and stuff like that. So not really interested, but you never know. I'll take another water dispenser if there's one we see. Oh, right there. Oh, my God, there's two of them. Jeez. Well, we're definitely not going to worry about... Oh, my God, there's another one in there. Bloody hell. All right, let's grab another water dispenser then. Get out of it. Yeah, so many bloody water dispensers. I mean, I'm not complaining. I bloody love that. But yeah, wow. Let's actually place that one there. Look at that. Three water dispensers. And there's two more in that building and one in there. They're all over the place. Actually, can we put any attachments on our pistol? Maybe a red dot? Yeah, let's see if we can put that on there. No, we can't. Okay, is there any attachments on there? No. Okay, well, I guess we can't put anything on there. That's fine, though. No. What about a pistol that's already got something on? Maybe we can only put, like, a laser on. These have got a laser, so let's see if we can put that on it. No, we cannot. Okay, there we go. Okay, it is 12 o'clock. We stayed up a little bit later today, so we're not up too early tomorrow. Let's get an MRE in us because we are losing weight. All right, one Chevy up. That's fine. All right, we'll go to bed tomorrow. We'll go try getting that pawn shop. We'll see you then. Okay, day 75. Let's take a couple of tins of pineapple with us. That should do us nicely. We'll fill up on water as well. All right, let's just get up there. We've woken up at a reasonable time today as well. Half past eight. I'm happy with that. Hmm, the corpses haven't really despawned, have they? But oh well. Yeah, I think we drive over. Why not? No, let's let's walk up on foot with the pistol. Actually, let's just bat them. We may as well. There's only a few. We'll use the pistol further up. Yeah, we definitely got a lot of them, didn't we? Bloody hell, look at this. All right, let's get a pistol. Let's give it a shout. Die, you bastard. Okay, there isn't an awful lot coming to us, so I guess we've got most of them. Oh, look at that. Upscale mobility. I want to have a quick look in here as well, because that looks quite cool. Makes me think it's like, oh, nothing. <laughs> Oh, AA Ron, hunting supply. Oh, amazing. Okay, this is bloody good. Oh, we got some more stragglers coming. I'm not going to go in until I know it's clear in there. And look, yeah, we're bringing a few of them over to us, so that's fine. Okay, looks like we got a hell of a lot of them. We'll probably scope out. I mean, driving up here with all these dead bodies is definitely a no, even with our wheel protection. But we will have a look in there and see how we're, what we're dealing with. All right, I think we can probably go in there now. We'll take the box of 9 mil and the MRE. Thank you. A lot of army clothing. A couple of revolvers and shotguns. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Perfect condition machete. We shall have that. Oh, no. I didn't mean to jump out a bloody window. Ah! It's okay. It's only our left hand. Bloody hell i do that all the time oh, it hasn't ripped our gloves though which is good has it ripped anything else no doesn't look like it okay well that was bloody lucky we have got a little bit of an injury but it's our left hand so it won't affect swing speed g17 mag yes we will take an extra one of them i can hear zombies i just don't know where they are oh i don't like being in here okay so there's a few bits of ammo here we'll take okay so not a crazy amount of guns in here but that's fine that's fine there's probably gonna be a lot in AA Rons. Let's go and scope it out. Oh, yes. There, CZ75 mag will take that right now. Oh, wow. Yep, there is a lot of good. Any suppressors? We will bring the car up in a couple of days, but I want to have a look see if there are any suppressors first. Well, there is the first time using this one. I think it's Nilith suppressors I'm using, so maybe it hasn't worked properly. Worked in testing, but you never know, do you, with mods? No suppressors there. Ah, silencer. 44 Magnum. Okay, well, it's not ideal, but... We'll take it. Maybe we do go Magnums. Oh, drum magazine, we want a 
that. Well, I guess the suppressors do work. They're just very rare, which, which I'm, uh, yeah, it balances it out. So that's fine. Ah, oh, 9mm. Oh, yes. Okay. Amazing. Wow. Brilliant. Let's actually put that on. Oh, no, we can't. We might, can we put it on the Glock? No. It says we can put it on these. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. It just had to be in our main inventory. All right. Well, we have a suppressor. We will be coming back up here. This is the the shop to go to. Do you want to test out this suppressor now, though? Ah, we got some candidates here. We'll, uh, we'll test it out on these bastards. Now, it definitely hasn't made it completely quiet. Oh, jeez. I think it's also affecting the damage and accuracy as well, but that's fine. All right, let's get out of here today. I think we do take the Glock. Let's just see if we got a couple more G17 mags in here before we do go. Okay, we got a couple. Yeah, I can hear. Oh, jeez, don't even need that. Don't even want that on. Run, 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 run. Ah, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, right, let's get back. We'll use the Glock. We've got plenty of magazines for it now as well, and a suppressor. We could probably put some attachments on it as well. So we've got to let all these bodies despawn before we bring the car up, though, I think, because it's going to be carnage. We'll probably end up flipping it again. Oh, I didn't see that tree there. That's not good. That's not good. Well, we've lost our windscreen. Ah, we don't need it anyway. God, that could have been bad if we didn't have the armor on. Let's just check the car. Should be fine. Yeah, still 100%. No windscreen. No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Let's not worry about that. Yeah, we might even be able to put our... No. I'm going to say the red dot. What can we even put this on? Ah, uh, some more rifles. Oh, some... Every pistol except our bloody pistol. Okay, well, there you go. What about a laser, though? No, not the laser either. I mean, I've got a suppressor for 44. So Desert Eagle, Peacemaker, Ruger, Win... Oh, Winchester. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. We do have the PPSH magazine now as well, which is nice. We'll leave the Katani eggs. We have the machete now, so... You know what? I'm thinking maybe we just have that as our... I know. We'll take that and the bat. It's fine. we got space on our back. Okay, so we have six mags for the Glock with a suppressor. So we're looking bloody good. We got a machete. Yeah, we are looking hella good, actually. We may cross the river. Oh, look. The blue. It was... It was a gun store. Hmm. Don't know about it. Was the gun still here? I don't know. But we found one anyway. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. We're probably just going to push all along this high street, you know. Draw them to us as we go. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow is going to be a base day. Let them corpse to despawn, so we'll see you then. Okay, day 76. We are looking bloody good. We've woken up early, but that's fine because it's going to be a base day today. And hopefully we can get up to the gun store tomorrow. Clear that bastard out. Oh, let's grab ourselves a bit of food. What are we going to have for lunch then? Let's have a look. Maybe some marinara? Maybe. Uh, can't, uh, we should probably have some in high in couch. Let's have some chips. Yeah, there we go. You know what? We'll have another bag. Why the hell not? Got a dirty bandage, but that's fine. Let's actually remove it, see if it's healed. No, it's infected though. We'll use some alcohol wipes. There we go. Let's clean our dirty bandage. Uh, you never really have to worry about infected wounds, to be honest. I very rarely disinfect. I'll just leave a bandage on until until it's healed but being as it was a base there, I thought you know what why not why not let's give Slick a treat and let him have a nice clean bandage on his hand so he doesn't get gangrene kill count wise we're looking pretty good 3,000 how many we got with each then long blunt is the winner here long blade quite a few where's firearms ah uh, they're all pretty close to be honest nice nice aiming is getting there but after level 5 it does slow right down but we do have a boost in it because we, we had free to start with or was it yeah free to start with so but it's 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We'll go and see what it's like up there. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 77. Let's start the day by having some tomatoes. Why not? Some in low in calories. We've got a couple of MREs on us, worst case, but that should be fine. Oh, it's 5 a.m. Yeah, we need to start going to bed a little bit later if we're not doing anything in the day. But I'll fast forward a little bit so it's light. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Looks like we do have a bit of fog coming. Oh, no. No, what are you doing, you bloody idiot? Slick. Jeez. Okay, we're, uh, we're fine. We're fine fine yeah you normally are right jumping from that floor anyway but still oh i don't like this fog coming in it is early though to be fair let's drive up uh, let's wait a little bit see if the fog passes okay so it's 10 past 10 it's still a little bit foggy but it hasn't got thicker so i think this will be fine i don't think the corpse are gonna do so i think i set it to 100 hours actually thinking about it so maybe we just walk we go a little bit further on foot and just do a bit of killing maybe yeah let's park it here and go killing we'll walk up yeah, there's still a hell of a lot of corpses, but that's fine. 
So it looks like these suppressors are... Uh, did they hear? No, they didn't. Okay, well, it looks like they are pretty balanced with them being very rare. And they definitely affect the damage. I'm noticing that. Actually, I think it's affecting the effective range, actually, because they were one shot when they got close. That's fine. We'll just get close and personal with the bastards. We don't mind that. It's very satisfying using a suppressor. What is that? Is that a gun store? Another one? Uh, no, a bakery. Oh, yeah, look, there's a load in here. Load in the buildings. This is what you got to be careful of. I mean, do I go crazy and honk the horn? Let's do it. That could have been a very bad idea, but... Let's draw them all to us. Come on, you bastards. I want it to be safe along this main street, so... Oh, God, yeah, there's a load coming. That's machete for a bit. As long as they're not coming behind, I'm fine. Oh, dear. Watch out, watch out. There's a few coming behind, but nothing we can't handle. Well, we got a lot of them. There's still a few coming, though. There's still loads kicking around. Give it another shout. Come on, you bastards. Let's get the gun out. I'll draw them in quicker, hopefully. All right, let's head back. It's getting late. Well, we've definitely taken over Durkadam, haven't we? Jeez. Well, maybe not the residential areas, but we're definitely secure. Okay, we are home, safe and sound. We got any food on us? Uh, MRE, yeah, we'll eat it. Oh, that's going to pump the calories up. 80, yeah. Okay, right, we've got to be careful. That's fine, though. So tomorrow, it'll probably be another base day, I reckon. Hopefully, they'll start despawning then. And then the day after, we'll get in that gun store, regardless whether they're despawned or not. We'll just have to be careful. But it's 12 o'clock. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 78. We will just restock on 9mm and everything like that while we are having a base day. God, we got so many boxes. Thing is, you don't get that many in a box. So is it like 20 or something, maybe? 30, maybe? I don't know. How many MP5 mags do we have? Ah, so the Glock 21 takes 45s. Okay, interesting. Oh, uh, we don't have any MP5 mags, just the one in the actual gun. Oh, the PPSH takes nine mil i wonder if we could put a suppressor on that i think that's crazy though that's just gonna be wasting ammo okay so it is 20 to 11 we're gonna get a bed we're not gonna eat we'll eat tomorrow calories have calmed down a bit so is our weight we're level at 80 so that's fine we're gonna get a bed tomorrow we're getting in aaa rons aaa rons aaa rons we'll see you then okay day 79 wow we've woken up at 10 past four so not ideal let's get some food in us let's get some mac and cheese in us we are going to go up to that gun store today but we'll probably wait till it brightens up a little bit okay so it's 10 past six i think that'll be fine yeah let's get up there let's get looting so it looks like they are starting to despawn yeah okay this is fine this is fine we can get through this perfect all right let's bat these bastards all right, we'll give it a little shout just to see if there's any around. Let's draw them all to us because we don't want any surprises when we're in there. No, it looks okay. Right, let's get in there. Oh, we've got out the back here as well, haven't we? Oh, oh my. Look at this. Look at all of this. Oh, military poncho. Do we wear it? Do we wear it in honour of Barry Bixen? Oh, I think we do. I think we do. Oh, look at that. Yeah, in honour of Barry. Let's do it. Oh, 45 suppressor. Nice. We'll take that. So much guns. So much ammo. Don't really need guns. It's mainly the ammo. And of course, any suppressors that jump out at us will have more suppressors yeah we'll take them definitely okay so that's the storeroom cleared out we got a hell of a lot of ammo so much ammo whoa geez okay let's get in the gun store now the actual shop itself oh there's just it's too much can't actually fit much more in the car let's just look for stuff that we know that we're gonna need i mean like 45 you can never go wrong with stuff like that a dragon off a mosin oh look at it well we know it's all here still so okay we got it all we got all we need there's still more in here but we can always come back we ain't we just ain't got the space for it we're gonna have to bloody build more boxes and everything wow we are kitted now though that's for sure all right we are home i've parked close to the rope today <laughs> Let's get dropping this stuff off. Let's take this improved iron sights because I want to see if we can put that on the Glock. Mm, uh, upgrade sights. Okay, yeah, nice. Improves aiming speed apparently. So yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. And we're going to need another crate for the ammo. That's fine. We knew we was going to. Let's get four of these planks. 
Uh, we can't because we're too heavy. That's fine. Put them on the floor. Oh, bloody hell. Was that 17 boxes of 45? 19. Jeez. Wow. Okay. I feel we're probably going to need another one as well soon. Get out of here, you bastard. You don't mess with Slick. We are Rick Grimes when he has the duffel bag full of guns. We've probably got more guns an hour than he actually did in that. 14 boxes, 762. My God. And we are out of space again. We need another crate. <laughs> Well, we can't put another one on top there. We'll have to put it... Yeah, we'll put it here. You know what I should be doing? Using the buddy unpack mod. Should put all of the attachments and everything like that in. Let's put some ammo in. I haven't actually... I have it on all the time, but I don't actually use it. Let's put that in there. So if I click that, then it should just stock all... Ah, uh, no, it's not doing all of it. Okay. Okay, so we have brought everything up. Wow. I mean, just look at all this ammo. Jeez. We are bloody sorted. We are sorted. We've also got 45 suppressor as well. What actually takes 45s? We got some kind of assault rifle or rifle that takes 45. M1A1. Don't know if we've got one of them. Oh, M1A1. It's the Thompson. Oh, and it contains a magazine. Let's see if we can pop that on, shall we? Yes, we can. Oh, look at that. I think we're going to test this out, you know. Let's leave the bat here. Also, can't forget we got our katana there as well. Let's pop that there. Let's get some 45s because we have a load of them. Look at this. Night and so many. I wonder if we can put any any attachments on this. We can attach a leather sling. Okay, we can't put any laser. Can we put improved iron sights on it, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, we can. Okay. Oh, maybe maybe we take this bad boy out, you know? All right, let's get some food in us. I do want to test this out. So I think we are going to go test it out. So we'll wait for food. I want to go just test the Thompson out. Surely there's a couple of zombies around here somewhere. Oh, we got one right here. What's the range like? Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, range isn't amazing, but... I mean, we probably would be all right with a pistol, but who the hell doesn't want a Tommy gun? Let's just see what our weight is with it. Mm, heavy load, okay, but we are hungry. It is pretty sick, to be fair. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. If we're going to be shooting, heavy load doesn't really matter. We're only going to be meleeing when, when there's a couple of stragglers, because we got so much ammo. we got to use guns, haven't we? How is our weight looking? 80? Okay, we are hungry, but we'll, we won't have anything just yet. we got these MREs here. Okay, but it's 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Day 80. Wow, we'll see you then. Okay, day 80. We're probably not going to do a lot today, as we never do on a 10th day. Now, we will bring up the mappage and see how we're looking. Hey, so we're getting over there. These were a bloody fine. Having gone so long not looking for a gun store, we get like, what, three? This here is Gun Store Alley. Right here, Gun Store Bridge. That's what I'm calling it. This is what it's called now, Gun Store Bridge. <laughs> but yeah, we, uh, we've got a hell of a lot now. Now, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, we can get to there easy with these guns. Do we do we try and kill as many of the bastards in Durkadam as we can? Could even go to a 200 day. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. 200 days to kill all the bastards in Durkadam. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. But let me know in the comments what you think. As I said, we're probably not going to do a lot for today. The next 10, we're probably going to keep pushing into the high street. Now, whether we do 200 days or try and get to our 100 day end goal, we got to go through that high street. So, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, we'll just chill today. Okay, day 81. We have awoken at 5 in the morning. Not ideal. Let's grab ourselves some food. Let's go chips, I reckon. Yep, get them in you now. The plan for the next 10 is we've got to get over here, really, haven't we? We've got to push in here. We've got suppressors and stuff, so that's all fine. We definitely can get over here. Maybe even take a detour down to this blue build, these blue buildings here, because there is quite a lot of them, but we've got plenty of ammo, plenty of guns, and we'll probably just clear a way for us to end up getting over here for the last 10. That's the plan. Maybe even we have a look over there today in these 10 days. I don't know yet. I don't know. We shall see how we get on. We've still got a lot to do over here, to be fair. But I think we just head on out. We get up there, start coming. We'll wait till it gets lighter. We'll take, maybe take some more 45s as well. So we've only got 100 of them. So let's maybe grab another box of 45s because we have so many. Uh, two boxes. Make it two boxes. Why the hell not? We have 40 boxes of 45. Jeez. Wow. That is uh, that is something, all right. Okay, so we wait a little bit. It has got lighter. It's 10 to 7. Let's just get up there, shall we? Let's get up there and start blasting. To hell with it. Okay, so we are over the bridge. Let's actually park the car here, I think. Let's get out. Let's bring the old mappage up. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, so I kind of do want to get down to these buildings just to see what they are, I think. So we'll probably do that on foot, shooting as we go. We definitely cleared some of these bastards out, didn't we? Jeez, look at it all up here. Absolute massacre. We'll probably, yeah, go down on foot here. We try and get out of day, actually. Okay, so it looks like we got a hardware store here. Oh, jeez. I mean, it might be worth having a little... Oh, look, they're in there. 
Yeah, it might be worth having a little look in here just to see if we can get another machete, maybe. I mean, do we need it? It looks busy in there. I think we leave that hardware store, you know. It's not worth the bloody risk, is it? <laughs> it's an unnecessary risk. We don't really need any weapons or anything. All right, so it looks like we might be able to get in them blue buildings today. There's a lot of zombies around, but the suppressor does make short work of them, that's for sure. Yeah, let's actually go down this way. Let's reload. Okay, so that blue building there looks like some kind of town hall or something. We will try and get in there and have a look. This gate going to be open? Yes, it is. Lovely. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's some kind of town hall, so we're not too bothered about going in there. Well, I think we could definitely get in these other blue buildings, or at least find out what they are today. We are getting low on 45s, but that's fine, because we do have our Pistola as well. Okay, so what is this building then? Looks like maybe a fire station? Yeah, this is definitely a fire station. We've got some axes there, but we don't really need them, so that's fine. At least we know what it is. What about this building? Okay, so this is a library. Not really what we need, but okay. And then we got this last little blue building here, which looks like a school, actually. Yeah, that's a school. All right, well, okay. At least we know now. We don't need to worry about coming down here anymore. Oh, look at all of these. Jeez, we may as well take care of them. Okay, we're out of 45s. That's fine. We got the old pistol, so... All right, well, that's them dealt with. Can we jump in one of these cars, maybe? No, no fuel. That's fine, that's fine. Mm. Okay, so I've had a thought. What if we honk the horn down here? I think we did that, didn't we? Let's do it again, or maybe get some sirens going. Right, now let's get out of here, and we'll come back in a day or two to uh, try and kill these bastards out. All right, we're back in the car. Let's get out of here. We're probably going to... Yeah, we're going to start getting tired soon. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. There we go. Get out of here, you bastard. We got the bars anyway. Okay, we are home safe and sound. Happy days. Let's get up here. I think we might drop off the Thompson. The pistol's fine. I mean, we got plenty of ammo for it, so... The Thompson's just bringing our weight up, isn't it? We'll keep it there, though, so it's to hand if we need it. And we got... Look at this. How many? 32 boxes of 9 mil. That is plenty. <laughs> I really like this base. All right, how's our weight looking? Uh, 8 in dropping, so that's fine. We'll probably eat, I don't know, something low in cows. We got a lot of it, so... Maybe some sardines just to take the edge off. So, we have been down here. These are all done. Nothing really there. We need to get along here. Maybe we're going to push to here, I think, to this bridge. And then once that's secure, we could probably we could probably get out of here, couldn't we? And maybe base up here, I think. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. So, we're going to spend the next few days clearing this out. We will have a base day tomorrow, probably, just to let some corpses despawn. Then we can take the car a little bit further down there. It's going to be a shame to leave this base behind, especially with all these bloody guns. But we can always come back. Okay, but it's 20 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. As I say, probably going to be a base day, but we'll see you then. All right, day 82. As I say, probably going to be a base day. Looks like the weather outside is not too good anyway. No, pretty awful actually, to be fair. So that's fine. So it's a good day to have a base day. And we could take the MP5 up, but then we don't really have a lot of magazines for it. So we probably won't. Yeah, I think we're pretty good with what, what we've got, to be honest. We do have a hell of a lot of guns, though. How is the old weight looking? Minus 80, that's fine. Maybe an MRE. What does that give us? 19 value. Yeah, that should probably level us off so we'll eat one of them yeah there we go lovely stuff lovely stuff all right but it's 12 o'clock we're gonna go to bed we're going to bed a little bit later today because we haven't done a lot so i don't want to be waking up at the crack of dawn so yeah but tomorrow we're pushing back up we'll see you then okay day 83 six in the morning not a bad time to wake up we can live with that let's grab an mre for breakfast there we go that's leveled us off and let's just get up there i think we'll try and drive up a little bit further today oh look at all of these bastards that have come over let's deal with them we don't want them blocking our way and we having to swerve and then crashing or something. Come on, you bastards. All right, that's done dealt with. Let's crack on. So it looks like the horn has brought a few of them over. Let's machete them. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going into uncharted territory here, so it could get a little bit tasty, so we've got to be careful. Okay, we are here. There's an easy picking tools up there. Not really too bothered about that. We may have a little browse. Being as we're here, we might find a nice new machete or something. 
Yeah, let's go up and have a look, because this machete is about halfway done now, so... Be nice if we get one. A normal machete, not a bush machete. I did see one with bullet bandit here. Yeah, maybe we take that, because I think it does increase reload speed. So, we will wear that, actually. Okay, it looks fairly clear in here. No alarm. Oh, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Not a lot in here, to be honest. No, no machete, but it's worth a look anyway. Let's actually mark this off so we know we've been here. We go, okay. Happy days. Now oh, we got a little sink outside here. Don't mind if we do fill up our water. All right, we are... We're getting there. How far? Well, we got a long way to go, but we'll get there. We'll get there. To be honest, it doesn't look that busy along this main road, you know. Not that busy at all. I mean, there's probably so many in the buildings, but of course, because we've got the suppressor, we ain't drawing them bastards out. Oh, what's this? Uh, library, not interested in that. Well, there's the bridge. Oh, it looks a little bit busy over there. Let's go clear them bastards out. Well, wow, we've cleared it. We may even, oh, we may even push up there in these 10 days, you know. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's head back anyway to the car. Oh, look at all of these. These have all come over from nowhere. Ah, oh, the building, this is the thing. There's probably a load in the buildings. All right, let's get out of here, though. Have a smoke as we drive. Lovely stuff. Definitely a lot of air circulation with having no windscreen. <laughs> okay, we are home, safe and sound. All right, so what we might actually do then, we may push over to here. Maybe not tomorrow, but maybe the day after. It's a long old drive, actually, to be fair. Yeah, maybe we do that, set up here, try to anyway. Because this looks like it could be a decent sized town as well, you know. So we'll probably let the corpses despawn for a day. Tomorrow we'll probably pack up what we need to take. Yeah, I think that's the plan. We can always come back. We'll also sort out what guns we're taking. Probably not a lot, really. We do want us to change our pistol because it's a little bit... Oh. I hear a zombie somewhere. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. He's got a katana in him. What? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you very much, sir. We'll take that. <laughs> Lovely. Right. As I was saying, we will change our pistol over because this one's a little bit damaged. So, there we go. We're all changed over. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I think... Well, we'll sort all that out tomorrow, what we're going to take and stuff. How are our calories? We're okay. Let's grab a little bite to eat. Something not so calorific. Maybe some tuna. Yeah, get some tuna in you. Go on, Slick. Get that tuna in you, boy. Okay, but it's 11 o'clock. As I say, tomorrow we'll sort out what supplies we want to take and everything like that. But we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 84. So, as I was saying, what we're going to do is figure out what we're taking with us. It's probably going to be the Thompson, I reckon, to be honest, because we got a suppressor and we got a hell of a lot of ammo as well. We'll also take down this other katana where was what's the condition on it ah, it's not amazing but it'll do it'll do oh, i should probably take some well that machete is probably gonna die so probably not gonna take that take a couple of crowbars with us just in case you never know uh, i'll take some spike bats as well should probably take the pipe wrench i reckon all right let's go chuck all that in the car yeah i feel i feel it's time i feel it's time maybe tomorrow we'll move on up just put all this in here like that also got to take some food with us and maybe we take even two water dispensers if we got the space for it it's gonna be a shame to leave this base behind but like i said we can always come back oh we got these ammo in here as well haven't we uh, we don't need it. We don't need it. 9 minutes 45. We're golden. Let's so look at taking some of this stuff with us. Some of the low calorie stuff. There we go. Look at that. We'll keep a little bit here in case we do have to come back here. It's a little outpost now, I suppose. Yeah, we got a couple of crowbars. We got a couple of katanas. We're, we're looking bloody good, to be honest. We did also manage to get two water dispensers in there. Are we going to be able to get this food in? Maybe not all of it. No. That's a bit annoying. We'll put some in the glove box then. Oh, we got broken katana. <laughs> Empty cans in there. Get out of there. See what we can put in there. Ah, we can keep a bit on us. That's fine. We're going to probably eat some today, aren't we? So. So let's let's leave this katana here rip in peace rip in peace you bastard oh yes yeah, so we'll probably hang around today and then tomorrow we're going up there we're doing it we're doing it let's just bring the old map up and how are we gonna yeah we got this this could be quite difficult and busy up here to be fair oh do we want to check this thing out as well yeah maybe we do you know yeah maybe we go there for the night see what this is yeah i think we're gonna do that because i do want to check this out because it looks quite interesting so there's a little pond or something here could be some kind of military base or something 
If it is busy, we will retreat down to here. I mean, it's down as residential, but I don't think it is. We'll check it out, that's for sure. So we got to go along here, down. Mm, this could get a little bit, a little bit tasty around here, but we'll see how we get on. This is definitely a good base location. It's nice because you got nothing behind you to come. I mean, there's only two ways in and out, so that could be an issue, but... I like it. We've really done done it well here. I like our little storage area. It's a shame we're going to leave it, but we have a goal to complete. So it is what it is, really. We just got to hope if we do come back here, they haven't ripped down all both of these sheets. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. I mean, we're probably close to stairs anyway, aren't we? Yeah, we, if we needed to, we could get another leveling car. So I haven't found any VHS stores, though, have we? I mean, there's probably some in here, but... All right, it's 10 past 12. We set up a little bit later because, of course, we don't want it to be horrible weather tomorrow. But we'll go to bed, and tomorrow we're moving on. We'll see you then. All right, day 85, day 85. Let's eat something very quick before we get a move on. There we go. Let's fill up our water as well. Why not? There we go. Right, how is this weather? Uh, it's not amazing, but... I've had worse, so I think we can just go. Let's just go. Let's do it. <laughs> it's going to be a really bad idea. We're so nice and secure here, but, you know, we have a mission to complete, and the days are ticking. Let's just bloody get on with it. As long as it's not fog, I don't really mind, to be honest. Definitely a lot quieter than Louisville, that's for sure. All right, so we've got to take a left up here, I think, haven't we? Down here. See, this is... Oh, what's going on here? we got bollards. Or cones, even. Such a good map. I mean, look at the stones by the river. I really like that. Oh, this is not good. Can we not get out there? Let's try and go north and cut down some roads. That's interesting if that's blocked off. And we could have sledged through it, but I feel this blue building coming up on the left is... Oh, is that prison? I think that's a prison, isn't it? Oh, look, I think it's all going to be blocked off. Maybe it's not a prison. It's just, like I say, the whole town, the whole city's blocked off, maybe. Looks like it is. Oh, look, some kind of checkpoint or something. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Spin the car around so we can get out. Oh, God, this is this is busy. Can we take them? I don't think so. Maybe here we can. Okay, we've got a little foothold. Let's turn the engine off. We may have to stay around here for the night, you know. Oh, we got Nomad. I think they do have the best bags, but we're fine with ours. Very interesting little area. Definitely some kind of military checkpoint or something, isn't it? Oh, look. Look, it's sealed off. Ooh, okay. Very interesting. Can we even get through here? So like we might be able to here. Got some gas pumps. Is that clear? Yeah, okay, so we've got to go through here. Bloody hell. Let's deal with these bastards in here so they don't swarm us when we're trying to maneuver through with the car. Yeah, I think we could... Okay, yeah, we got to go through there, haven't we? This is bloody risky going through here. It's tight and narrow with the car. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. would say we could just smash through these walls, but I don't know, because there's quite a few zombies on the other side. Can we shoot them? Maybe we do go through the side here. I think that's probably the safest bet, isn't it? Okay, so we are through, which is nice. We did manage it. Let's get rid of this bloody sledgehammer. Oh, no. We can what? We can't get it in there. What? No. What does it weigh? Um, let's take take some tuna out or something. Take an MRE. Take something. Get a bloody maul in there. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Let's take another one, maybe. Oh, it's not known. Let's put it in there. Uh, can we get it in? No, okay. Well, well, we'll put it on the passenger seat for now. I don't like doing it, but let's actually drive up here along the road. Oh, look at this. Look how many there is. No, let's, let's do what we was going to do. We can always come back this way. Let's try and get in whatever's down here. Okay, we got some garages or something here. Greenhouses, by the looks. Let's keep pushing on to where we wanted to, though. Okay, so we're coming out of this little bit of residential, by the looks, which is nice. So it is quite busy around here, that's for sure. Okay, we're out. We're out of the city. We're out. We've done it. We are getting up to this building, whatever the hell it is. Oh, this is interesting. Maybe it is how Maybe it's like a couple of mansions or something. Okay, okay, interesting. <laughs> Look at this, he's got a cone on his head. <laughs> is this some kind of some kind of bunker or something. Oh, look at this. Let's go have a look in here. Oh, there is an underground there. Let's go and have a look in there. Maybe it's some billionaire's house who built an underground bunker or something. Oh, nothing here. Oh, uh, we don't have any batteries for our flashlight. I can hear zombies, but I just don't know where they are. Let's get out from this underground bit, I think. You know what it reminds me of, actually? Spencer Mansion. Could that be what it is? Piano room. Look at this. This is a bloody good little house. Well, it's a big old house. What the hell is that contraption? 
Okay, I don't hear any more doors banging, so we may be all right. Look at this. They are living like kings in here. Jeez. Okay, so we're out. <laughs> oh, look at the pool there. Amazing. Can we go in the pool? No. What's this building up here? Maybe some kind of, like, storeroom or something? Oh, it's bloody stables. Look at this. Okay, we got this building here, which I think is some kind of storeroom. We got this. Wow, look at this. Some kind of maze, but obviously it's dying. What have we got in here, then? A zombie? Is this some kind of distillery? Oh, look, it's a bloody distillery. This is cool. This is really cool. Again, it'd be a great little base of multiplayer. Get a load of you up here. We'll sleep in the big house. Can we jump over this? Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll sleep in the big house tonight, and then tomorrow we'll we'll push on over to that little town. So much detail being put into this. It's amazing, really. Little balcony here. Ah, oh, yeah, great little place, this. Really cool. I'm glad we come over here as well. I was 50-50 whether we actually was going to. Oh, hold on a minute. Are we actually going to be able to get onto this road? Uh, we got the sledge if we need to, so... Right, but it is 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, we, we push on. We push on. I could do with some batteries. There's a bed here, isn't there? Yeah, all right. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day six. We have survived in the mansion, <laughs> but... We are called off to more important business. We must get to that other town. Now, I'm excited to see what's over there, to be honest with you. And I think it's only fair that we stayed in such a lovely, lovely place, being as we're going into the unknown. Right, let's crack on. We just got to go north, I think. I like that there's a cone on the uh, on the statue there. It looks a bit run down, actually, this mansion. Maybe it's abandoned. I don't know. Right, we're back going through the residential area. Hopefully, we can just zip through this. All right, we're on a narrow road, which I don't like, but this should take us to the main road out of here. Yeah, okay, right. See it. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, we're out, we're out. <laughs> get old zombie ash driving. Oh, you can't beat it, you cannot beat it. I should win an award. Right, let's get the hell out of this city. Not too bad, actually, not too busy. Oh god, these roads are a bit overgrown. I've just had a thought. I wonder if you can wind the window down but still have the bars there, so then you could essentially have it as a tank. You just park up somewhere and stop blasting i mean i'm not gonna risk it but that's a four i might have to test that okay we are starting to run into a few zombies but that's fine still got a way to go yet it's quite worrying how we've ran into them already and we're still quite a way away from where we're going from the actual town so hmm, doesn't bode well does it okay so we are coming up on the buildings here they are okay it's a motel this could work this could work let's turn the car off let's clear this area Let's give it a shout. Draw them all to us. Oh, there goes the machete. We don't actually have another weapon on us. We got a pistol. Let's take the katana. Okay, let's clear the motel. See if there's anything. In fact, God, we didn't get an alarm. Looks all right around here, to be honest. Can't even know zombies banging, so I think we're okay, you know. We could, of course, smash these stairs and put a sheet rope, maybe. I think we'll be fine, though. All right, so I've brought our water dispensers up. Let's just make sure this room is clear. That's fine, okay. Can hear a zombie banging around somewhere, so let's go and see if we can find him. There he is, the bastard. Any more in there? Nope, just him. That'll do. Okay, I think we'll actually put a crowbar on our back. Actually, no, let's let's use a bat. Let's use a spiked bat on our back there. There we go. Lovely stuff. We'll put the katana away. But yeah, we, we made it. We bloody made it. We'll probably hang around for the rest of today, but tomorrow we're going to go have a look in that town. Might be able to get some kind of rain collector going on the roof here, possibly, but I think we'll be all right. We haven't got long left, have we? Well, like 14 days, 15 days, something like that. All right, center 12. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're pushing in the town. We'll see you then. Okay, day 87. Let's just get up and Adam. Let's go into that town. Let's fill our water up with the motel facilities. Get old toilet water. You cannot beat it. Right, let's push into that town. It looks like it's a fairly big town, to be honest, as well. Imagine if it's just one big survivor colony. <laughs> all right, we are... Oh, gas station. Oh, a lot of zombies. Let's get out. Should be fine. Maybe we move into this gas station. Hmm, looks like the doors are locked. Is there a back door? Can this be open? I'd rather not smash a window, but looks like we might. Oh, well, they've done it for us. Oh, no, smash another one, you bastards. Any good VHSs? No. Got a nice amount of food, though. Got a food market there. Looks like we got a bar as well. Okay. Yeah, well, let's get the pistol out. Why not? We own this town now. 
Have a quick smoke. There's still a lot of them in the buildings, but we'll walk up a little bit, see what we're dealing with with this town. Oh, we got a hardware store here. Let's go now. We might be able to find ourselves a nice new machete. Let's just clear these bastards out around here first, though. How is our aiming skill? It's got to be up. Yeah, nearly at another level. Nice, nice. All right, let's go have a look in this hardware store. Oh, doors open as well. Nice, we'll take that. We will take the nails, I think. Oh, battery. Yeah, we'll take that because we need that for our flashlight. Got to keep remembering to turn it off, though. That's the problem. Oh, sledgehammer. We already have one. No, no machete so far, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll buy that back here. Okay, so it goes through into the next building. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, let's have a little explore on foot. See what we're looking like around here. Pretty good town so far, though, to be honest. Oh, I do see a gun store. Do we need any more guns? Well, I suppose we do, because we left a load back at the other base, didn't we? So. Oh, jeez. I didn't know he was there. Does look like a nice big gun store. Maybe we actually base up top here, you know. We're on a second floor. We can always wooden floor around, put a rain collector in. Any back door into here? No, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. Oh, what do we have here then? Uh, grocers. Okay. Yeah, let's let's try and get in this gun store today. We can dismantle this door. Ah, yeah, we're going to have to dismantle something, so we can always replace it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, we're out of here. We're out of here. Bloody alarms. All right, we're back at the truck. Let's actually grab some more 9mm while we're here. So we are getting through it. Yeah, good old day for killing, that's for sure. All right, let's get out of it. Bloody hell, there's loads. Just keeps coming. May as well deal with them. It's going to save us a job tomorrow. Right, now let's get out of here. Oh, look at this. A load have come on over here. Oh, good job we got the old pistola. Oh, damn, that was a lot of them over here. Jeez. Good job we come prepared, that's for sure. Oh, okay, well, yeah, that's uh, that's brought a lot of them over to us, which is fine. Take another box or two of nine mil. We'll probably hang around tomorrow, let some of the corpses despawn, and let them disperse up by the gun. So then we'll probably just drive up there. Actually, let's see if we got a new bat that we can use, because this one's nearly dead. Uh, we don't, but let's, let's take the katana to hell with it. We do also have a crowbar, but I think we'll be fine with a katana. <laughs> Okay, but it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, probably just going to hang around the motel, I think. Clear up any stragglers. And then the day after, we'll go to the gun store. But we'll see you then. All right, day 88. We have awoken at 7 o'clock. Let's get a bit of tuna in us. Let's go and see if we've got any stragglers down here. A horrible storm coming, which isn't good. Didn't allow this many zombies, which is which is good. Oh, we got a straggler. Come on, you bastard. Ah, look at that. That's how we roll. You don't mess with slick. It's actually in here. Is this a room? Oh no, storeroom. We got oh coin toss. I think that's a shotgun, isn't it? Ah, we don't we don't want shotguns. Although I can hear a zombie somewhere. Let's go deal with that bastard. He smashed through something. Yeah, we got a couple come over. We make short work of them. That coin toss, is that a suppressed shotgun? It looked like it might be. Uh, yes, it is. I think it's supposed to be like Javier Bardem's shotgun from No Country for Old Men, possibly. I mean, if it's suppressed, then, you know, we could take it for a spin. It might, it might actually work out quite well with all that horde down there. Okay, but it is 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We will get into that gun store. We'll see you then. All right, day 89. Let's just crack straight on, shall we? Let's get down there, clear it out, and then I think we will make that our last base. Okay, so we did hang around a little bit just till it lightened up a little bit. Let's see if this is suppressed. Yes, it is. Lovely. Okay. Oh, it did bring these over, though. Yeah, there is a lot of zombies, right? Turn it off, get out, let's go, let's go. Let's get the old coin toss, give it a shout. Get them all bunched up, because we got the shotty. Hopefully we haven't bitten off more than we can chew here. It's not actually that good. It's good that it's got a suppressor already on it, but... God, there's a lot. Oh, aiming up though, nice, we'll take that. Oh God, there's loads. Fall back, fall back. All right, drop that. We don't need that. We got the pistol. How many kills are we on? We've got to be on a fair few. 4,000. Okay, not bad. All right, let's go up this last little bit on foot, I think. Still pretty busy around here. 
Okay, so it looks like we got the majority of them, I think. We're probably not going to get in there today. We'll go back to the motel. Oh, we got a few up here. We may as well deal with these bastards as well, haven't we? That is going to be our base. We are going to base up in the gun store, I think. Pretty central, so yeah, I'm happy with that location. But yeah, let's get out of here for the day. So many corpses around, jeez. We'll grab a load more 9 mil as well. We are getting through it, that's for sure. All right, we are home. Do we have any food on us? Don't think so. Let's put the nails in the truck, being as we're not staying here. Uh, we got some worries. We are low on food, but we can grab some when we do move to the gun store. That's fine. We will move the water dispensers back into the truck. Oh, we found an Amazonian. The first one, I think. Wild eggs. Hmm. Uh, we'll take your vegetable soup. Yeah, so I remember they did used to spawn so much, the Amazonians, even with the spawn settings turned down. But it looks like they've actually fixed that, which is nice. It's probably normally would have seen about 20 by now, normally. Okay, that's the water dispensers moved on over. That's good. Surely our reloading skills got to be. Ah, it's getting there. This aiming, though. Aiming six. That is bloody good. Although we did have, of course, we have the XP boost, but still. All right, but it's half past 10. We're going to have some soup for dinner. And we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you then. Okay, day 90. Wow, only 10 left. We kind of done everything we needed to. We got, we're going to set up in that gun store, but that's probably going to be in the next 10 days. Today, we're probably not going to do a lot as it is a 10th day, so we normally just chill at base. We don't normally do a lot on a 10th day. Yeah, we'll clear out the front. No stragglers come over, which is nice. Corpses are starting to despawn, which is nice as well. So yeah, a nice chilled one today. Okay, we are back. Day 91. Wow, the final 10. We got a fair bit to do. Let's bring the old mappage up. So yeah, I wanted to get into this gun store, didn't I? And that's where we're going to base up and then probably try and clear the town out for the last 10, I reckon. There's probably a few corpses down there still, but hopefully they start to despawn now. Also going to keep an eye on our wakes. We are down to 77, so let's try and grab some in high cal now. Uh, MRE, okay. I mean, actually, another one of them, no, but we will move them into there. Right, let's take the card down and see how we're looking. Oh yes, the massacre. There was a hell of a lot of them thinking about it now. Okay, so there's still quite a few of them, but it's early in the day. We've got plenty of ammo, so let's deal with the bastards. Okay, we got a lot of them. There's still, yeah, there's still some up here. Let's go deal with these. Because we want it as clear as possible, really, around our new base, don't we? Let's give it a shout. Oh god, look at them all down there as well. God, look at them all up there. Bloody hell. Oh, the gun is jamming quite a lot now, which isn't ideal, but we do have the Thompson and we're actually moving into a gun store, so I think we'll be fine. Come on, you bastards. Okay, that's a lot of them dealt with. Let's mop up the stragglers. Yeah, we do need a sledge to get in there. That's fine now. We brought ours with us. Okay, we are in. Hopefully, it's clear upstairs. Yeah, looks fairly clear. We will get some sheet ropes down and everything like that. We even got a lovely barbecue up here. Look at this. Also, got to put a new door on and everything like that. So, we got a, we got a lot to do. But what about the loot in here? Oh, look at this. Look at all of this. Absolutely glorious. Any guns, though? Oh, there is. Is, there is may have to switch to the Glock 21 you know but that is all fine let's just go and get some sheets now can we destroy the stairs from up here doesn't look like it okay so not ideal so we will put the sheet rope here for now we will put one inside as well though right destroy the stairs to hell with it lovely stuff there we go and there we go we've got an escape rope there now happy days right we could probably well let's actually make sure it is safe in here probably pop a rain collector here maybe Maybe? No, I don't think that'll work. Maybe along here, actually. Yeah, that would probably work, but I would need to put a sink inside somewhere, like along this wall. But I think it could work. Yeah, so then that way, at least we've got water downstairs, then, haven't we? I mean, we do have, we'll have these water dispensers upstairs, but I would like a renewable source of water anyway. I actually, get rid of the sofa because it's annoying me in the way there. And we got nothing from it. Brilliant. <laughs> I was hoping to get a little bit of wood. Actually, it looks like it could probably come out here. We'll pop one in and we'll put a sink in that corner there okay there's a zombie somewhere i don't know where oh here he is the bastard come on okay yeah there's still a fair few around and we we need a new pistol because this is just jamming all the time let's see if i will actually no, we'll leave them there because we do want to put a new door up. Let's see if we can get ourselves a new g17 in here because i do like the g17 ah g17 yes thank you very much right let's remove all these upgrades Okay, we got a brand new Glock, all nice and new condition. 
happy days. We're looking good. We're looking good. We got any high calories? So let's go in the shop next door. Although let's grab all our food out of here, actually. Anything else in the trunk we want to move? Not really. We might even take the Thompson out. So I'll grab the other water dispenser while we're here. Oh, we got another bastard downstairs. I just don't know if I left that door open. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to go down that rope. I think we'll be all right here. Whoa, Jesus. You bastard. Right, we need to get a door on here, don't we, ASAP? Whoa, God. Oh, yeah, there's still uh, there's still a few around, isn't there? I'll right, we'll pop all the food in the fridge here. That's all fine. We will have some chocolate as well. Actually, how are our calories? 78 and rising. Okay, yeah, let's have some chocolate just to bump it up a little bit. Let's get rid of this rotten stuff so I don't accidentally eat it. We have four bin bags for a rain collector now, which is good. Now, we're actually going to take this bench apart. I did potentially want to keep it because I thought it looked nice, but we need the wood. We'll take the table down as well. Yeah, we'll take your nails. We will dismantle the doors as well because we don't need them up here because we're fairly safe because we need a doorknob and hinges. I think that might be it. You know, we could probably get a door done today. There we go. We have a door. Nice. Okay, probably do it with another one on that inside door. But we, we're getting there. We're getting there. But it is 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I think we're going to sort out that rain collector, I reckon. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 92. We are up. Now, we probably don't need all of these drawers. So let's take them apart. Hopefully, you get some wood. I guess not. Okay, so we've got two planks from our inside our house there. Now, let's just go over to one of these buildings. Just try and get another two just so we can get that rain collector done while it is raining, of course. Okay, so we've got two from the grocery store next door, the general store. So we'll get that rain collector built and then we just need to find a sink then. Ah, did we bring our wrench though? That's the problem. I don't know if we did. I know we brought a pipe wrench, but I don't think we actually brought our wrench thinking about it. Uh, if we put that there. There we go. We have a rain collector. Nice. No, we did not bring a wrench. So we're going to have to find one because you need a wrench to move the sink and everything. Let's just double check. Maybe you can do it with a pipe wrench. Oh, you can do it with a pie wrench. Okay. All right, let's do that then. Well, there you go. That saves us a bit of hassle, that's for sure. Oh, we actually broke it. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. And we broke the toilet as well. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's go out and have a look, see if we can find one. It's still early in the day, so we may as well, haven't we? General stores normally do have them in their toilet, if they even have a toilet, which it doesn't look like this one does. Ah, surely the ice cream parlor here. Oh, there's a few in there. Let's give it a shout because we do need to clear this area out anyway. So let's do with these bastards over here as well. Come on, I just want your sink. That's all. There we go. We got it. Okay. So many corpses. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hey, you bastards. Get out of there. It's my new door. Jesus, you animals. Savages. Okay, yep, we can plumb it in. Happy days. There we go. Nice, nice. Look at just look at all this bloody guns and ammo. What do we even want to use? I quite like using the pistol, to be honest. Yeah, the thing with the pistols is that they're so light, so you never get over encumbered because we've always got a load of old trash on us. Okay, what I do want to do, I want another door downstairs. So let's go dismantling doors. Hopefully, well, we just need one more hinge, which shouldn't be a problem. We need more wood. I mean, actually, we could dismantle. Can we dismantle these? No, they're metal doors. Okay. Ah, so to put one here, we're going to have to put a door frame in, aren't we? All right, so we're going to need more wood. We need four more wood. And there we go. We have the airlock. It's not ideal, but it does the job. It does the job. Oh, we have found another Thompson magazine, actually. All right, so we grabbed the crowbar. I think we're going to put the katana away just because we can't put it on our back without a sheath. And I want a weapon that I can just easily switch between. And to be fair, Long Blunt is only at level four, so we're probably going to be annihilating with this thing anyway. Let's bring up the map. We got any industrial areas yet? Yeah, so I want to check these out. We might be able to find a generator as well, which should be nice. Or maybe even two. Then we can pop one at the gas station. But yeah, we still got a lot to do. And I want to check out this blue building. Yeah, but we are nice and secure in this town with plenty of guns and ammo, which is nice. But it is 10 past 11. We're going to get a bed. How is our weight, actually? 79 and gaining. So that's fine. That's fine. Right, we're going to get a bed tomorrow. Might be a base day, you know. Might be a base day. Sort out what ammo and stuff we got downstairs, but we'll see you then. Okay, day 93. We are up and Adam. We got any food on us? No, we do not. Let's open this box of 9 mil, though. Let's have some, let's have some snow globes. Why the hell not, eh? And some plonkies. How is the weight? 79 rising. Yep, so that's all looking good now. It's going to be a base day, but 
We're going to have uh, sort out of all the guns and stuff downstairs. Maybe bring some stuff upstairs. I don't know yet. And we got a Heritage Revolver. That could be pretty interesting. Let's just have a quick look at the model for the Mosin. I think it looked pretty... Oh, look at that. Oh, and we got guests downstairs. I don't know where they're banging, though. Oh, right there. <laughs> okay. Come on, you bastards. Okay, so we have a hell of a lot of ammo. We got 38 boxes of 45, 16 boxes of 9 mil. Hey, buddy, stop banging my door. Jeez. Now, what we will do is this bat here. Oh, God, we got an alarm going off. Jesus, turn off, turn off. Wait, it's not even that one. It's this one. Or maybe it's not even that one. I don't know. Well, we'll let it ring anyway. Right, what we're going to do is actually build a spike bat and take that out instead of the crowbar, I think. Yep, there we go. We'll pop the crowbar down there. That's fine. Now, what I also want to do is actually take the Thompson. Oh, it's not in the best condition, is it? But it's fine. Two mags for it and one in there. Now, because we, we got so much 45, we may as well take that out. And we have three magazines for it as well. So that's fine. Now, it is a little bit broken, but we do have some lube downstairs. So let's actually look at repairing it there isn't another one in here that i could see so we'll have to just use this one sure i saw some lube down here yeah fire clean gun lube okay didn't actually do that much did it let's repair a little bit more there we go well, we used all the oh no we got oh we got a little bit of lube left that's fine but it did repair it to full condition so that's good get off my door you bastard Okay, but it's half past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to push up north, try and get one of them industrial buildings, see if we can find a generator. So we'll see you then. All right, day 94. We are just going to get up and at it and go up north. Maybe, probably go on foot, I think, just to assess the area, see how we're looking up there. But yeah, we have nearly done it. Let's fill up in our lovely new sink while we're down here. Take the old Tommy gun out to these bastards. Yeah, there's still quite a few up and around the town. So, oh God, look at them all up here. Bloody hell. Well, that's a lot of them taken care of. Let's push up here a little bit. It's a busy old town, all right. Oh, bloody hell, there's a load over here as well. All right, let's keep pushing up. Let's keep going. Seems to be a few coming out of that building there. I'm not going to push up. I'll wait for them to come to me. I don't really fancy that. Okay, so we're at the black building, which should be industrial, but... I don't know how industrial this looks, to be honest. Uh, actually looks abandoned, to be fair. So, well, that's no good. Oh, okay, okay. Watch out. Well, the Thompson is taking a beating. Yeah, see, the more the more you repair it, the faster it runs out of durability, which isn't good, because it's actually worse than when we first started now, and it is jamming quite a bit as well. So we may have to look for a new 45, possibly. Which is a shame, but I'm sure we'll have some in the gun store somewhere. Yeah, we are jamming quite a lot now, which isn't good. Yeah, I think we jammed like five times on this magazine. The lube didn't work that well. All right, well, let's go back anyway, because this, this little building here is a bit of a bust. So we'll get back and see whatever 45s we can use. Ah, it looks like we got a guest. Well, at least he's not trying to smash the door down. And we do have an M1911, but I'm not really feeling that, to be honest. I, mean, I think the Glock 21 does, but there's there's no magazines for it. There's only one in there, so we may as well just take our Glock, haven't we? It's a Glock 17. Well, you served as well, Thompson. So back to the Glock. And we do have a lot more ammo for it now as well, so. All right, it is 10 to 12. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I'm not too sure yet. Maybe a base day. Maybe we go over to the other industrial area. I'm not too sure. These here, these look like they could be storage areas, possibly. So, yeah, maybe we do that. Or maybe we have a base day. I'm not sure, but we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 95. We are very, very hungry. So let's grab ourselves some. Maybe just a fruit cocktail. Actually, let's have some pineapples. Easy on the cows. So I think what we're going to do today, we are actually going to go up and have a look at that other industrial area, I reckon. Thing is, with this map, as we know, the color on the map for the buildings isn't always accurate. So God knows what we're going to find up there. Oh, well, we finally found a hits vid. <laughs> how long did it take us well 95 days geez well there you go at least you know there's one there if you do play the map this ain't a bad start of town actually 
you got a gun store, there's a bookstore as well, west of our base. And then you got a hit vids here as well. Yeah, definitely start in this town, I'd say. Although the Z-pop is quite high in this town. So it kind of balances it, I suppose. Okay, so we got storage here. Okay, that's interesting. Also, a lot of zombies. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a bloody bayonet for him. Jeez. What is that? An SKS, let me guess? Oh, a, shot, a shotgun with a bayonet. Wow. Alright, looks like they've smashed... Oh, I see a generator right there. Oh, God, do we go in? No, no, we'll bring the car up tomorrow. All right, well, we've got a generator at least. Is there more storage lots back here? Yeah, a couple. Oh, mechanics. Not that we really need anything. I mean, we may as well grab a wrench because we're here. A lot of car batteries, a charger. Yeah, this is definitely a good good town. Definitely a good starter town anyway. It's just the Z-pop is quite high, but then we are we're after peak day, so... Oh, God, do I just bloody grab it? Take generator. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's see how far we can get back with it. We actually made it back with the thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to drop it here so it's in the middle so it doesn't actually power them two buildings as well. All right, we have power. How many days we got on this bastard? Four days. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely powering a lot of stuff, isn't it? Looks like it is powering these. Interesting. All right, well, at least it got a generator anyway. So many corpses around. All right, but it is 10 past 11. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. Well, I've got a plan, you see. I've parked the car over there. What I'm thinking is, do we put the sirens on? Draw them all to the car and then just pick them off from here. We're safe. That may be the plan. So maybe not tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm going to bring a load more guns and ammo up because God knows how many there's going to be. But we got we got a plan. We got a plan. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 96. Right, so the plan for today is to go down and get as much guns and ammo upstairs because we are safe, but if they bash in downstairs, if a hell of a lot of them come and they bash downstairs in, we're going to be trapped. So let's grab a load of uh, a load of guns, a load of ammo. Doesn't matter about a suppressor. All right, so we're up. we got a carbine. We've got a Mini 14. What does that take? 223. Okay, we have one box of 223. We have a lot of 308s. We got we got a lot of stuff, so we should be fine. We got a hell of a lot of stuff. I want to try out this this bad boy actually, and maybe the Vichaz. What magazine? What ammo does it take? Nine mil. Okay. Winchester. We got all sorts of jazz in here. I just grabbed everything. This could get a little bit messy, or there could be nothing at all come, but we'll soon find out, I suppose. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, wow. What does that take? 357 Magnum. Now, we got two boxes of that. There's 100 rounds. There's a Mosin intake. 762. We got some of them loose, I think. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's turn this on and we'll leave it all day and all night to see what it actually attracts. Okay, she is going out there. She's bloody loud, but it's going to attract them. Let's go inside where it's quiet and wait for the day, I think. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. We're just going to go to bed. And see what the see what the state is tomorrow. We'll see you then. Okay, day 97. The alarm is still going out there. It's very early. This is gonna be an absolute nightmare to edit with that alarm. Oh lord, look at this. Let's get the gun. Let's try and kill him so we can get this bloody alarm off. Come on, you bastards. Well, it seems to be working. They're only coming over to us when we start shooting. Right, let's have some smokes. Let's sort out this bloody unhappiness. We also need some food. God, that is a bloody racket. Okay, that's a lot of them gone. Our rope is still downstairs. Ah, we're down. We jumped. We jumped. Let's turn this bloody alarm off. Oh, peace. Thank God. Jeez. Oh, okay. We got a load inside or... No, we haven't. The plan works. Let's rip some clothes so we can put another sheet up. Okay, we have two sheet ropes. That worked. The old uh, whatever we was using, the old magnum or whatever it was, that's pretty good. Pretty good, to be honest. Dump a load of this old trash off. Okay, we have a rope back there. That's good. Good gun. Good gun. Did the job, definitely. The Marlin 1898 Custom. Nice. Right, let's go mop up around. There's a zombie been banging around right, for ages. I just don't know where he is. Probably in this building in here. Here he is. Come on, you bastard. Get out of there. Jeez. He's been banging in there for days. Well, I think it's safe to say that's probably brought a load of zombies 
probably all the zombies around us to us, which is good. Now, there probably will be some stragglers in the buildings and stuff, so we can't completely let our guard down. But I would go as far as to say the town is probably secure, especially this bottom half of it anyway. Let's have a beer to celebrate. Ah, yes. Wow, what a bloody, what a bloody couple of days. Good way to end it, I think. So I think what we're going to do for the rest of the days, because we will be going to day 101 as always, Maybe check out that building and maybe check out this blue building here as well. I do want to go to this blue building. I don't know what it is, but probably going to be a job for tomorrow, I think. How is the old weightage looking? 80 in rides. Okay, so we've got to be a little bit careful. So we'll probably just have pineapples, I think, when we're very hungry and a fruit cocktail. But it is half past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to go to the blue building. So we'll see you then. Day 98. There's a bloody alarm going off somewhere. I don't know where, but it's really winding me up. Didn't wake us up, though, I don't think. Well, if we did, half past 8 isn't too bad a time to get up. Right, let's grab ourselves a bit of pineapple before we head off. All right, let's go. Let's see how clear it is up north a little bit. Let's see how effective the siren technique was. We probably did take care of a fair few of them anyway. Uh, it's pretty, pretty clear, to be honest. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Train tracks through a residential area. That is cool. A fair few bastards up here. This looks like it's going to be a school, you know? Yeah, this is a school. There's a lot of them up here. Okay, we probably don't need to hang around in here that much. Because we don't really need a school, do we? Let's go and see what that other black building is on the outskirts of town there. Oh, we're in a bit of trouble here. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. The armor is so nice. Saved our engine so much. Oh, house under construction. Nice. Oh, bloody hell. There's a lot of them down here. Okay, so we're at that building. What actually is it? Some kind of warehouses? There's a lot of zombies down here. Oh, God, it's busy. No, I don't really feel like tackling it, to be honest. It looks like it's a warehouse. We're so close to the end goal, so it's just not worth it. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Why is there so many? Oh, we could get bogged down here. Fossil fuel's coming through for us. We ain't going to get through here. We ain't going to get through here. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh my god. Oh god. That was terrifying. That was terrifying. Get me to the safety of the gun store. Jeez. Oh, home sweet home. Yeah, that was uh that was terrifying down there to be honest with you. Let's bring the old map up. We kind of done it haven't we 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 kind of have yeah i mean we didn't we could have explored more of the city but you know we never ended up doing it to be fair so we're probably just waiting around now just to finish our uh, our hundred days we'll sort all this stuff out ah the thompson ripping piece old boy i actually put the uh the thompson on the worktop there there you go look at that hey buddy get the hell out of here you bastard what we got down here then did we ever have a look at any of these buildings i think they were all like restaurants and stuff weren't they they're all empty by the looks got the bar oh, look, there's still a little bastards down here i guess the range on the siren wasn't that far then yeah no, there's still loads of the bastards down here still loads down by the gas station still as well oh the old coin toss wasn't that good to be fair but at least if you find it you do have a suppressor on there. Didn't really suppress it that much, but at least you got one. All right, it's uh, 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed. It's, yeah, as I say, it's probably going to be just a couple of base days now till we hit the goal. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 99. Wow, we've awoken to snow. Look at this. Look at this. Minus 0.1 outside. We're only in october let's see if it settles ah now we got back to rain again back to rain that's a shame don't think i've seen it snow in october before i mean i should probably keep these doors cl oh what oh no i thought they broke through then um yeah i should probably keep them doors closed that's the whole point of the bloody airlock let's go and grab ourselves some food from in here oh bloody hell there's all sorts in there chips is what we want now yes please can of oats will take oh there's seeds and everything in there video game be nice if you could play them i think there is a mod that you can play them but any new clothes we want while we're around here nope well, maybe some soup pants oh i dropped all the food off we definitely got enough food to last us now where are we i mean we've got 23 mres so right let's grab ourselves a little bit of food we are very hungry we're not gonna have anything too calorific let's have a granola bar get that protein in you but it is 11 o'clock we're gonna go to bed tomorrow day 100 we've done it we've nearly done it amazing stuff we'll see you then all right day 100 we have made it now what we normally do if you've seen my series before is we do survive until day 101 because then we will have survived 100 days so we're just going to hang around a day go to sleep and then tomorrow we've done it we've bloody done it and we're just going to eat a load of nice stuff because it don't matter if we get fat okay it's half past 11 we're going to go to bed tomorrow we will have survived for 100 days we'll see you then okay day 101 we are nearly there now a pz month is 30 days so 369 
We got to survive two more hours and we would have survived for 100 days in Durkadam. So let's just grab some food. Um, let's have something nice like a can of oats. I don't know if that's actually nice, but get it in yet. That's fine. We're not hungry. Once we survived, we will have a victory smoke and a bourbon. Then we'll go over the stats. So let's just fast forward it a little bit. Boom. There we go. Three months, 10 days. That is 100 days survived in Durkadam. Wow. What an adventure it's been. What an adventure. Now, we didn't really explore a lot of the city, but, you know, a city is a city. I would have liked to have explored more. If I did it again, I'd probably spawn in the city, I think. Now, we did do these two towns here. We went down to the docks where we nearly lost our car on that bastard in bridge there, I think. We also went up to here. We, oh, we went to the survivor colony as well. So we have explored a, a fair old bit of it, to be fair. Up here, there was high population where we are now. There's these little houses which could have had something cool in them we also went to the mansion as well which was again pretty damn cool i wonder if these would have been like bunkers or something i don't know i don't know but yeah very very good map i definitely recommend it now let's have a look at the stats stats nah not too bad not too bad at all i mean long blunt we never got to level four shooting was the one what's that six six and a quarter there thereabouts yeah maintenance when they got to level three yeah we got the mechanics we pumped up a little bit not crazy levels same as with all the stats we never really do pump the levels too crazy but we get we do enough to get by now let's have a look at the old kills so our total kills 5006 uh we got 116 with short blunt telescopic baton that's what we started with wasn't it wow yeah all that time ago we stomped 12 zombies that's not a lot actually long blade coming through execution of sword yeah that was fun to use bush machete normal machete Katana, Long Blunt, that was the that was the powerhouse, wasn't it? Spiked baseball bat, 1065. Wow. Firearms, 2569. M14 battle rifle 720. Nice, nice. Ah, the Glock 17. Look at that. 1006. Thompson 427. Nice. Coin toss 43. The Mosin, we got one. Oh, we got 98 with the Marlin. Magnum at the end there. Axes, split them all. We got three. Pulaski axe, yeah, 41, yeah. Vehicles, 49 roadkill. <laughs> Oh, we still got a bandage on our hand. Let's take it off. But Slick, you have done it, old boy. You have made it. You have bloody made it. 100 days. Wake's looking good. There we go. Well, yeah, I survived 100 days in Durkadam as a police officer. Hell of a lot of fun. Hell of a lot of fun, actually. Definitely check the map out. But, you know, if you did make it all the way through the series, I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Just want to give a massive thank you to all of our YouTube members, but a big shout out to everyone on the Shambler tier. John Smith, Rob Jones, 309 Basehead, Akuna Whiskey, McDaddy Too Cool, Norm Slater, Sudsy34, Jasmina Composition, Geek Club Nails, and a coach in lunacy. Thanks guys, really appreciate it.